things. Nuggets. nuggets. Crunchy nuggets. Portal. Fuck. Connected. <laughs> oh yeah. So there's these little zones that you guys can choose. You're gonna be a little blocked by like the scenery, but you'll be fine. It's the same same shit as the other one. I'll take good that. thing we can move the camera. Oh hell yeah, dog. Oh, you got the you got. Can the you not press. move the camera? No, you can. Nate, why are you doing that with your hands? Because I'm, uh, I'm meditating. Okay. Uh, Cam, what were you saying? You got the crest. Yeah, feel free to take a look around. Oh, I'm everyone. Gonna, I'm gonna take such a look around right now. Here's some oh. dice. Actually, I'm gonna put those on the other side. Oh for no, reasons. this is this is the meditation stance right here. <laughs> What's that, There's Ram's some dice. <laughs> if anyone needs any dice, thank you. Dice. Right here. Nice look, spoon. Look into my tendrils. I'd rather. I don't not. like your tendrils, man. <laughs> this is so. Um. Cute. Okay. I'll, I'll try not to eat. I'm gonna look into your your board back here. I'm gonna look in there. <laughs> Can you see in there? Uh, Shouldn't be able to. Depends on my positioning. I can kind of look at your don't, like, just your don't board. Don't look into it. Okay. I can see. Uh, I mean, there's that? nothing secret, but just don't. Right. I can see a flash on crit. Add to dice. D12. D20. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Resting. Some sliders. Short rest. I don't. I don't. I don't think. I think I can. I think we could just see like what's part of the map. But I'm pretty sure anything you put down, we will not be able to see. Yeah. Okay, I'm not worried about it. There, there won't be that many physical secrets. Don't worry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh. feel free to use those little table thingies if you How want them. How the hell did you do that? You just cl double click it, I think. Just click. On oh, that, there's yeah. a like a button icon. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't write boobs on it. It already has that. So you guys know. Okay. I'm so nervous. <laughs> you can do it. We believe in you. Uh, does anyone have anything at all nope. to say? Nope. We're in it. And Kim, you said you were going to record, or are you already? I am recording. Okay, just so everyone knows it is recording. Uh, so don't say the N-word. <laughs> Um, let me just make sure I don't need to put anything down. I'll put this down for I, now. I, that's so big. I grabbed 2d8 just for, stick ignore for the, like, that's so big. advantage, and I forgot this is not d <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, no, oh, you're good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. I forgot it was big. Full big. Okay. Uh, here's the map if you guys need any kind of knowledge on that. It's a little overblown because of these candles over here. I moved them as far away as I could, but they still make it really hard to read. So, you should be able to read everything on there. And if you Well, actually, it kind of looks terrible. Let me move the candles back more. Forbidden Forest. Hagrid's Hut. Stanley's Pook. <laughs> There should not be Stanley's anything. <laughs> so, Stanley's. Stables and Paddock? Ah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what she meant. <laughs> Stanley's pool. Yeah, for sure. Stanley's pool. Okay. I do have a gift for you guys, like, right away. Ooh. Um, Three gifts, actually. Tell me if it's getting better to read. Better to read? No. Oh yeah, way better. Is it? At least I mean, on my end. Looks you can like see the outline of the lake now. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see the outline of the lake? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, here will be some gifts. I'm gonna. Just, I guess I'm just gonna go around and give them off to you guys. <laughs> These are your Aww, adversity tokens. Cute. Very cute. Me the blooms. So, um, you guys, I just have a bunch of them, so whenever you need them, get them to me. 
or ask Tomi. I don't think. Can you save and spawn objects? Uh, I think we need permissions to do that. Yeah, I'm not. Well, I guess I can give you permissions if you promise not to fuck oh, stuff. Oh, we're fools. But... Do you trust? I, it seems like a bad idea. I don't really trust. We don't trust. Either like way. That. Oh, why are you fools? I didn't realize that the dice were underneath the uh, dice tower. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's. Um, I also have, if you guys are wanting, they don't do the fun, beautiful stuff that the dice that come with the table do, but these are some Gryffindor dice, if anyone wants Gryffindor dice. Gryffindor dice. Gross. <laughs> it looks like he, he just saw someone die. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking like... Um, yeah, so there's Gryffindor dice. Uh, you will not be needing the percentile die for this game. Fuck that shit. None of us. None of us like that. I'm gonna start this music to this one. Actually, no I'm not. I'm gonna start this music to this one. I'm excited. I'm so nervous. Okay. Okay. Is everyone ready? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will begin um, in a busy train station with <clears throat> a lot of kids and their families traveling around and bustling between different platforms. And we come to a platform where we see several children acting strangely, running straight into the wall between two platforms and disappearing on the other side. And we'll follow them through. And people on the other side look a little different. We have kids with cages full of strange animals and stacks of books on these carts getting onto this big red train um and there's kids like crying you can see these little kids it's like their first year they're like oh i just like i don't want to go let me stay home and their parents are you know making them go um and at the entrance to the second train car uh we see a young man standing at the train car uh and he's with his family, he's just about to enter. Albie, will you please introduce your character to us? Boy, howdy, I will. I am Tiberius Tanner, the lone Tanner son. I'm, I'm a little bit of a rich bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I want to be a cowboy. Hell yeah. That's all you're going to get from me. Hell yeah. That's exactly and, uh, the voice I pictured. <laughs> can you can you please describe your pet, your familiar to us, please? Oh, you mean uh, you got bones? <laughs> you talking about bones? I'm talking about bones. Now, now bones, right? He used to be dead, but now he's alive. Kinda. That's why I call him bones. Um. <laughs> He is an owl of sorts, but, you know, he used to be extinct. He's just my buddy Bones. I love Bones. Is Bones, right. is Bones like, does he have flesh, or is he just literally Bones? He's, he's just Bones. He's just Straight Bones. Straight up Bones. <laughs> he's yeah. just Bones. I wonder how he flies. That's interesting. Okay, <laughs> so... So, Tiberius, uh, you have your parents here with you, and this has kind of gotten old at this point. Like, you're in your sixth year, so, you know, they've kind of been taking you to the train station every year. But they, they make sure they go with you every time, just because they want to make sure you get on that train. Because they've had incidents in the past where you have tried not to, right? Um, and so your mom, Jennifer, is standing there holding hands with your dad. Your mom has these, like gorgeous like almost silky chiffon kind of red and orange robes and this big like black coat over it with a hood and your dad bartholomew um is in a suit like a pinstripe navy suit with just this like such an ugly tie like one of the worst ties <laughs> that you could like ever imagine um hey, and that's the tie that he got married in <laughs> yeah, it is. It is the tie he got married in. It's green and silver for Slytherin, his house that he was in when he was at Hogwarts years ago. And, you know, he never told you that he was kind of disappointed you didn't get put into Slytherin. But he, you know, he would never say that because, you know, he's proud of you. But um, so, yeah, so you're, you're saying goodbye to them. You've already pushed your uh, card off with all your stuff to the back, but you've got your owl with you. Um, and your mom's like, 
just don't forget like we're gonna be at the lake house uh, this year for the fall so if you're gonna send us anything make sure you don't send it to the main house just send it to the lake house and um you're just kind of like i feel like you're not listening like do you care about this no. like do they do this every year kind of thing it's, it's every year mm -hmm. every year it's the same exact speech mm -hmm. and they watch me like a hawk until i am seated until I am in a car and seated. <laughs> yeah. um, so your dad, um, your mom's like, she's got little tears in her eyes because she knows this is one of the last times she's ever going to get to do this. So she's kind of like patting her eyes with a little like hanky. Um, and your dad kind of gives you a big like smack on the back. And he's like, listen, man, smack. Uh, this year, you know, you're focusing in, you're getting to your classes. And I just need you to know, like, after this year, you're going to figure out what you're going to do with your life. Like, let the professors guide you to your future job, whatever it may be. They will help you find the place you need to be, son. Aw, uh, don't you know I'm going to be a cowboy? I know you have many thoughts about what you will consider for your future and a lot of ideas, and that's okay. We've already spoken to the school about it. They already know it's an issue. or uh, An issue. It's They already know it's the way that you feel. And they're going to help you uh, be be what you need to be. Okay? Right. And that's a cowboy. Thanks, Paul. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So he, he turns around and he grabs this, this big briefcase off the ground. Like, it's like this big. Um, and he kind of hands it to you and, like, shoves it at you. And it kind of, like, knocks you back a little bit. And he's like... I need you to take this to whoever's running Quidditch this year. This is our sponsorship materials for your team. It's very important that this gets to them, okay? So you trust me, not one of the you servants? Have to, you have not, to. Not a worker? You have to do it. I didn't have anyone free. Esmeralda's on vacation. I hate, you know, oh. we didn't want to let her oh, do that. Oh, Esmeralda. I know. Oh. I'm sorry. I <laughs> Sorry. I just saw Albie roll the toilet. <laughs> um, Esmeralda's on vacation. You We didn't want to let her go, but you just... Please, if you do anything, please get this to whoever's running Quidditch. Please. Listen, you know I'll, I'll get her done. Okay, yeah, get her done. Um, yeah, okay, sounds good. I don't even know what that means. Um, I forgot everyone's British. <laughs> Are your parents British? Um, they're from the UK, so... Okay, well, I'll give them accents now, because I Ooh. forgot. Um, my mother is Welsh. Oh, well, I don't know how to do that, so she's not, not going to talk. Um, <laughs> so you go ahead and you take this this uh, briefcase. How are you holding it? Because it's so big. Just, I'm struggling. I'm a weak boy. I'm just like a sixth grader. Their first year of middle school holds their binder. Like this? Let me take. Or like uh, this? Let's go with the second one. Like this? Like out in front of you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you walk off through the train, you're kind of like holding it like this, and you're trying to figure out how to get in the door, but it kind of like slams in, so you kind of tilt as you go in and kind of, uh, get in through the door, and the door closes behind you, and, and you kind of head off, and your parents are sitting there, and your dad's got his arm around your mom, he's like, well, he could always be a manager at the factory. How tall is his mom? I, I, I don't really know. She's much taller. I She's see. like <laughs> severely taller than him, yeah. Um. He's like, he's like, yeah, he, he could always work at the factory. And she's, she's just like. Um, so you headed off down the train. Let me switch my music. So you head off down the train. Um, and there's cars to the left and right. I mean, we all kind of know what we're visualizing here. So you see, um, you see a few different train cars you could sit in. The first one to your left is completely empty. So you could sit by yourself. Um, up and to the left, you see um, two of your friends, Thorne and Curly, sitting there. Um, Curly's got his guitar, and he's just kind of, like, noodling away at his guitar. Um, to the right, right next to you, you see three girls kind of, like, whispering and talking. Um, and then up and to the left is Charlie and Andre. They're talking about Quidditch. They're just kind of going back and forth. So where I'm do you want to sit? sit with uh, Charlie and Andre. Sit Charlie and Andre. And I'm so, going to place the briefcase in their laps be like hold this for me be a lamb <laughs> on both of them like together yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they both kind of go like what's what's this like what, what's going on and charlie's like what is this well you like quidditch don't you obviously 
Well, I can't tell you what it is, but you're gonna like what's inside. Can I open it? No. Okay. But um, you'll know what it is. What does that mean? I don't understand. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, you see, Charlie kind of gives Andre this look of the fucking kid who doesn't talk in his actual voice and just pretends to have some weird American Southern accent. It's very strange. Um, this is who you're sitting with. This is Andre, and this is Charlie right here. Um, they're hovering for some reason. I don't know why he's hovering there. Um, so you're sitting with them. They start talking about, oh, tryouts are going to be on the 22nd. It's going to be so great. Like, I'm so excited. And Charlie starts talking about how his little brothers are starting this year, and it would be really helpful if he could get them on the team and stuff. Um, and what are you doing? Are, are you trying to engage in the conversation? Are you not talking to them? Like, what are you thinking? No, I'm fully involved. In fully the involved? Talk. So, are you going to go out for the team this year? Like, what are you thinking? Well, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And I, I'll tell you, I'm not just going to go out for the team. I'm going to be the damn captain. Really? Yes. You really think you could? I don't I mean, think I know. All right. I mean, and you see Andre kind of goes like, Whoa! like he's like the, the power. Like Andre's almost starstruck. He's kind of like, that is big. Like that's big moves. And he's kind of like, Let me tell you wow. what's in that briefcase. It's going to help me. Is it, is it, is it a broom? Now, Andre, I can't Andre. be answering these questions, but perhaps... It <laughs> they're both just kind of looking at each other like this guy's fucking weird um and while they're doing that you see this guy uh he's i think he, his name's victor you know him you guys go you go a little ways back you met him a couple years ago um but victor looks a little different than he did last year he's um all in black he's got this like crazy leather studded jacket thing going on um and he he walks up to the edge of your um cabin he goes can i sit with you oh victor you know you're always welcome around oh parts. thank you thank you so he sits down he sits next to you kind of gives you like an elbow tap like how you doing you know how was oh, your sweet. summer man how's what's going on well i don't mean to be a negative nancy but we had to let go some of the help at our home Really? I, uh, I took the trash out. Andre you rolls know, his eyes so hard. You know what it's like to take the trash out? First time in my life, brother. Uh, that must have been really hard for you, man. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Damn near. Shit. <laughs> 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 um, was it night? Were you taking out the trash? Was it, it was night? At night. There was one of them, them raccoons. <laughs> I saw them with my own eyes. One of, one of them goddamn trash pandas. <laughs> Motherfucker so, knew Kung Fu. Sort of guy that came straight from China. You can see that, like, Andre like and one Charlie... one of DreamWorks movies. You can see Andre and Charlie both, like, are not taking you seriously at all. Like, you kind of get the, the impression that they understand that you think that that's really bad, but they're, they kind of think that's stupid, and they're probably going to tell everyone that you... We're acting like this later. Um, That's so Victor, all right. Victor looks over at you and he makes an extremely noticeable deal of like leaning in and opening his eyes really wide to you. And you see that his eyes are just bright red, like bright red. They were not before. They were blue last year, but now they're just bright red. Victor, have you been on the hooch? Have I been on the what? <laughs> Now, brother, I know you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, so I'm gonna dumb it down the for you. What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm gonna dumb it down for you. Have you been drinking, Victor? Them eyes. They weren't drinking always alcohol. red. They no. weren't always red. Oh, you know, did you notice my eyes? I mean, oh, how yes. could I not? Yes, you did notice my eyes. Well, let's just say things will be a little different for me this school year. Victor, now... He just keeps blinking. I, I, I spent time in America, and I know what they do in schools. I hope you aren't gonna do an American. All right. All I'm sorry. Right. You ain't you ain't gonna do an American, are you? I'm I'm sorry. All right, Victor. Things are gonna be different, but I got my eyes on you. Do you have? I'm I'm just saying, like my eyes are very different. That 
Things yeah. are going to be different for me. I may be spending a lot less time outside this year. Yeah, well... Brother. <laughs> <laughs> we all don't like the outdoors. Like I said, taking the trash out damn near shit himself. I'm just saying you may uh, you may see a lot more of me at night. Uh, brother. This year. Brother, I don't give two fucks whether you were bitten by a snake or a bat. Okay? I thought it was going to go the sexual route. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if I see you at night, you best leave me alone. Oh. You we're cool, sit, Tiberius. Sit, Tiberius, oh, we're cool. We're... You're not you're not gonna be one of my nothing, nothing. You're nothing. I'm fine. My my friend, if you need some assistance, now now don't be afraid to holler my way. I may just take you up on that. I may just take you up on that. This entire time, <laughs> Charlie and Andre are both like, like they're not friends with Victor. They don't know him that well, so they're both just like kind of like as if they were scooting back, but they can't because they're in a train. So they're just like. Hey, as far away as they can. Drop that briefcase. They hold the briefcase like this and just like hide behind it a little bit. Victor, They're freaking out. How do you feel about Quidditch? Who will have time for that this year? I will have well, no time for that this year. Well, and more important no. tasks this year. I no. mean, nothing. That's a that's okay. That's okay. Well, uh, I'll make sure we have a game at night so you can come on out and watch us win a game or two. I don't know if you'll have a very good season this year. Oh, I, shut the fuck I up, heard, up, Victor. I, Victor, heard, I don't care what you're hearing. I heard the weather won't be well this year. It may not be favorable for the conditions of Quidditch. Brother, you see the climate change? I swear to God. If I, I, don't, I don't really know what that is. More time, I've never heard that before. Uh, you're talking about global yeah. warming? Global Global warming. No, I'm talking about climate you change. Bloody idiot. We, you used to be British. You just went to America and decided you were not British anymore one day. And he, he just kind of starts like going like this. He's like, ah, and then he just goes like this. And then he just runs away. Like, fully, fully runs out of the train car. Victor. Now, Victor's a character. Please, please don't mind Victor. Charlie is like, he's gonna cry. Like, Charlie's ready to cry. Don't you cry, Charlie. Cries. Just starts crying. Run fully. On that nope. Down his face. Streaming. You want to get on the team or not? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Now hold just, that briefcase just... and shut the fuck up. Okay. 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 I'll get Victor okay. back here. <laughs> They're so parts? scared. They're so scared. Like, they've never been more scared. Andre's kind of a cool guy. Like, he's kind of popular i would say like as as popular as you can be when like everyone can do magic um but you know he's kind of popular and known to be kind of chill and he's also terrified like he's like i have never seen someone say that they're a vampire right in front of me like and that literally just happened so i'm kind of like confused on that well um, your ears must be stuffed because the words i am a vampire did not come out of victor's mouth now, I know- You think it wasn't obvious from what he was saying? You think that wasn't obvious? Oh, I know what's obvious, but you can't be putting words in people's mouths, right? He looks at Charlie, Charlie looks at him, they're like, what the fuck got into this guy this year? Like, what's going on? Now, I've been to New York City. I'll tell you what, they speak like this. True cowboys. Someone who is British and doing the shittiest British accent I have ever heard in my life. It's so funny. <laughs> so I'm just knowing nothing about America and just assuming they're all cowboys. Has has he actually been there? Yeah, he's only been to New York though. He's only been to New York, okay. Yeah. Um So State Charlie New and Andre York, I said city. To sound cooler. <laughs> yeah. Charlie and, and Andre are both just kind of looking at each other. They're kind of freaking out. You can hear the kids in all the other train cars talking about different stuff. And you can hear Curly. He's on his guitar. He's like, nah, nah. like just these crazy 80s riffs that was like exactly what everyone was doing at the time. Um, so uh, the train goes on for a little while. After 30, 45 minutes, uh, we pretty much made it out of the city. So there's no more buildings, and it's just these rolling hills, countryside, little farmhouses kind of dotted everywhere. Um, but as we're traveling north, and, you know, the station's down here, but we're going, like, 
it's going to take like five or six hours, right? So we're going all the way up, and um, there, a little bit ahead on the tracks is a little train station um, in a little small town, um, and the entire parking lot of this this little train station is empty, um, except for there is is one singular vehicle in this parking lot. Nathan, will you please describe your vehicle for me? Do it to play yourself. You see in this empty parking lot. <clears throat> I'm gonna play this. a 1973 Volkswagen van. Uh, with uh, decals all over it, uh, colored a nice blue and green with orange lettering that reads The Mystery Machine. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't hear it over the rumbling of the train, but you can see the van visibly shaking with just the loudest music that you cannot hear yet uh and it looks like there's a lot of something in the back of the van because the like back end is squatted a little bit like it's got a lot of shit in it mm. i just added albie's little thing uh describe yourself for us uh my name is alistair nathaniel Zephaniel. Uh, Zephaniel? I thought it was Zephani. <laughs> Do we change it? Uh, I don't care. Uh, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> I'm just chill, dude, you know? Like, I'm just chilling, vibing, having a good time, you know? Learning some cool magic shit. Uh, yeah, I was born in America. Uh, grew up there until I was like nine then moved to england with my dad uh been coming here for a few years i missed my first couple of years because i was going in america um but i'm just just kind of hanging out having a good time you know love smoking weed listening to good music hell yeah dude so alistair uh, which i'm gonna refer to him as uh alistair is kind of sitting by his car. Are you like leaning? Are you inside? Like, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm. Cause you're just most, waiting for the train, right? Uh, you know, yeah, I probably would be be waiting for the train. So I'm probably just like leaned up against the front of my van. Just leaned up with a bong. Yeah, of course, just casually. So off in the distance, you're sitting there just like, like a smoking huge everything. bong that like goes from the ground up to my lips, like a wizard bong. <laughs> so are you like? <laughs> So are you like this? Like, are you like... Like, I'm like leaned Going up. down to light it, and no, then just like no, jumping No, 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 it's a giant... Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> or like how? Uh, I'm just like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just like using some magic. Oh, like, right, okay. To like light the... Light the Beautiful. bottom of it. So, you're sitting there doing your thing. Um, and it's and then... like... the. It like literally every hit, like it's like an actual cloud, like the actual size of a cloud, just like coming out of my mouth. Jesus so Christ. you see, you see, you see the train <laughs> off in the distance, a, a little while away, um, and as it's kind of approaching towards you, uh, uh -huh. you know that it's not going to stop. Um, you already know so it's not you stop. see me uh, quickly grab my bong, uh, and it transforms into my broom, <laughs> uh, and I throw it <laughs> in the back of my van. Jesus Christ! And uh, you <laughs> you just see me uh, hop in the van and wait for the train to go past. So the train's going by. It brushes past you, full speed. I'm fucking flooring it. How do you? What do you do? We're Which going way? along. Taking the mountain paths. <laughs> so, what are my options, Alistair? You can you can do a few things. If you want, you can get your vehicle onto the tracks. So you can try to follow it along the side. Do you want to do it for? I always just gonna be planes. Uh, I think I'm just kind of going all over the tracks. Okay. So he's just kind of going around, listening to his music. Feel free to crank the watch together if you guys want. Um, but he's kind of just veering around and everything. Not like in a way of like he's like doesn't know what he's doing, but just in like a I don't give a fuck kind of way, just like, oh, shit. like the joint, Pico, grab the joint Pico, 
Oh yeah, you can introduce Pico to us. Watch the bone, Pico. <laughs> Oh, Pico! <laughs> Pico actually thinks so enough. <laughs> 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 oh, shit! Are you okay? <laughs> We're good, Pico. We're good. Oh, thanks, buddy. Thanks. Who's, who, Pico? who's Pico? Pico is my Pico? sugar glider. Uh, 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 his name uh, is actually um, his full name is Pequino, uh, or Pika for short, and he's just a little, little sugar glider that, that runs around with me, a little white and gray. Hell yeah. So, as you're going, Pico is doing his best to hold this shit together for you. Like, he's he's trying, but he doesn't have much to give. He's the um, only thing keeping everything that you know is in the back from falling out the back doors. Yes, he's 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 like got his arm what, I don't even know what sugar glider is, but I think it has arms. He's it's tiny. curling on. He's a tiny flying squirrel, basically. He is using his whole wingspan. His whole like wingspan that's like this big to like do anything. <laughs> that's really <he> accurate. <laughs> um, so, uh, you're going along and you're just kind of whipping around and you see the train approaching a valley. And you know, because you've ridden the train for years, um, much to your own dissatisfaction, you've been traveling across this train for years, or this this bridge for years. It's like one of those ones you'd see in like a calendar. It's like rounded, it's got the archways underneath it, but basically, if you go down, because you have to follow this train close, because it has enchantments when it gets close enough that let it reach the barrier of mm -hmm. Hogwarts so kind I'm, of stuff. I'm hitting the gas. So I've never been more on the rails you have to, driving yeah, perfectly. Yeah. You're on the rails. I'm gonna have you make our first roll Hell of yeah. the session Yo. as you enter onto this bridge. And, and I haven't game. I didn't think about and the game entirely. The second I think the role. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say the second I heard I, I heard Freebird and you weren't on the train, but you were in a vehicle. I knew where this was going. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> so you are going to do a flight roll because I'm using flight kind of like dexterity to. Because you have shit flying everywhere. You also have the guy. You have all kinds of shit going on. Do you want to do a magic about keeping on this bridge, or you just want to drive? Um, because it's so, narrow. It's like the width of the train plus like a couple feet mm -hmm. on either side. Okay. I I know I've been working hard to try and get this van to fly. I want to see if I can just, like, make it hover enough to where I won't fall off the bridge. Like, where I can just kind of, like, skid, like, so just above the bridge. So you want to cast a spell to make it if, hover so that while you're driving... Yeah, so I can just keep off, it from falling. Hard. Okay, yep. let me give you a difficulty for that. This rocks. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. I'm gonna give you because it's magic. You get to add your magic die. I'm gonna give you a difficulty of six. Okay, and that's flight. This is to hover. Flight six to hover. It's a four. It's a four. Did you want to use tokens? Uh, I will spend the two tokens. I'll spend the two. Like, really white knuckling. Got, like, my, my broom in the back of the van, like, pushing it forward. <laughs> you're white knuckling it, like, you're, you're ready, and you feel like, kind of when you go over a bump in the road, but, like, a small mm -hmm. bump, you feel like a... And, although you can't see it, you are six inches off the tracks probably Hell you yeah. barely keep that's it that's the this most thing. i've ever lifted it <laughs> i've only yeah. ever gotten it like an inch <laughs> you barely get it off the ground but it's enough you travel you follow the train right behind it and um 
as you're kind of following the train, is your car just like normal speed of a of a vehicle, or is it faster? Like, what is the deal? Um, it's like probably average. I probably haven't put in the the quick juice in it. Yeah. So you are f- having difficulty. I'm imagining this is how I'm imagining it. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I mean, a train is going faster than a car could. So I'm imagining you're flooring it this whole time and you have to keep casting little just charms that you know to try to keep your speed up to follow this thing. Um, it's a fast ass train. And as you're kind of, I mean, do, do trains not go faster than cars? I feel like they do. Like bullet trains, <laughs> but not, not like regular trains. I don't know. What's the, what's the average speed of a train? Probably like 40 or 45. I think 60 is average, but yeah. you're driving a, a 60s bus. Right, passenger, that's true. Passenger, it's a 70s it's a van. 70s oh. van? Yeah, Dude. but isn't it the Volks, isn't it the like mystery machine? Oh shit, no, it's not the stoner van. My bad. Passenger trains are limited to 59 and freight trains to 49 miles per hour on a track. So it's going 59. It's maxing out. So I'm like, probably like. You are having to. You are having to constantly keep your foot on the gas. Like, you cannot. Uh, Absolutely floored. The whole time. No room for error. So at one point, we we get kind of back into more of a, a lower valley area where it it kind of hills off from the main track and you know you could stay on the track or you could go sideways and you'll pretty much be able to get the rest of the way next to it uh what does it seem like one is better than the other particularly i mean if there's not like, is one just I mean, riskier you, than the other? I'm, I'll make you do your roll for your hover again if you want to stay on the track, I guess. Uh, I'll fucking take the, take the green highway. Take the bitch way out. So, you go off the side, you're traveling kind of side by side, and something about this train is obviously magical. I mean, it obviously can evade all human detection, and it also can pass through some kind of impenetrable barrier that is the school. Um, so, as you're going, it, um, you you see that it's, it's almost like its speed is changing, but it's not ever going backward. Like, it's just like kind of jolting around. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just kind of like jolting around like this. And at one point, it stops like a full like jolt backward and you just shoot past it like fully past it oh and up to like the edge of a forest and as that's happening you see they've stopped the train and um somebody gets out and they run and you see that uh, a, a ch- child's like luggage has like fallen out the back and so they've stopped it so that they can go out and and grab it and it's like an owl cage and they get the owl cage and they get back on um so now you are uh sitting in this not at all disguised van um are you still did you just keep going or did you stop when the train stopped uh i probably just kept going probably just kept going so you you you're keeping going and because i don't want the kids kind of see yeah the kids kind of see like a weird blur but like they're focused on the kid that is screaming there's like a there's like a, a, f- a first year who, who her owl fell out and so she's screaming and that's all pretty much everybody can hear but the train kind of gets back up to speed and you know you know that you need to be with it so you slow down a little bit um are you yeah, gonna try to I avoid feel like I'm, yeah are you gonna try to avoid like anyone seeing you around? it's still a little bit <laughs> plainy but there are some trees do you want to just keep going and like fall back along the edge with the potential of everyone inside seeing you or do you want to hide wait for the train to go forward and then go do i feel like there's anything they can do about it if they see me at this point do do about what like do you feel about me being there (laughs) oh like they can't do it i mean like the teachers or whatever that are on the train you feel like there's a slight chance in the worst scenario that they would stop the train and make you get out of it and they would magic your car back home and make you get on the train Mm. it's light though like they're probably not gonna do that they're probably just gonna be like we'll deal with it 
if I feel like they're not going to do that, then I feel like I'm just going to like be off to the side and just like waiting. So the train pulls up again and it starts going. And as the train starts going, each car starts slowly noticing you out there. Do they see you or do they just see your car? Does anyone know about your car? Like, um, I mean, uh, I don't think uh, anyone knows about my car because I think I would have like just gotten it like after I turned 16. Do they um, do they see you in the driver's seat or I would I would think that if they looked they could see me. I, I don't think I'd have like tinted windows yeah. or anything like that. So, as they're going each train, train number 1, everyone on that side sees you and they're like, "What the fuck is that?" So they start talking to the other people and by the time that it's to the back, everyone already knows. So in train 2, Tiberius, you're sitting there. Um what are you doing? Are you looking out the window? Or are you talking to your friends? I'm just going on about some cowboy nonsense that I don't really know about. Says you're going on about that. You know about cowboy coffee. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you something about cowboy coffee. And every time you say cowboy with another noun, Andre and Charlie are just like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, <laughs> like you're like, yo, it's like, have you heard about cowboy uh, shoes? They're cowboy called Z-bop. boots. You ever heard of that? <laughs> they just keep like... They just keep, like, realizing you're just naming everything that exists, but with cowboy in front of it. It's a real <laughs> Batman scenario. Like, <laughs> and they're just, like, they're just, like, they're just, like, they're, like, okay, I don't think this guy knows what he's talking about at all. Like, uh, Andre's sitting over here, he's, like, sixth year muggle studies, been, like, in every single class, and he's, like, none of this is a thing. Like, there is no cowboys anymore, and the if up. there were, right. they're not in New York, okay, whatever. And he starts thinking, he's just, like, I, I don't know what we're gonna do. Did it's I even worse this year than think. before. Now, Carrie that briefcase or you won't make the team i'll tell you andre andre looks at him and he goes i've been on the team every single year i'm also not even in your house uh do i have my school bag yeah now andre i'm gonna give you one chance to apologize here it is no no. Okay. I'm sorry. I pull out my revolver. <laughs> are you going to shoot him or are you just starting? I don't have him? any bullets. <laughs> um, Andre goes, what the, what the fuck, man? No. What What are you doing with that thing? I told you I was Where'd a cowboy. Where'd you even cowboy. get that? Where'd you I even get that? I told you I was a cowboy. Now, quit the chit-chatting about your fake news history. <laughs> before Tiberius is ahead of his round. time, man. <laughs> And Andre's just like, okay, 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 and he's holding on to the case. Hey. So, you're as you're doing this, team. your revolver at Andre, who's a Ravenclaw and it's not even has anything to do with your team. You, you're you're pointed this this revolver at him, and you just hear Bert! It's just like this green like shoo, goes past you. Do you want to roll to try to see him in it, or do you just not care? Man, that's one fast bird. <laughs> Charlie notices that it's that's, that's that it's uh, Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie notices that it's Alistair. Just... Charlie does not like Alistair. Uh, Charlie is a Weasley, so he's he's a little kind of straight laced. All his brothers have been super successful and stuff, and he wants to be just like his brothers. He wants to be that whole like, oh, I'm gonna work at the ministry like my father and stuff. He does not like Alistair. So as soon as he sees that, he's like. Thinking, I'm totally mm. gonna tell somebody that this guy has his car. Like, what is he doing? Why is he not on the the He's train? He's gonna see me, kids? and I'm just like, I just look like I'm having like the time of my life. Yeah, and he's like, I hate that this man is happy. <laughs> and he, I hate he just sees like, like a tiny creature just like hopping back and forth, and like yeah. things <laughs> flying around. Yeah, 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 just... yeah. Yeah. So let me scroll back down to my <clears> thing. I sent uh, pictures of what a sugar glider is for anyone. Oh, who doesn't I would know. love to see. It's oh my god, it's so cute! It's so cute, dude. <laughs> it's literally like this big. They and die really they just easy. they'll hang out they'll just hang out like on your pockets and stuff. Like they just never leave you. They're little vibes. Oh. We're getting right up to the school and Nathan is, you know. You know, you're you're kinda I would say here's the train, you're kinda hovering at the back of it going on. Yeah, exactly. You're hovering at the back of it and 
kind of following it on. Um, so when the train goes over the bridge, you do the same thing you did before, and you bust through the magical barrier with the train, and you are totally in. You're good. Everything's good. Um, so you pull up to the train station, which is actually visible on our map, if you guys Ooh. are interested. Oh, right yeah. here where my little hand is. Um, this is the area which you guys are coming in at, and then you stop off right here. As you're unloading off the train, you guys all get all your belongings. Um, Nathan, are you going to go on the carts with the rest of the students, or are you going to try to bring your vehicle closer to the grounds of the school? How far am I from the school at this So point? right here you can see Hogsmeade Station, where my hand is. And they're going to take the, the things the So is that like a mile? Um... Let me think about that. Kind of looks like a mile. I would say two miles. There's no reference. I'm saying just two going miles. off of like the size of Hogwarts. I don't think it's to scale. I'm pretty sure it's not to scale because this is a whole town over here. Oh uh, yeah. So probably about. It's two not miles. far. Yeah, it's not far. I think I'll try and hide it somewhere between here and there wherever i think is so best. maybe in here do you want to do you want to hide it right now and get on the carriages with everybody or do you want to try to drive do i think there's any good places to hide it right now uh, i don't know well, well, you can look around let's figure that out you could go ahead you and could. would would any would bad things happen if i like parked it somewhere in this town do i feel like the town you'll need to disguise to it, it? But no. if you put it, go ahead and roll brains. Uh, it's not going to be hard, but you only have a four. <laughs> I guess you have one more token. Five, a five brains. Uh, could explode. You could also do magic about hiding it if you want, instead of just looking around. That's a three. So. You think that if you put it in this woods and throw some leaves on it, you'll probably be fine. For a while. I think I'm gonna do that then. Okay, so... I, <laughs> I'm, I'm too lazy to, to, like, get leaves, so I just put a bunch of, like, pot bags. <laughs> like, gigantic bags of pot just <laughs> around the van, like, on all the shiny parts. So I'm your like, no, I don't see that. Your and the whole bag. like the mystery machine thing is still entirely visible. <laughs> so your school bag, uh, we've Cam and I have discussed will probably fit like a locker's worth of stuff. Like it'll fit your broom and a few other things. Um, mm -hmm. is there anything you're gonna take out of the car? Or are you gonna pretty much leave the car's contents intact? So I'm gonna have uh I'm gonna have my so my broom can fit in my bag. It's a magic bag. It's magic, so it's like okay. It's a little bigger. I knew bigger. it was magic. I you're just it's a little kidding. bigger on the inside, like the size of a locker, like a high school locker. Okay, one of the tall ones. Not the um, half, not the half yeah. lockers, the big locker. So then I can probably fit my broom in there. Uh, so I'll put my my broom bong in there. <laughs> yep. The brong. Uh, I'll put a <laughs> yeah a brong whole, if you will. I'll put a whole hookah in there. Okay. <laughs> like with like the four things, uh, a regular bong. <laughs> Priorities. And <laughs> probably about like ten pounds of weed. Okay. <laughs> and pen, uh, I think I'm, a think I'm set. Oh, and uh, a vape. Okay. <laughs> you mean like wait? You mean like vapes. a cigarette? Like <laughs> no, no. I don't, no, you I don't made smoke. it. Did you? You invented it, right? I don't do the. Uh, it's I don't a magic do the cigarettes. vape. Magic yeah. vape. So you hide this uh, machine shittily. So well. Terribly. Um, no, so good. Excellently. It's incredible. Um, and all the kids are getting out of the train. Do you want to just jump in and blend in? Do you want to like hit, go to the back of the line? Like, What are you kind of thinking? Um, I think I'll just kind of like, you know, walk in. Um, just being chill like nothing's going on so just kind of like, like hey like, what's going on i was in this line the whole time but i was not over that there loud. Like... not that loud i'm <laughs> did you just so go like, in what's 
anyone that acknowledges me, I'm like, hey, what's going on, or whatever. Yeah, so you basically, let me just make sure I'm in the right spot. Yeah, I'm good. So as you kind of walk up to the line, you see everyone is, is headed forward. I'll just give you an example. Right here at the station, everyone's headed this way. So you hide your thing and then just kind of slip in at the back of the line. Um, and everybody's lined up because at the gate, um, Professor Flitwick is going to check your guys' names off and make sure everybody's in the right spot. So I'm going to pull up his picture. And this is him. Um, he's standing there with this huge, like, rolled parchment that's, like, down, and he's crossing names off it as you guys come along. Um, and, um, you kind of just fit into the line, um, next to your friend Pippa, if I can find her picture. Here she is. Um, Pippa's been your friend. She was one of the first people you met when you first moved to this school, and she was immediately super chill with you guys, uh, with you. Um, there were a lot of people that kind of weird towards your attitude because they were like we're kind of focused on school we're trying to kind of be really good wizards but you're kind of just really chill about everything that's kind of weird but Pippa was what's always weird is I'm, I'm cool. really chill about everything but I like go hard in classes <laughs> yeah so she she's always been fighting for you since day one so she's she's kind of your day oneer um and she's like I didn't see you on the train she's like oh Pippa what's going on where, where were you on the train? We were looking for you. We had an extra seat. Like, we saved a seat for you and everything. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I, uh, I found uh, another ride. Oh. I guess you could say. Kay. I'm not really sure It's uh, what that it's means. Chill. You see she looks off into the forest behind you and sees, like, an almost orange kind of thing and she's just like um i'm just like oh. really i'm really not gonna ask i i don't really want to know as long as you as long as you got what we need for this year man like as long as you got the goods oh, oh i got it okay good 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 and i just like just like crack the zipper uh on my on my bag and it's just the stench <laughs> it's just <laughs> instant and she's like it's, she's kind of like it almost hits her and she's like oh oh Got it, got it, got it. Um, like me and Pico have been working hard on this one. Pico, where's he at? Uh, you see Pico just, like, climbs out of the bottom, like, hoodie pocket and just, like, crawls up and sits. She gets really excited because she loves him. Shoulder. She loves, like, little animals like that. Uh, so as, like, soon, as soon as Pico, like, fully recognizes her, I feel like he definitely just, like, jumps and glides <laughs> onto her. Yeah, and her he, she, yeah she, he, like, lands right here and she's like, Pico! Oh like she's like just petting him like the little two finger pet they teach you in like a petting zoo like mm -hmm. being really respectful of him and stuff she's like well we're gonna have such a good year it's gonna be amazing um unfortunately you know i'm a year ahead of you so like i'm not gonna be in that many of your classes i know it sucks but we'll hang out it's gonna be great it's gonna be totally fun um did you hear that we're getting a transfer student this year um a transfer student like yeah like from a different magic school like they're bringing somebody from a different magic school oh. to come be at home. So like what I did. For oh, I forgot about that. We've known each other for so long. We go so far back. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, she's like, but she's like already from a magic school, apparently. Right. So it's like I, a little I different was than in you. An American magic school. I thought you were in a normal magic. I thought you were in a normal school. No, no. I was, when uh... you first moved to England, I thought you said you were in a normal school. No. <laughs> That's what I have written down in your notes. No. That's okay. Because uh, <laughs> I, I thought like, you said that you went. I thought you said I, when you, you moved know, to Britain, realized, you were in a normal school for a year, and then you, your dad sent you to Hogwarts. Because I, I forgot that we we changed that. I'm gonna be real honest. So that's fine. I, I was in a I, normal school I, in America. I love the idea. That <laughs> no, because that works better for what the yes. Yeah, so. I love the idea that this lady. Has a notebook <laughs> on her phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I had in my. I mean, my memory of you and our friendship. She just like shuffles away a little journal. <laughs> yeah. So while yeah, you guys no, are all uh, sitting there, that's, oh, go ahead. That's tight. Yeah. That's so while you guys are all sitting there, um, Tiberius, do you are you chill with Nate at all? Are you not chill? Like, what's the deal? 
I don't like him. So you would not go out of your way to see him and be like, oh, where was he? I'm gonna go talk to him. Oh. No. Yeah. So, I, if anything, so... I was happy I didn't see him. Case now, I, I'll tell here, you something. Don't like... drop that briefcase. I'll tell you, that boy over there, and I hate to say it, he's as queer as a $3 bill. <laughs> Ain't nothing normal <laughs> about him. And Andre's like, good to know, good to know, like kind of nodding along, like he's 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 down with it. But Charlie's like, why would you say that about somebody? <laughs> kind of like, um, but as you guys are all staying there, you suddenly from from the skies you hear this like thunderous like neigh of a horse, just like <laughs> from from the heavens, like almost as if there's a Bluetooth speaker like in the sky, just be like, oh, I leave my van on? <laughs> yeah, it's like the, it's so loud, and you guys are all like, what's going on? You look around and, you know, it's trees everywhere, but kind of through the trees, there's this one opening. And you see um, this, like, Pegasus-drawn carriage just descending, like, from the clouds. Um, and it's coming in and it's kind of weaving around and it's... It's a, it's kind of fucked up. Like, it's kind of busted and broken That's down. Um, chill as hell. Dude. You can see the horse looks super tired and its wings are like... <sighs> Like, it's, like, struggling. It's, like, I have been going for so long. And the carriage is, like, the paint's peeling off. There's, like, a wheel that's not even on it anymore. Um, so, uh, you guys are all watching that, and this this thing lands, and the other wheel just busts off. So the whole thing, like, slams down to the ground. And the horse, like, horses don't lay down. This horse fully lays down. Like, it's just, like, like this. Horses do lay down. They don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Dude, they do. They, they do they just not lying sleep down? laying down? They do sleep lying down, but they also sleep standing up. Well, okay, it does lay down because it's so tired. So it's just like this. <laughs> like, like the way, like, not on its side, like, just like this. Like, not even anatomically <laughs> I, possible for I, yeah, a horse. I don't think their legs go that Yeah, way. it does. It's magic. Um, Fully so family you guys are all watching. across the... <laughs> like, uh, oh, yeah. this dude's fucking shlong. <laughs> so you guys are all watching this um this carriage kind of descend um and there's like silence and you just hear the door like <laughs> open like so strained it's just like it, this thing is gonna fall apart um and a young woman steps out dressed all In blue, Sweet Cam, blue. please describe your character to Sorry, us. Sorry, I was lagging because I was turning on my camera. Uh, I am Cas Castel Bocordo. I am a transfer student <laughs> from France. I am wearing the traditional Bo uh, Bobatons uniform. Uh, I am going to vomit. <laughs> this was not a good, not a good flight. Uh, I, I, I think I, I step out. Oh, I have like little like. Despite the rest of my attire being very like um, prissy and like regal, definitely have like a bit of acne. My like hair is disheveled. I have like canvas sneakers. Like very much like not into the style of being preppy. And I I step out of the carriage and I am like gonna barf. Totally gonna hurl entirely. Uh, yeah. So as you step How out of the far carriage, away is the carriage? It's from it pulled up like twenty feet away from you. It's not far. Oh, uh, I'm just like, oh, you you chill, home dog. Uh, you good? <laughs> I'm. As you step out of the carriage, um, I'm just gonna have you make a grit check of eight to not vomit. Okay, that's my D eight. It's possible. Give us a little. That's a five. <laughs> You fully vomit. Yep. Like, not projectile, but just straight <laughs> down. Everyone starts laughing. Like, the most, like, the most, like, bullying oh, you'd shit. see in, like, an 80s movie type energy. Do you want to ride the crazy train? <laughs> Get in! That's tight. <laughs> see how you That's like tight it. As hell. Hello. And a couple people, a couple people not, look very scared, and a couple lie. people are like, I okay. was getting there in the van. It, uh, I mean, um, uh, I know how that feels. Uh, um, so, as you're sitting there, you, you're you kind of like, do you have, like, bags? Like, like mm. what's going on? I I have, like, a, kind of like a backpack and a suitcase I've brought with me, just because I've been traveling kind of light. 
Uh, I didn't have a lot of stuff at my old school that I actually like cared about bringing with me. So I just have right. like backpack that's kind of chonky, and then I have a little bird cage with uh, my familiar in it. Uh, pigeon the raven. And describe your familiar. Uh, yeah, pigeon the raven. Raven uh, pigeon is just like about that big, uh, pre- a little a little undersized for a raven. Uh, he is very like looking around a lot. Uh, but otherwise, is pretty like non like pretty stereotypically a raven. Uh, just black, just very dark features. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you step out and you have like a couple bags. They're sitting on like. They're strapped into the back of the carriage, so you haven't quite grabbed them yet. Um, and this this girl steps forward. Um, she feels super bad that your first introduction to this school is like vomiting in <laughs> front of everybody. Um, so this is her. Her name's Penny. Um, she's super cute. As she steps forward, you can see she's got these very stereotypical like Hufflepuff black and yellow colors going on. This long blonde hair. It's kind of braided. Um, and she has... Uh, these scars on her hands you can see them on the mini but the scar here scar here and then she's got kind of a cropped sweater so you can see a large slash that you can probably interpret goes farther back and Mm -hmm. and farther kind of along her torso um and she steps out and she's like are you okay yeah uh yes uh mind your step i was sick uh Oh, just... you're fine. She kind of goes like this, and your vomit's just gone. And it, like, kind of, oh. she- like, not, I guess, shovels? I don't know if that's a word. It the opposite of dishevels you. Like, it kind of fixes your hair. You can tell that this girl is skilled in charms. You can tell she's she's good. That was very... Uh, you must teach me this one. What is that one? Oh, um... I, I kind of just made it up a little bit, but you really just like have co- to focus on... Is it on, like locomotor? On... Is it similar principle? Kind of, you have to. Fo- I've I've combined kind of the focus of locomoto and the the cleaning charm that we learned oh, in second so year, and you kind of combine those two. Mo- Why don't you try it? And she just like spits to. on the ground. Oh, I would love to. This is perfect. And I bust out my wand, uh, and I'm going. I'm absolutely going to try to locomotor this fucking spit yeah. into oblivion. <laughs> uh, so that's gonna be a flight. A flight check. And right. yeah, because what else is it? You're like, moving. I guess brawn. Like, nah. <laughs> I'll take flight. Yeah, uh, uh, it's gonna be a flight, and it's it's not hard. It's gonna be a four. Okay. And I get to roll my d4 with this because magic, right? Yes. Uh, that's a four on that, and then so that's a that's a seven. Yeah, you execute it perfectly. Um, Penny is impressed that you learned a spell that she invented just from her describing the two components of it to you. She's like, "Wow, like that's really amazing. I didn't, I didn't know anyone else oh. around here could, could really. I think we're gonna get along really, really well this year. I'm excited. Um, uh, what's this your I'm name gonna, name? I'm gonna. Nathan. Never, never mind. Never. Mind. Okay. That, that would be that wouldn't be my character. Oh, sorry, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. That, that was competitive me trying to, try to come out. I remember so drilling that in. My name, my name is Penny, Penny Haywood. Penny um, Haywood. Penny, Penny, this is my it, come here, girls, and she kind of goes like this, like to the line. Um, and you see two other blonde girls step forward. I don't have a picture of one of them, but I do. Uh, one of them is. Looks exactly like Penny, but shorter and wearing kind of like traditional first year type robes. Um, she goes, this is my little sister, Beatrice. Um, Beatrice. And then she also calls forward her friend. Beatrice like looks at you like a shy kid who like it's their f- first year of school and they don't know anything. Um, and then Kiara. Kiara also steps forward. And she goes, hi, I'm Kiara. Um, do you have any like bags or anything you need help with carrying or anything oh i i have bags yes but i i, I mean i can get some that is not a large deal i believe we are, are you all... sure like we, we can carry them are... Are you, are you, i only have like two things so this is okay, fine okay. i can just i can look well, out of them uh but i do really appreciate so kiara we, uh, yes and yeah. the little one is who again beatrice beatrice, beatrice. Is, penny goes beatrice is my younger sister uh, it is very nice to meet you, Beatrice. I am Castell. Oh, nice. I am. She she kind of like puts her hand out to like shake your hand, but she's like 
I, I very much do the like the like two hand grasp the like I'm very gentle mm-hmm. thing. I am sorry yeah. for my uh, bit of an outburst. I am I try not to be very scaly, but you know, it, uh, not a fan of heights, not a fan of flying, really. Uh, yes. Beatrice goes. I like your I like your accent. Where are you from? Thank you. I am from Paris, uh, France. From Perry? What's Perry? I once knew a platypus named named Perry. <laughs> 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 it's, it is a city. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Is a platypus a magical creature? I'm not sure. We've learned they, that they're yet. They're not and... natural, for sure not. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> 100% not natural. Okay. But, okay. uh. Beatrice starts to cry and runs. She runs behind her sister. Plat- <laughs> Platypi were definitely Dumbledore's doing. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and no one's ever asked him about it because he tried to hide them in Australia <laughs> away from England. <laughs> oh, God. I just tilted everything so penny's kind of gotten comfortable with you and she's like oh you're you're so pretty like i love your outfit and like Thank so you. you're from you're from france like did you go to beau battens yes yes i did really uh, what was it like there you know it's a great school fantastic education uh but we can talk about that later. It's, it's yes. no big deal. Um, here, come with us. We're going to go into the line and we're going to get on the carriage. You're going to love the carriages. They, they're so cute. They drive all by themselves. They, they pull, like, like they have nothing attached to them and they just drive. It's so sweet. You'll see them up around the hill as soon as we do, go over there. They, It'll they be so fly, sweet. They don't fly, no? They don't, they don't fly? No, no, no. These are, okay. these are grounded. Okay, grounded so carriages. Like, they pull good. themselves. There's nothing to make them fly. Well, that's great. Right? Well, well, also, the... Not to be rude, but like if they pull themselves, you would think they maybe like maybe there's nothing about them that says they cannot fly. Her worldview shatters <laughs> as soon as you say that. She's like, I've been I'm wrong about something. Someone has pointed out to me that I'm incorrect. No one ever does that to me. I'm the most popular, famous person at Hogwarts. What is happening? And her she goes, Beatrice, come along. Let's bring our new friend over. And she kind of she pulls you into the line. There's, so, there's no as way you've been I'm having this conversation, if I've offended her or anything like yeah, no. that, like no way, no I'm idea. just traipsing along. <laughs> so the line goes over the hill, um, and since you guys took so long to talk, you're you're kind of at the end of the line now. So his parchment that he's had rolling, it actually just automatically will get shorter. So his his parchment's like this long because mm-hmm. you guys are like the last people on it, um, and so. Um, the group of you guys comes up, and Kiara kind of steps up to the front and he goes name and she goes Kiara Labosca and he goes perfect have a great year it's gonna be amazing she goes forward um Beatrice goes Beatrice Haywood uh and my sister Penny and or sorry opposite Penny Haywood and my sister Beatrice and Beatrice kind of goes like she nods and Flowick can tell like that she's the kind of kid who doesn't really want to talk right. ever so he's just like okay you can both go and he goes Miss Haywood I'm excited to see you this year I think we're gonna get a lot of good stuff done hope you will uh consider what i offered you last year as the teaching aid position to help with my other charms classes you're very skilled i i hope you will consider that you still have time to accept that position and and penny looks like she's like that looks like too much work i have social activities to go to but also i know this is prestigious and that will get me a job so she's kind of like i don't know um and then he he looks at you and he says and and you young lady i'm sorry you don't look Uh, familiar castel bocodo i am from is it the transfer student program? Ca- 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 cast- Cast- Castel. I'm sorry, can you... Castel? Can you spell it for me? I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. Um, uh, C-A-S-T... And I just spell out my name. He looks behind you and sees that there's only like four people behind you. And he looks at the list and he goes, I'm sorry, your, your name's not on my student registry. Oh, really? So, uh, yeah... I don't really know what exactly could I uh, to do there. What do you have any professors that I could bring down and I kind well, of, I just don't recognize you. Who would I have talked to to even know? You received I was, a letter. I received a letter from. Did it say from who? Uh, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It may have had McGonagall's name on it. Do I have the letter on me? Yeah, if you want. Can I just show him? Are they already uh, in Hogwarts? Like, have we uh, already been? You guys are already on the carriages, but the carriages don't leave till everyone gets on them. 
Okay. So kind of just show them the letter. Are I, there, got. Are... I, I, I would like you to, to go over. Be like, now, now, funny man, now, short man, this ain't no way to treat a. I'm lady. sorry. All right, you know who I am. Short. You uh, do realize yeah. I'm extremely tall for my species. Right, and the moon is bright for for nighttime. He casts a mouth silencing charm on you, and you can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Go to the carriages, Tiberius. We'll deal with you later. <laughs> and Fluick is kind of laughing because he's like, he's like, I got to charm a student. Like that's funny. Like he never gets to do that because he doesn't really have bad kids in his classes. Right. Uh, I he was a little I received to say approving uh, my transfer here. Uh, because there'll be some mistake. Oh, your transfer? Uh, yes. He grabs the letter. He looks at the 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 signature and everything. And he he mutters to himself, and you can just barely hear it. I thought the transfer student already got onto the carriages. It's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, we don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, he then proceeds to do, like, 17 disenchantment charms on you. Like, just, like, so many. Just trying to see if you're, like, disguised as something. If you, like... Does everything. He does everything he knows. Keep in mind, this is Flitwick. He is the charms professor, right? So he is going to be... If a spell is known, he's going to know how to do it. He's like mm -hmm. the guy. So he does everything he can on you, and he realizes that you're just a person just Th trying to go to school. This is very impressive. I, I very much admire your uh, ability with spellcraft. Uh, if you're taking charms this year, you will get to learn some of this. And he kind of continues to do it and he he can tell that you're excited and like he just can tell that you're genuine basically so he's like all right go ahead i need you to talk to someone when you get inside i'm, I'm gonna send you right to dumbledore you're gonna go up this staircase gives you like directions I get to of where to go when you get, I get inside i get to meet up this dumbledore he's the headmaster of course you'll oh, all good. know him when I, I, I was on from. I didn't know if perhaps he was, you know, very much up in the high tower, you know, never come down, very wizardy type. Flitwick seems extremely confused by this because Hogwarts has such a high, like, transparency. Like, mm -hmm. everybody is, like, has close relationships. Right. So he's like, okay, sure. Go on ahead. Go um, on so ahead. you guys head up to the carriages. Um, and Tiberius and, and Alistair, you guys just get on the carriages. Nothing's different than anything okay. um are the carriages like connected together or are they like separate they are all separate okay uh are anything... there teachers in all of the carriages there aren't teachers in any of carriages nathan did okay. you ever decide an answer to that question i had asked you about your backstory about the thing that i said was important for a bit of narration um <clears throat> do you see anything pulling well... these carriages nathan We'll say, uh, let me just text this to you real quick. Okay. I see. I see. I see. What do you see? There ain't nothing pulling these carriages. This is really true. Oh, did your mouth get on hexed? <laughs> no. Oh. Unless, unless you try, did you try I'm to unhex gonna, it? You I'm can gonna roll. try to unhex this man's mouth. You gonna try to unhex his mouth? Okay, yeah. give me one sec. Are we even in? Are okay. we in the same carriage? You guys are going up to the carriages right now, and Tiberius. I think you've kind of realized that everyone's a little mad at you right now, so you've grabbed the case back from Andre and everybody, um, and and you've gotten on the last carriage by yourself because you're sitting there like, mm, 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 and you're thinking like, I don't know, say why anybody wants to talk to me. I thought I was cool. Like you're just like mad. Um, and as you guys are walking up, uh. You, Castor, also can't see anything, but Nathan um, walks up to the front of the carriages and just kind of goes like this along the back of, to you, an unseen creature, but he sees a giant, black, kind of emaciated horse-looking figure um, with these wings that are kind of folded to its side of this leathery skin, um, and he just got, gives him kind of a gentle pat, and it kind of shakes its its head like that. Um, and you guys are all looking at him like, I don't understand what that's about, but okay. Um, and do you guys want to all get on the same carriage, or what are you thinking? I'm absolutely going to get uh, on. I'm going to get on whatever... I'm probably going to get on a carriage with Pippa. Whatever, with Pippa? So Pippa is going to get on the one right before that. So Pippa is going to be with your friend Jay and herself, um, and you can hop on there with them. Castair, what are you wanting to do? I'm going to unhex Tiberius's mouth as fast as I can, and then, like, keep track of which carriage uh 
Alistair's on. Just because, okay. like, that interests me, I think. The, like, petting mm-hmm. the nothing thing. Yeah. And I might see if I can, like, change carriages mid-ride. You know what I mean? What's your level of familiarity with unhexing a mouth-stealing charm? That's an excellent question. Let me pull up my spell book. I should have had that open already, but... I mean, like, just think about, like, is that something you feel like you would have seen or noticed? I'm sure I've at least read about it. So probably, like, the third one out of four. Okay. I am going to pull up my spell book. I'm trying to think what that would be for un... un Unhexing. I guess maybe a brain? I'm cool with brains, baby. Let's do a brain. What would he have used to cast the spell? What? What oh, did, um, what would the professor have used to cast the spell? I'd probably just do the same oh, thing. Though. Physically holding someone's jaw shut would be brawn. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finit, finite incantatum this man. You can finite incantatum him with brains. Cool. That's gonna be a six on brains. Uh, D twenty. <laughs> I'm not even gonna roll the other two because I got a seventeen. You finite and can him, mm-hmm. and not only because this has you have done such a good finite and can <laughs> that you not only remove the hex on his mouth, you also have removed whatever charm Bartholomew put in place to keep everything that's in this fucking briefcase in it. Oh shit! And the entire briefcase springs open, and posters, banners, promotional material, like literally, like. I don't even know how to describe oh, this, the, the magnitude of what is is what is released here. It could fill a normal sized car, like a, a sedan <clears throat> of materials, have just erupted out of this case. Like I'm saying, pennants and like scarves, and it's all like, oh, sponsored by Polished Oak Boom Company, Gryffindor, year 1989. Like it's literally it's everywhere, I, all over the carriages, all over the ground. I, oh shit, <laughs> uh. Ooh, uh, apologies, I was trying to fix your mouth and I have made a mess. Uh... I'm just like in the next carriage and I- I've definitely like busted out my like hookah at this point. Yeah, yeah. Sitting you're sitting the there table. with, um, you have your friend Tonks, Nymph- her name's Nymphadora, but she doesn't like to go by that. She's got like uh-huh. this pink hair and this whole like mysterious kind of like emo girl thing going on. And then your friends Jay and Pippa, I'll, I'll pull out their portraits. You guys are all just... To me. Jay is ne- uh, Pippa's next to you, and then Jay and Tonks are on the other side. Um, and I just like hear like a bunch of shit going on. I'm just like, what the hell is that? <laughs> God, yep. like, whoa, dude, I'm fucking tripping right. Pippa, this is Tonks, and then Jay. I don't have like Here's a reverse Jay. time spell or anything like that. <laughs> um, do you want to? I mean, what do you guys want to do, uh, Tiberius? What do you do when this happens? Your mouth yeah. is free now, this by the way. Yeah, your mouth's this free. This ain't my first rodeo. Now, this is the first time stuff has, has been released accidentally. But like I said, this is not my first rodeo. This is my second rodeo. <laughs> what? So, little known fact about pile of show brooms is uh, we got a little fail safe to send them, to return them. You don't make your payments. So I'm just send it all back to to my mom and papa. <laughs> just just straight up send Just up. all of the materials, everything. And I, I I'ma say, look, we need a new briefcase. Andre Dunn dropped it. <laughs> all of the items um <laughs> just rise and then flash out of existence. Uh, I am so sorry, I did I, not mean to The briefcase uh, stays. Well, you can have this briefcase, seeing oh, as you opened it. Thank you. I'm sorry. I did not catch uh, Tiberius. Yes. Well, that's what some people call me because that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> it was really oh, nice Lord. to meet you. I am Castell. You seem. Uh, I appreciate you coming to my rescue earlier. Uh, I wanted to say yeah. thank you. I apologize for uh, fucking up your whole shit. Oh, uh, the shit has been fucked up from day one, let me tell you. 
I, the, the, we ain't got one. time for stories. <laughs> we ain't got time for stories. You are so right. So, I'm, I'm going to try and get on the carriage with the crazy person. Uh, so if you don't mind, I'm going to do that. But I would love to meet up when we get to uh, the uh, uh, castle. If that oh. is good. And I can have this. Whatever you've, uh, you... This briefcase now belongs to you. Is it still even slightly bigger on the inside? <laughs> I'm going to say I don't have the answer to this. I would say no. It's when just like a when <laughs> all of the yeah, when all of the items mm -hmm. vanished, the briefcase snapped back shut, and okay. you attempt to open it and cannot open it. it. Doesn't work with like a hello Mora or anything like that. You want to cast a Mora yeah, on it? I absolutely do. Well, yeah, a Loha Mora brawn four. Shit, brawn is a little crispy for me. Four, you say. Mm -hmm. This one. I'm gonna spend two adversity tokens on this. Uh, do you get four? four? That you, would, before you that do would add anything, up to four. I have. Do you want the key? Do you want the key? Before oh. you spend these tokens. Do you have so the key? Token. Do you have, do you have the, the key? key? Of, of course, I have the key. You, you think they send me with just one? Well, just one way of opening it. Well, yes. If I if if I may have the case, I would very much like the keys to open the case. Uh, I'll put my yeah. wand down. <laughs> now, now, all right, all right. I, I take off my cowboy hat because the key is sitting on my head. <laughs> I had the key. Now, now here you go. Thank, my thank you. Castle was it? Castle? Uh, Castell. Like like. Caster. Cast air. Oh, you're one of them French people, ain't you? Yes. I, I've been to your country. I, I, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> now, Castle, you, you you find that weirdo. I'm going to warn you, though. I'm going to warn you. Yes. That's, that's all I'm going to say. You have been warned. Is, is he, like, a pearl belt? Uh, what is <laughs> Well, he's a man of many titles. I myself would not call him a, uh, a pervert. Uh, okay. A sexual solicitor, however, that's the title I would use. <laughs> well, thank three, you. Three somethings of a queer. <laughs> <laughs> now, that boy is as queer as a $3 bill. I, I was telling Andre that. Before it dropped the damn briefcase. Andre he hears you from three cages up and goes, Fuck you, Tana! <laughs> Andre, Andre. I you know you know what I pointed at you he earlier? He just goes <laughs> You know what I pointed at you earlier? Sleep with one eye open. <laughs> Andre's like, I gotta tell someone about this. <laughs> I thank you very much for your gift. I will go to the carriage. On on my way there, I am going to open it and see if it's funky at all. With the key, you're yeah. going to open it. So you open it with the key, and again, keep in mind it's big. Like it's mm -hmm. a bigger than a normal briefcase, but you're still able to like open it. Um, and you see that there is. It's just like a normal briefcase with like kind of a fabric. Li I don't know what they line briefcases with, but like a felt or kind of fabric lining. Mm -hmm. Um, and you do see one portion of the briefcase like edge i guess i don't know that the felt is like peeling back mm. on on one little part i'll do i'll, I'll fuck with that later uh, i'm just gonna put it in my school bag for now and go to the carrot go ahead and write down that it has a peeling piece of felt on it okay. in your thing so i don't forget <laughs> um so yeah you're gonna go forward and get in alistair's carriage yes so are you going to just get in? Or are you going to say something? Like, what are you going to say? Uh, let me write this down real quick so I don't forget. Brief. How do you get in the carriage? <laughs> it's just like a... What do you it's, mean? It's, like it's just a, a normal carriage. Yeah, it's just like yeah, a... Yeah, but I thought they were separate. Well, they're separate, they but they're probably separate. all in a row, right? Like, it's like a yeah. parade type deal. Oh, I was under the impression we couldn't, like, easily move back and forth between them. Well, They I'll haven't started moving yeah, yet. They don't start the going until everyone gets oh. on them. I'm just like, uh, what's chill, dude? And I just, uh, all of the, like, slots on the hookah are taken up, so I just, like, hold out my, my side of the hookah. Oh, that is okay. You me. know, I want to make good first impression, and you know how it is. But, you know, perhaps later, uh, what is your name? 
That's tight. Uh, Hello, tights. People. <laughs> <laughs> my 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 friends call me uh, Nate. Hello, Nate. Uh, apologies for misunderstanding. Uh, you did a, a motion in front of the couch a moment ago, and I was yeah. curious. Uh, I was petting the petting the threstles. <laughs> Thestrals. You're okay. Thestrals. Uh, is Threstrals or something else? I forget what they are. You're okay. Is uh, I oh okay. I see. I. I would probably be smart enough to put this together, right? I, I would feel... You can okay. kind of realize, like, he sees something you don't. Right. You probably, honestly, unless you want to roll for, like, super good intuition, you probably think that it's like, oh, Hogwarts students can see the, the funny horses. Okay, gotcha. Like, so, that's probably what you're think okay, thinking. Gotcha. So Zell is an invisible uh, creature of some form that pulls the carriages. Yeah. Uh, there, there's horses in front of... The uh, main carriage, F like normally horses, and I, I'm gonna pull out my like journal uh, and a pen. I reckon as normal as anything else. I I'm fully case. sitting down at this point, so if the carriages start taking off or whatever, that's fine. They but, yes, since you have sat, they have started going. Okay, cool. I'm I'm like, could you uh, describe them to me? And I'm gonna like sketch like what I'm hearing as a uh, as a. And I'm like super high. I'm just like uh, they're horse-like. Uh, Is there any distinguishing features from a normal horse? They, they have wings. I fucking... Uh, I said, I said at this earlier, point, there was nothing stopping the characters from flying. I said it. Uh, and I'm fully... <laughs> Fully writing that down. <laughs> As you're writing, since Nathan is doing a bad job Little of describing zombified. the Thestrals, <laughs> yeah, since he's doing a bad job describing, you just are thinking like a normal horse with wings. Just like a straight up like brown... Like ho farm um, horse, but just like with closer wings, to what, what Bobaton has than like actually. Yeah, what closer it is. to like a, a mythical Pegasus, but without like the raw beauty of a Pegasus. Right. How they're like pure white and everything, like, well, like just like just brown, a, a <laughs> like shit horse. Yeah, just a fully brown horse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. So you get in the carriages. You guys are kind of talking, um, and Pippa is like just kind of also out of it along with Nathan and um, Jay, who Jay is over here in the red hoodie. Mm -hmm. Jay, um, he looks at you and he goes, Your accent, I... It seems to be identifiable to the specific southeastern region of France. Kind of. Is, do you have family from the Pyrenees? Oh, wow. You are a bit of a weirdo, no? Uh, uh, so I am, I'm I, sorry. I, I didn't mean I'm to sorry. assume. I just thought That's, we were no, asking weird exactly. questions so, at this I'm, point. We totally about this, Jay. I just, you, I just thought I, I could really identify the specific... You really make yourself out to be a, stop, a stalker, man. I, I just, I could this. make out the you, specific it, it is no details worries. in your accent. I, 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 I'm curious. I have heard of the specific... And forgive me if, if I'm overstepping, but the specific French dialect that is spoken... Uh, I would need to hear a sample of the language. Could you please, uh, I know it's weird, say something in French for me? Uh, you know, personally, I don't, I don't wish to be the whole, you know, I, uh, you know, third wave feminist, really, you know, but, you know, it's like, I just, I, I just got here, man, you know, I just want to write I, I would just it. like to hear, because I'm very interested, like, in, in, in linguistics as a field, and I'm considering going into that in the future. It's weird, I know it's weird. Alistair, we've talked about it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, d I didn't... Wait, your name I'm is sorry. Jay? Your name is Jay? Jay. What is J-A-E. Your... What is your last name? Uh, Jay Kim. Kim is my last name. It is very nice to meet you, Jake. There was no offense, offense intended. I have just had a long ride. There was nothing. Thank you. Thank nothing, you. And he shakes your hand. I absolutely shake it back. I match his strength as best I can. Uh, so then Tonks is sitting there, and Tonks is like, is like this. She's like. It is nice to meet why you. Why won't you just say? Why won't you just say something in French, man? Why won't you just say some? Why don't you? I don't fucking know French. You're from France. Well, I'm just fucking curious. I would like to know. You're, you're bringing a bit of a harsh energy to this to this ish in this moment. And sorry, I'm sorry. I'm it sorry. Is, is I'm sorry, really Alistair. Alistair, I, Alistair, I know we talked about being more chill. I know we talked about being more chill. Chill question. Chill. Chill question. 
Yeah. Uh, you're from a different school, huge, yeah? Huge, huge <laughs> Just like, clown. I'm like struggling to breathe. Spaces. I'm like fully like leaned over like this. <laughs> yeah, they're open carriages, but it's still somehow hot box. <laughs> like somehow. I don't know how. I, I learned, uh, you just... You just saw me, like, doing a little thing on all the windows to, like, seal them with air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so she's like, okay, normal question, normal question, I'm sorry, I just got off. It is totally irritating t- ass day, I'm s- it's, it's oh, been a lot for believe everyone. Believe me, I fully understand that so particular you- situation. Yeah, so you're from a French school, yeah? It, yes. So why'd you leave the French school then? Like, why aren't you still there? Like, not that we don't want you here. Well, yes, uh, you know... Bebeton uh, is a very good education, but uh, the students, uh... You went to the Bo- the Boba Tea school? Yes. Boba Tea? Is that a thing back in the 80s? <laughs> not probably in England. Maybe if you're rich. <laughs> Uh, Maybe if you're rich. Uh, no, someone say Boba T. <laughs> <laughs> I had that in New York. <laughs> That's what the Cowboys drank in New York. <laughs> cowboys love no Boba T notorious. It's their favorite. Just to me, as like an actual American, I'm just like, there's no Cowboys in New York. What? <laughs> oh, like so I, I said, he's weird. So I notice uh, you have a uh, American accent. Yes? Uh, yeah, he's from fucking years. America. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm from uh, Iowa. Oh, I, I'm also known as a fucking middle of nowhere. Eh? Hey. She kind of punches you in the side. <laughs> I don't. I fully do not know where that is. I'm not a geographer. Uh, but yes, this is. Uh, why don't you say something in American? Enough. Just imagine America. Go to the middle uh, of it. Fucking away from everything. And fucking put a pin in that shit farthest away from anything interesting that's where this motherfucker's from hey hey <laughs> i cannot uh, get a read on talk <laughs> <laughs> i just say freedom of speech and just like flip off like generally like talks as she's talking shit <laughs> and she's just like be more chill he said be more chill he said, be more chill i'll be more chill time to be more chill it's like the most relaxed like double finger you've ever seen <laughs> just like, like eh, it's like fully it's like you're barely good. even extending the finger you're just like, like, <laughs> you're just like so you guys continue to be on the train you got you guys chat someone makes a comment about how like oh I, i'm excited for quidditch like everyone's just like talking about normal you know mm-hmm. stuff um but you guys go on the carriages, uh, everything's pretty normal, heading through there, um, and you guys get to the main area of the castle, and um, all of your bags and everything are taken from you and are put up to your guys' rooms, so you don't have to worry about that. Awesome. So, if I can pull up my music. Oh no. I guess we'll just use this one. So. Is it every time you fail a roll you get an adversity token, or just like it's every important? time? Okay, mm. cool. It's every oh, that time. That reminds me. I need to make sure. Um, uh, let me just check something really quick. Oh, I failed. I failed, failed, I failed my roll to throw up. So I have. You get an adversity token. I have not been paying attention to it because I. I get suck. two I every time I fail a roll. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, I'm just going to use this music. This music will work. Okay. So, you guys arrive to the castle. You head up these big stone kind of corridors. Let me get rid of these, because you don't need them anymore. And yeah, if you if you see my, my little mouse, you guys are going to travel through here. You go through the gate, up this way, all around. To the front door, you guys head into the castle. Um, and you all shuffle into the great hall, where there are four tables. One for each house. You can kind of see the decorations on the tables are themed towards your houses. Um, and as soon as you walk in the door, um, cast air, mm-hmm. somebody comes up to you. You don't know who they are, but I will show you a picture of what they look like. If I can find this person. Too many. Ah, right here. 
uh, this woman is kind of in this all dark outfit. She's older, gray hair. Um, she walks up and she goes, Are you that new transfer student that got caught in the line? Uh, yes, uh, I'm Castel Bocador. Uh, Yes, I need to see your letter right away, and you can also follow me where I am going to take you uh, to somewhere we can have you uh, wait until we figure out what's going on with you. Okay, I was on May I see the letter, please, right away? Uh, yes. I, I just need to see the letter. I would need to verify something didn't make it through the, yeah. the proper channels. Uh, so she takes the letter from you and kind of heads away. Um Alistair and Tiberius, as you guys are kind of following, because Alistair and Pippa are, like, barely making it up these stairs. Like, they're just, like, just, like, almost to the point where they would need someone to guide them. They're just, like, they don't give a fuck, right? So they're going up these stairs, um, and they see their professor, McGonagall, who they've known for years, taking this letter um, from Castair and, and heading off. And she has you follow her, Castair, and Castair, she's gonna have you, um brought to the front of the Great Hall. Um, and you see, as everyone's kind of filing in, she brings you up to the side of the Great Hall where there is another girl standing. Um, and this is her. Her name is Alana. Um, and she's standing there um, and she's in this neon green and like neon yellow with these little accent. Like she's just, she looks like an, like an 80s version of like a Hogwarts robe mm. um, fully and she she goes hello how are you uh, hello uh, may I what is your name uh, I'm Alana uh, hello I am uh, Castell uh, why are we up here Alana um, I believe we are up here because we are the, the transfer students I believe that's that's why oh. we are up here where are you from uh, I went to a uh, a magic school in Brazil. Oh, very, oh, uh, I see. It's called Castelo Bruxo. Oh, that is very nice. I see. Yes. Okay, you're kind of like flag colors. Yes. I see. Yes. I see. So they are. They, I'm just doing French on accident. Um, <laughs> I think I speak French in Brazil. Um, uh, maybe. No, it's Portuguese definitely not. It's, they. Fun. Some people probably speak French there. Um, but she's. She basically is expressing to you her, like, I'm kind of confused, but they told me to stand here, so just kind of stand right. with me. Totally kind where of I'm at um, as well. McGonagall has you stand there, she's like, we'll deal with it in a second, and she leaves because she's got other stuff to do. So, um, this, the tables kind of start to fill in. Um, Nathan, you sit with your friends. Albie, do you sit? Who do you sit with? Do you sit by yourself? Do you? What do you do? I've pissed off enough people, so I definitely <laughs> am sitting by myself. So you're sitting by yourself, and, and I Here's how I imagine it. You get up on the table and you just kick your boots up like this. And you're just like... Golden <sighs> spurs, baby. Yeah. So, uh, you kind of sit down. with my friends and uh, Pico is just like hopping between everybody. Like getting oh, pets yeah. from everyone. Oh, yeah. Jay, Jay is rattled by the animal. Jay is one of the only students at Hogwarts that refused to bring a familiar. He's never had a pet his entire six years. Oh, uh, well then Pico um, like doesn't like him and yeah. just like stares at him. Yeah, like, he's very, amazingly. he's very not into animals. It gives him like very weird vibes. Um, Pico so he definitely just, tries to like freak him out a little he's bit. He's just kind of looking at Pico and Pico kind of gives him like a and he's like, like very scared, uh, like the literally this big animal. Pico rocks. Um, yeah, Pico's great. Uh, so yeah, you guys are sitting there, uh, getting into your spots, and all of the students start to file in, and there is one empty like section at the front of each um, table, enough for us people. So this man steps forward um, onto this great podium. Mm that sits um, kind of higher than the rest. And there's a long table at the back where you see all these adults standing. Um, Castair, you're imagining these are the professors. The two of you already know these are your professors. Um, and Castair, you're kind of getting a read on them. You're trying to see, like, I wonder who's who. Like, I already know that the shorter guy is the charms guy. Like, you're just trying well, to get, like, a vibe. I would, I would probably recognize Dumbledore, though, right? Because, like, he's famous, right? You would, you would have... You would pretty much know this is Dumbledore. I don't know if they have, like, chocolate frogs in France, but that's, like, a wizarding snack, and he's on one. Right. So. Cool. So I'm he steps up. Uh, I'm, like, a little starstruck at seeing Dumbledore, yeah. for sure. Dumbledore gets up on the platform, and he sees you, and he goes... Uh, I'm, like, fully, like... 
Yeah. Is and he goes, <laughs> Um, and he <laughs> gives a little wave to Alana as well. And, I, um, and I'm just like looking at Dumbledore, just waiting for him to look at me, and I just like hold up like a little weed baggy. <laughs> and Dumbledore just, Dumbledore looks at you and he goes, <laughs> um, and you see nice McGonagall right. <laughs> sees him looking at you and like gives him the elbow jab kind of thing, and he's like, oh. so he gets up on the platform and he goes, Welcome, welcome everyone to the 1989 school year. We are so excited to have you all with us. Uh, just a few little things uh, we need to take care of, uh, but we'll start by bringing in our new first year students. And he kind of gestures to the back with his hands, and you see the giant uh, doors of the Great Hall slam open super hard. And next to the doors, you see this old ass man, like balding, kind of like crinkled over. He's like this. He's like, and as the door slams next to him, he like jumps, and his cat, who's on his shoulder, jumps and like kind of runs down. Um, and he's just like, and he kind of runs off down the hallway. He's like, I didn't mean to be near all these people. I'm so sorry. Kind of just like <laughs> running out of there. Like someone who gets um, caught on stage on a play, but like they're totally. It's meant exactly to be in the like back. that. He's <laughs> like, he's like, everyone's looking at me now. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Um. Cassio, you have no idea who this is, but obviously, um, Tiberius and Alistair, you recognize this as Filch, the groundskeeper. You've seen him here every day for uh, the last six years, or five years, I guess. Um, and as they are kind of running out, you see these short little 11-year-olds. It's their first year. They're all looking around. They look up at the ceiling, which is obviously this bewitched night sky with the candles floating. Um, and they're all like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, I would like and, to... Uh... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, seeing seeing them walk in, I want to try and like uh, like shoot like a little couple of fireworks, just, like over them. Uh, into the sky or just like over them. Like not like try like not like directly over them, but like up in the you know. Like are you like you're just ceiling, trying right? to like just do a thing to be like yeah, oh, just, I can do thing. Just like shoot a little magic firework and make the their entrance they grander. Enter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what do we what do we want to call that, everyone? What kind of role do we want to call that? I feel like whatever spell doesn't seem difficult to me. Right. I feel like whatever spell would, think, would like cause a little like, firework explosion and would probably be a fight role is the way my brain is going with it. But it could also totally be like a brain. If you thing. basically want to make like a non harmful visual, I would do like a brains or a charm maybe of like three. Mm -hmm. Or a charm. Okay. Charm. I'll, I'll let I'll you pick. Either... I'll do charm. Okay, so I'll give you a like a four. Okay. Don't forget to add your magic die. That wasn't the roll. That was just. Uh, that's a four, and a, that's uh sixteen. Wait, did you roll a twelve on your d twelve? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, it explodes. explodes. <laughs> This is gonna be some dope ass 16, fireworks. <laughs> eighteen. So on a on a four, you roll an eighteen, and oh, the magic die exploded too. That's Hold on, that's also true. Yeah, you, so it's more than eighteen. <laughs> uh, so that's a, a twenty-one. 21. Holy shit! <laughs> not only not only does a bit of fireworks explode in the sky, but a a a chorus of music begins to play like this grand like entrance march thing but it's so loud that the kids are like it what is going on? like they're very scared because they were just told in the hallway like you're just gonna walk forward everything's gonna be totally fine but they're suddenly seeing like fireworks go it, off the fireworks say like welcome to school like in letters and it's stuff. like an orchestral <laughs> like, cover Yay! it's like an orchestral cover of nah, freebird it, <laughs> nah, it, free it goes up and it and it's just uh like chill vibes only. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And of course because as soon as it happens, it's so drastic, everyone knows what happens. You see uh every teacher at the front just get extremely agitated. Like they're just like And, and I just look at Dumbledore and I'm just like thing. And Dumbledore looks at you as like as like a way of like, I'm supposed to punish you for this, but I guess we'll find a way to make it work and kind of like nods. Um but the kids are like super scared and they're just like <laughs> and they're running through. Um, so they run up to the front, and they're kind of holded by the front, and you they notice- They wild by the magic? They're- uh, Wow. They like it. They think it's cool, but they're a little- they're a little scared. Um, so they're all kind of huddled together, um, 
you see this one kid at the front who's got this like black spiky hair and like a weirdly like angular jawline for like an 11 year old and all the other kids are looking at him like oh my gosh i can't believe like you're so not like you're our favorite you're so cool um and you see like kind of right behind him and to the right you see these two like shorter redheaded boys who are literally identical in every way every time they move castier you notice that they are literally moving the exact same way saying the same words at the same time um and how does that make you feel when you see people behaving that way i assume it's some cool magic bullshit like there yeah. I, i've already come across invisible like normal horses with wings so it's like at this point mm -hmm. it's like and like dumbledore is standing right next to me this is like so you're like, like already geeking yeah entirely like this is yeah. if like you walked into church and jesus was there like <laughs> this, is, <laughs> yeah. this is just the best for you yeah. so you're just like okay i don't care that there's demonic children over here yeah, like, this, like that's this cool like let's go yeah i'm in it so so like, as the kids be like angels in disguise <laughs> yeah. these ki the kids come up and they're they're all huddled together except for the one weirdly strong jawed kid who's like this <laughs> he's like i'm ready for my challenge out. i don't like that kid specifically but the rest is cool yeah <laughs> so uh dumbledore's like oh very good what a display it's beautiful like dumbledore's super excited he goes before we can begin sorting the first years into their houses i have a few announcements i need to make number one i want to announce uh my good friend who will be uh accompanying us this year as our new defense against the dark arts teacher uh because yet again we had to replace the position after the events of last year and there's kind of happens. giggles it from happens, the kids it happens all the fucking time i swear i read about it all the time they always replace there's 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 kids <laughs> uh there's kids giggling as if like oh yeah we know what you're talking about and this always happens um and he goes this is my good friend nigel merriweather he is a former old uh he will have incredible experience to bring to the role uh, incredible stories to tell you all i know that you those of you who are aspiring to become an aura uh, will have much to learn from him. I I, I will say. Um, and you look at him. You you can see him. Um, Count he's got kind of a tan. <laughs> he's got like a tan skin tone. He's wearing this very like crimson and black armored kind of outfit. You can tell he kind of has the vibe of like I stopped being an aura, but I'm an aura kind of mm -hmm. kind of thing like the cop in your neighborhood who retired yeah. twenty years ago, but will but still like still call the police totally when they see a, a black person. Yeah. yeah. So um, you see him. He he looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. He looks different than everybody else. He's very straight-laced. Um, but yeah, you can tell he's older. He's probably late 50s, I would have to say. Um, and Dumbledore is kind of laughing as he's introducing, and he said, We can also introduce our two new transfer students uh, this year. Ladies, please step forward. And he, he kind of waves you and Alana forward. He goes, this is Alana Alves from Castello Bruxo. Uh, I trust you will all make her feel very welcome. Uh, and this here in in the, the lovely blue is Castère Bocordo. Uh, she is from Bo Batons Academy of Magic. And, and uh, I do hope she will do her best uh, to get along with everyone here at, at Hogwarts School and gives you a glare, like a full on glare. Um, I think and he goes, you ladies can sit here with these teachers until we're done. What do you do? I I I think seeing the glare, I think if it was anyone but Albus Dumbledore, I would like start getting upset. But I think because it is Albus Dumbledore, I'm just like, I see you. I see you. Yeah, and right. Then I, and then I sit down. <laughs> So he brings you over um, and has you guys sit on the end of the large teacher table. Um, and he sits you between two teachers. You're going to sit between Miss Sybil Trelawney. She's the divination teacher. She introduces herself to you. Um, and this guy, who's in heels and uh, basically doesn't say a word. Do I recognize um, him? Is he famous right now? No. No? I have, okay. uh, out of you may have heard before. rumors that there's a former Death Eater works at Hogwarts. Okay, that's fair. I have a uh, what's up, character Nate? question. Mm -hmm. um, so with them not, with them being transfer students and this being their first year, does that mean they're going to do the sorting hat too? No. Okay. Would they, are the houses the same in all? Also, there are houses schools. in the different schools. Uh, don't worry, Dumbledore's got a plan for it. So he sits you down between these two teachers. There's like, Trollani like conjures two little chairs for you and she goes, Hello, girls. My name is Sybil. I'm teaching divination at the Hogwarts School. Oh, that is very... Do either of you have divination in your schedules I, this year? I, I do, ma'am. 
I, I intend to ah. go to your class. I will, I will be seeing you in class, Alana. I hope we will also be seeing you in class. Uh, Snape doesn't say a word. He instead just kind of goes <clears throat> at you guys whispering, and he's just, he's upset. Um, you get the impression that this is the Death Eater, former Death Eater that works mm -hmm. at the school, but you don't know. Mm -hmm. But you get the vibe. Um, Alana vibe, leans over to you. Yeah. Alana leans over to you and she whispers, Uh, that went better than I thought it would. I, uh, I hope we can kind of band together this year. Oh, but of course. And, uh, and, and try to help each other. Uh, and Snape again goes, <clears throat> So you guys stop talking. I, uh, and when he does that, when he kind of slams his hand down on the table, like, a little bit. Mm -hmm. What were you saying? I, I just kind of was like, I, but I, I like motion. You're like, like, yeah. Um, so the sorting hat has, has kind of begun its little song as, as soon as Dumbledore sent you guys back to go sit down. Um, the sorting hat has started this in the books. It has a song that it's like, I will put you where you go. Like, it's a very whimsical thing. Like kind of the song where you'd hear like a xylophone. Like, yes, it's super, it's super whimsical. Um, and they start, they start sorting all the kids and, and by the time Snape has kind of done his little stop talking thing, um, you hear Dumbledore call Cedric Diggory to the front of the line and the little like strong jawed kid with the spiky hair kind of looks at his friends. He's like, oh, it's time for me to go up there. And he sits on this stool and like, as soon as the hat like touches his head, it's like a Hufflepuff. Like he's the most Hufflepuff motherfucker you've ever seen in your life. Um, and the table full of all the students in yellow kind of starts cheering um cam do you feel like you're like a hogwarts nerd like do you feel like you know everything about like the houses uh, and everything not as much hogwarts as events surrounding hogwarts like i probably know okay. the, like a gist of the classes but i'm way more interested in like fucking dumbledore like damn near killed a man in the wizarding wars you know what i mean like that shit is yeah. what gets me yeah so they're they're kind of doing their thing uh sorting all the kids and everything uh you see both of the identical red-headed boys are both sorted into uh gryffindor wow, and they the sit down at the front of your guys's table um yeah they it's almost exactly the same they both sit down in the same way and the hat touches them and it goes like ah oh, i see a weasley ah uh, gryffindor like it says the exact same mm -hmm. thing for both of them um NPC and everyone's iPad. excited. You can see Charlie. You can see Charlie, uh, who's sitting there. He's like super excited that his brother's gotten into his house, and he like runs up to them, and he's like, "I'm so excited, you guys! You're gonna have such a great year! Like it's gonna be amazing." He goes and sits back down. Uh, does anyone do anything while the Sorting Hat continues uh, sorting the rest of the first years? Uh, I roll a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> do you just roll it, or do you just start smoking it? Um. I, I want to look at Dumbledore as I'm rolling it to see see what the vibe is. Like Dumbledore kinda... looks at you and he he gives you a look of like, why are you doing that here, bro? Like, cut that out. Mm. Now, I think he means like, light it up. So let's <laughs> strike a match. <laughs> as soon as you strike that match, the match before you can even move it goes out. Mm. Well, can I clock who did though. that? Was it? Uh, like... Yeah, go ahead and roll. A. Go ahead and roll a brains. Um, it's going to be a difficulty of. S it's a it's a wandless wordless magic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fourteen. And do I get my magic die for this since it's my wand? Are you casting a spell to I try wasn't to? Intending to, but I'm because uh, there's that talk earlier. But I'll I'll denote it to you as to whether I get magic so die for this or not. I'm cool either way. We decided to add the magic die to any check that is non-magic related if you're using that stat. Yeah. Yeah. As long as your wand. I would say do it. Okay. First normal one. Okay. Because your wand is brains and brawn. Uh, brains and. No wait. Brains and flight. Flight. Yeah. Okay. It's four so far, so it's not looking great. On the magic or on the. Big boy. That's a six total. Oh, the big boy. That's a six total. So you see absolutely nothing. Damn. And in fact, you see so much nothing that you miss, like, you're looking so hard, you don't see anything that happens for the rest of the sorting ceremony. Oh, shit. That's not ideal. <laughs> I um, think, I think I... I mean, I'm, I'm probably just, just hanging out. Just hanging out? Cool. Hanging out's good for me. Okay. Is there um, anything, like... Other than the first years, is there anything that's 
like new. Nothing's or happening. Just no, not yet. Hat. So they finish up the sorting. Um, Dumbledore's like, "Have an amazing feast." F fuck you, like whatever he says. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, and then, I'm just um, standing there, like, giving, like, fist bumps to all the Gryffindors. Yeah, Fred and George, Fred and George are, like, so excited to see you, because you look, like, a like so cool, because you you just look different, like, you got this weird hair thing going on. I don't know if you guys noticed, I did put the portraits at your guys' things, you probably noticed. Oh, just so well, if I you need not. to refer. Yeah, if you guys need to refer uh, to what you all look like, you oh, can see. Cute. Um But yeah, they see you oh, look yeah, really you cool. you do have the like, weird hair thing looks, going on. <laughs> <laughs> he looks cool. He's got weird hair. It's like weird glasses. I think it's cool. You guys are all wearing glasses, I just noticed. Hmm? Anyway. Um, Mine are definitely the coolest glasses. They're pretty cool. Minor prescription. <laughs> so, uh, when he's done with the sword, he goes, We can now begin the feast before uh, you all start eating. I just want to say, uh, please come to the front. I will need uh, Marula. Snide, Blair, Silverling, uh, Tiberius Tanner, and Alistair Zafani to please come to the front. And then he yeah. goes like this, and all the meals go out. Okay, I just mosey on up to the front. So as you as you get up there, you see um, <clears throat> Who Marula was it? and Blair, Dumbledore. Dumbledore, like, <clears throat> is it about oh, the cigarette? True. I have other well, matches. Tana, Tana, Mr. Tana, matches. Mr. Tana, we will deal with the, that later. <laughs> I walk up and I'm just like, "Oh, ready, man? Like right out of here? Like he, go, he goes, he goes, he goes. Hey, no, 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 don't talk about it. <laughs> um, and oh, I'm just cute. trying to find Blair really quick. So you see, the other two students we called Marula and Blair are standing here. Uh, Marula has this wicked coat that's like black with this green trim um and she has this one piece of hair kind of at the front that goes back that's bleach blonde um and her eyes are are purple you can see her vibe she's what may remind you of a certain character she kind of has this uh attitude of someone who is like three years old at the time draco malfoy who's who's not at the school but she kind of has the same vibe um and then blair you get the the vibe that marula and blair are tight you can tell that they kind of hang around in the same circles do i um, recognize blair you know both of these people um you i can't remember are you friends with any of them i know no. i am <laughs> <laughs> hold on i need to you could either be straight up just saying I that you are friends or it could be totally an innuendo um, like <laughs> oh, I need to message you something tiberius before. is is friends with blair and marula okay. he is friends with both of them so, so when they walk up uh he kind of gives them a little like eh, you know hey what's up Howdy. And they, they both nod to you like clearly there's something more important going on, but we'll chill later, Tanner. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I would see that and uh, just be like, oh shit. So, so Alistair, uh, who like, am I going to have notice this? T Tiberius, you would already know about this I'll happening like, because you're friends with her. Almost bump into Dumbledore. Yeah. <laughs> like, but uh, up, like, what but the? Nate kind of sees. Blair and and has a look of I recognize this person but but I don't recognize this person at the exact same time um and Tiberius you already know because you're friends with her you know that Blair didn't look like this before before this year uh Blair was more of a low-key kind of just an average Slytherin, like just was in Slytherin but like not going crazy to the whole goth vibe um but this is a new look for her, for sure. Um, as you guys call her, to Nathan is extremely distracted. I will say, <laughs> Nate. I'm sorry, Nate is very distracted um, by what's going on here. But Dumbledore, um, he says, "Ah, oh, yes, thank you, thank you for coming up here so quickly." Um, I just wanted to let you all know that you will be serving as the guides for our new transfer students. I know uh, Blair and Marula, we talked about this over the summer, that you two would already be guiding Alana through uh, through your classes and everything this year. Um, so we've already went over that, but I know uh, uh, Tiberius and Alistair, we haven't had time to discuss, but I'm really hoping that you two will agree to be Castor's guide uh, for the school year. Let me smoke my cigarette and I'll say yes. Uh, you're not you're not smoking your cigarettes here. What you do in your what you do in your dorm room is, is none of my business, but you're not doing it here. I mean what is, am I like a babysitter? I'm gonna 
Where you are a guide, she will be your shadow because you are an well, excellent well, student. While Dumbledore is going that's off, chill. while Dumbledore is going off, chill I'm gonna me. like try and like saddle up next to Tiberius, Accio a cigarette, and then incendio it lit, and then put it in his like like give it to him behind his back. <laughs> so you want to? S are you trying to have Dumbledore not notice this at all? You know, a, a little bit. I, I'm kind of so you're gonna the you're gonna sidle up to him, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna accio a cigarette, and then you're mm -hmm. gonna incendio the cigarette. Yeah, just like a tiny incendio though, like a baby one. Baby incendio. Yeah. So accio They're it. They're all good then. <laughs> <laughs> yep. True. Um, accio it. On flight for a. Aki it's freaking Akio. Like a five, four, like a four. Don't forget to add your magic die. It's good. <laughs> Does it say five? <laughs> okay. So I got um, that. Did I say four? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then uh I guess incendio, I'm gonna make that. You, like almost drop fight. it when you like pull it into your fingers. You're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Whoop. And you're just doing a baby incendio? <laughs> yeah, yeah but... just give me like a three. Uh you said fight? Don't forget to your magic die. This is the D10, right? It's not the D10. In a momentum. There we go. Had those in the wrong spot. Uh, that's an eight. Eight. So it's a little bigger than you wanted it to be, but it's not a big deal. Um, I was worried about that. It just bit. kind of goes like, <laughs> it's like this big. It's like a fist-sized flame. It's like. <laughs> Um, but he gets the job done. It makes it happen. Um, Dumbledore sees you do that, and he's almost just, like, impressed that you thought of that. Mm -hmm. Um, he's like, oh, okay. I'm I'll, I'll like, as I'm, like, Dumbledore. as I'm, like, going I'm to give it to Tiberius. Okay. And Dumbledore's just like, Cool. <laughs> I guess that if you're just going to be cool like that, it's going to be fine. Um, and you can take an adversity token. Hell yeah. Uh, I, I reckon we'll get along just fine, Castle. I know it, we met earlier, but but I reckon now. I her name reckon her name is Castair, Tiberius. Please, let's respect people. Listen, when it comes to respecting women, Casper? I am the first like one the in ghost? line. <laughs> Casper. I am the first one in line to respect that those women let me tell you the short little funny man wouldn't let her in so i had to set him straight but he, he damn he damn near please, killed me Tana, really? please be respectful really of our please be respectful of our staff uh now alistair i know i don't need to remind you of your disciplinary infractions from last year and the volunteer hours you were required to do last semester that you did not do i will consider this mentorship to be a fulfillment of those volunteer hours so are we mentors oh, yeah. or are we guides because if i'm you're everything mentor, you're everything go go eat. get out of here get out of here and he just like cigarette. leaves he just like fully leaves just apparates. Um, and Roma, <laughs> yeah <laughs> he just he apparates out of the school someone ran out of weed this morning um <laughs> and he apparates back he goes i did get <laughs> <laughs> just like right here in front of the kids, dude. I like, all right, and I just like toss him a bag that's way too big. To and then he apparates. <laughs> he apparates away. Um, Marula and Blair. <laughs> Marula and Blair take the arms of Alana, kind of like this, um, and they're like, "We'll show you our." Uh, Blair goes, "We'll show you our, uh, our, our our table and where we sit and everything, uh, and you'll be able to to be in our common room with us." And I'm sure they've already gotten you a room, and I, I know they've already taken your stuff up there. It's gonna be amazing. Um, and they start to leave. Do you guys say anything as they leave? I just kind of wave. Hi, uh, y'all. Alana goes like this. She's a little nervous that she got put in this house with all these like cool emo people, but she also you can get the vibe that she like kind of wants to be a cool emo kid. Mm -hmm. So they walk away, um, and then yeah, you two uh, can go back to the dinner. Cool. Uh, or you three, I suppose, can all go back to the dinner, unless anyone has wants to do anything instead of go eat. I do well, so now, now Castle, I do have to speak to the the Quidditch department. That's my number one priority. If you want to come with me, that's fine. I would if love not, to. My I... boy Alejandro here can can 
set you up. I'm oh, like, it, uh, you go into a trial for Quidditch? I thought I didn't know the trials were already. Well, happening. long story short, uh, you know, my papa, my mama. Oh, that's right. You're, uh, yeah, your family, like, uh, you guys, like, uh, yeah. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly right. So yeah, that's, that's tight as hell. So I'm going to need to do that first and foremost, but I I, anything you, oh, yeah. else. I cannot eat right now anyway. My stomach is still upset from the flight. So I will go with you to the uh, Quidditch situation. Tiberius, do you think you know who leads Quidditch already? Like, like, do you feel I like your would, character knows? I feel like my parents would have specifically told me. Yes, yeah, so your parents would have talked. Your parents would have told you to talk to somebody who has a funny name that I will never say without laughing. <laughs> Her name is Rolanda Hooch. <laughs> now, I like the Hooch, so I like this lady. <laughs> Um, this is Rolanda. Uh, she's the she's the Quidditch. She runs Quidditch. She's also the flying instructor for first years. Um, and since she's a professor, technically, she is sitting at the front of the Great Hall. Um, at that long table with everyone else. Mm. Right. Are we just walking up to her? Is there anything special we have to do? I mean, if you just want to talk to her, just head up there. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. So you head up there. Um, you see some of the teachers give you kind of a look. Um, like, why are you up here? Like, just go eat your food. You're probably exhausted. You were just on a seven-hour train ride. Like, what's going on? Um, but yeah, you walk up to, to her, and she's like, uh, what's going on? Well, I do know that I was supposed to deliver a briefcase full of, uh, full of- The sponsorship equipment. materials from your, from your parents, right? Do you, are they in your room? Now, I, I don't want to get into specifics, but Andre dropped the fucking- briefcase <laughs> and i had to send them back i had to send them back but it's uh, for egg woo. Egg woo, the, the ravenclaw the six-year ravenclaw uh listen i don't want to get into specifics but that fucker did drop it i mean if he did damage th 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 that briefcase is school property if he did damage that that property we will need to pursue school, disciplinary actions school property uh, school skew the, the briefcase did not look particularly uh, damaged, but it did uh, open and it appealed uh, maybe perhaps the some The briefcase sort of... is, is less of an issue. Also, Castaire, welcome to our school. Thank uh, you. Were you, given, were you given flying instruction at, at oh, Bovat? I, I, do, I do know how to fly, yes. I encourage you to come out for Quidditch tryouts. But uh, the briefcase is a... Is a is, property of your parents company it's more the materials inside which were created for the school which is more of the uh the issue do you have you don't have them at all like where where are they now i had to send them back to the factory because i may not like this fucking ugly ass school but i do care well, about please quality. please watch your language uh please pardon my mouth madam thank you it's been a long day she she kind of acknowledges like she's chill she she's she's down with it. So, I just wanted to let you know that there will be replacements on the way. Esmeralda, I got that bitch off for vacation. Uh, right. Language, uh, language, uh, language, and respect to our house elves, please. Ah, uh, uh, elf. elf. Thank you. Thank you. That elf. Thank you. You don't have to keep saying it in a way that makes it seem like you're used to Uh, please get back to your dinner. I will consult with your parents' company and we will get this all sorted out. Don't worry. Please just enjoy your meal and cast air. Enjoy your year. Thank you, thank you. I look forward to uh, maybe a Quidditch team. She nods. She goes September 22nd. September and, 22nd. and I realized I would have definitely like, uh, like when I went to like the table to eat or whatever, I would have definitely like sat down like next to like uh, Pippa and Jay. Mm -hmm. And just like totally be staring at Blair, <laughs> just like fully, just like like like, like looking at her, and then just like. Do you want to try to I hide that like you're staring? Anytime, I, not to like anyone else, but I feel like anytime I feel like her head's about to move towards my direction, just I'm like, gonna like, yeah, like yeah. not maybe not like the full way, but just like looking Hold at on. food or. Let me at see if she notices. She can kind of tell you're doing it. She sees you do it like once, but she knows that she looks different. So she just sees it as like, a, oh, I look different now. People are just interested in that. Like that's that's kind of all she sees it as. 
Um, dinner, you're all gonna eat. I'm gonna go pee, so... <laughs> <laughs> you guys can do whatever you want for a second. How are you- how are you feeling so far, gang? I'm feeling good. Pretty good. I'm feeling great. She's de-witchified herself. <laughs> she shed her <laughs> outer garment. <laughs> Our who, characters are dope. Who touched my outer garments? Dude, Tiberius rocks. Alistair rocks. <laughs> this is great. Cast airs mid. It's <laughs> awesome, dude. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We'll see I was going to, to pull up Google Translate at like French and ask you questions in French in my southern cowboy accent, do, but does, I can't do it. Does Tiberius know French? <laughs> Well, I come from a wealthy English family. That's true. He's so been to France. Some. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Um, yeah, I forgot you mentioned that. But then I was also thinking about doing like a spot on French accent. Mm. <laughs> like Southern to, to Parisian. You guys what? like my uh, Harry Potter strand? <laughs> I do. It's very nice. <laughs> I dig it. So what what are we at adversity token wise right now? Uh, I'm at three. Online. What are you at? Four? I'm at six. You're at six. Yeah. You failed three rolls? Mm -hmm. I, uh. You were given some by. I, I got one for free, and then you I one, vomited. You failed one. And right. I failed another one that I don't remember what it was right now. But I did, you... I did get three. Oh, it you was didn't... trying to figure out where. That's right. Uh... That's right. Because I, like, flubbed the, the oh, sorting yeah. hat roll. Gotcha. That's 100% of the shots you don't take, you know? Also, I just want to say, uh... I'm back. Hi. I'm back. What, what I turned my mic sensitivity down, so you guys probably didn't hear that. What was but it? somebody goes, Certified banger! Like, <laughs> so loud. <laughs> um, I also just want to say for everyone that uh, Pico or Pequeno uh, is uh, Spanish for tiny. Oh, hell I, yeah, I, I translated that. It's like tiny baby. Pequeno. Yeah. Just okay. Just Does anyone do anything while you're eating or we just eat? I I'm think... Doing what I was doing. You're, it's the same people you were with before. It's like Pippa, Jay, Charlie, uh, and Tonks. I want to kind of get a vibe. Oh, Tonks Hufflepuff. Tonks is Hufflepuff, so it's just uh, Pippa, Charlie, and Jay. I, I want to kind of, like, do the thing that you're supposed to do, allegedly, when you enter a prison. Are we all in the same house? You guys are all in Gryffindor. Yeah. You guys are both in Gryffindor, and you're going to be guiding Castaire through Gryffindor. Which means, like, Fight I'm somebody? sort of in Gryffindor, yeah. <laughs> Which means she's a Gryffindor. Yeah. Um. I want to, like do like the prison vibe check of like who here is going to be like an issue an issue for me and who's like gonna probably be fine like roughly like if there's like standouts Let me... you know what i'm saying do you mean in the gryffindor table or in the room i mean just kind of like generally in the room like is there anyone who's giving like are you doing a magic about it i think i'm gonna use intuitive which is, I, okay. uh, can spend... It's what, is it one adversity token? It's one adversity token. So I'm just kind of... I'll just say I'm looking for, like, any, like, particularly bad vibes in the room. So it says I have to be honest. When it says that, I feel like I can use my own expression yeah, about Yeah, you can totally honesty. be cryptic. Uh, <laughs> you see a few people that are of note. You... Let me decide how I'm going to do this for a second. You think back to Penny and her scar, and her scar on both her hand and her side, um, and the seemingly I'm not gonna fight someone type energy that you got from her, that confuses you. Um, Where's Penny you in the see, room right now? She's a, a Hufflepuff, so she's one yeah. table over. Gotcha. But you, as you're scanning, you see the back of her head and it reminds you. Okay, you can tell it. it's her, because her little sister's with her. Mm -hmm. um, you see, sitting across from Penny Tonks, uh, whose hair is blue now, um, mm. when it literally wasn't on the carriages, so that that uh, points Magic out to bullshit. you. Um, Kiara, as you saw before, um, Kiara is sitting with Penny and, and Tonks, um, kind of 
withdrawn a little bit, kind of to herself. Um, she looks anxious and kind of the way you would look if you're expecting an important phone call that you don't want to miss. Mm. Um, at your table, oh, and also sitting at the uh, Hufflepuff table, you see Curly, who from before uh, was the one playing guitar, does not have his guitar anymore. It's not on him. Mm. Um, and then at your table, Pippa, Pippa is friends with Nate, so you get that kind of chill vibe. You can tell they're both cool. Uh, Jay, you spoke to earlier, um, you can tell he's extremely book smart and extremely studied. Um, mm. He is sitting there, and as you're listening to his conversation, he's talking to Charlie about there's been such a strange weather phenomenon going on in the uh, the area of uh, the northern uh, side of Hogwarts. We've been seeing these strange uh, cumulus cloud patterns that have been kind of so coming dude, around, this and, dude is and, like and, and nerd, we observe nerd, like not even like cool. He's nerd, nerd as hell. <laughs> like... He's like he's like he's chill because like he hangs with Nathan, right? So it's like right. he's got something, but you almost look at him and you're like, why is this guy chill? Like why? Right. Why does Nathan want him around if he seems like <laughs> such a fucking nerd? Uh, Charlie is very. I mean, you it's know the connotation of high conversations. <laughs> yeah, that's probably exactly what it is. he's like. He's the one to bust out scientific facts that are just gonna blow everyone's mind right. at like two in the morning. Um, Charlie is. You know what the connotation of Weasley means because you've seen the movies, but you get the Weasley vibe. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I um, let's move. I totally over. like pull out like my new invention, my vape, and like hand it to like Pippa. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and you can see as you're doing that, Jay is like, "What an interesting thing!" And he's like erasing the smoke, like as it <laughs> comes out, so no one's seeing anything. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'm like, try it. I'm like, no, 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 don't notice. Mm-hmm. To, to me, um, so or yeah. who? To Pippa. Oh, got it, got it. Uh, but when she hands it back to me, uh, as she hands it back to me, it uh, it transforms into my wand. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> my hoodie. That is a thick-ass <laughs> wand. <laughs> Can it's I a, see that again? It's a big boy. It's incredible. It's a wand, Patrick. It's nothing else okay. but a wand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you look over two tables over, and you just see pretty much Slytherin's just doing Slytherin shit. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh. Like, you see Marula and Blair from before. Um, Marula, intuitive, right? Marula can definitely see the Thestrals, for sure. Um yeah. Blair, you also get the opinion of... You can tell that something has changed about her from the way that people are interacting with her. Okay. Uh, you you don't necessarily know she wasn't, like, the emo kid. Also, I realized that the music is, like... Is, it, is this gospel right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Here, I we'll like oh, I switched it. I'm sorry. Of, of the... <laughs> I didn't mean to switch it. Um, but, yeah. Um, Marula gives you the vibe that she is just kind of a mean girl a little bit. Mm -hmm. but, but also... She was very quick to take Alana under her wing. Mm -hmm. um, so, interesting. Um, Blair, again, you can see the people looking at her. Um, and then the table next to yours on the other side, um, you see a guy, we know him as Victor, you don't know him. Uh, he's got the whole dark clothing going on. He keeps showing his teeth and his eyes to people. Like, he's going out of his way to just keep showing people his teeth and his eyes and his like face and he's like oh, i just look a little di i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen i'm just a that's little different tight, what'd you say that's, uh, that's tight uh, that's tight. uh tiberius what did you say do i notice what he's doing yeah you can see that he's doing that and you're like why does he keep doing this God, like damn, to everybody victor. And Victor just looks at you and he does the same thing. He just, like, middle fingers you from across the room. Like, you get- I get an impression that a lot of people flip you off across the rooms all the time. Like, yeah. you're just used to it. It's just kind of the- kind of the way people act. Yeah. Um, Andre, he's also sitting at that Ravenclaw table. He's got this, like, huge purple scarf wrapped around his shoulders. Um, Cam, how familiar is your character with professional Quidditch? Not at all. Not her You have same. no idea what team this I is mean, for. You just see this purple- you just see this it, purple but... thing. Right. You you might have seen a purple team, but you don't know anything about it. Right. Um, it's just like a, a, a Quidditch fan scarf. Um, and then you see two other girls who, who we have not met yet. Um, Badea is her name. It, it might be Badea. I don't know how to pronounce it. I hope uh, it's Badea. 
I really hope it's not I think it's Bidea. Bidea. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think it's but well when I googled it it pronounced oh, it on good. it pronounced it Badea on the Google thing but I don't want to pronounce it like that right we're gonna call it Badea Badea <laughs> Badea uh you can see her uh sitting she has a cat on her lap and she's just petting the cat she's not really focusing on mm. talking to anybody or really doing anything um but yeah, she, she's 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 petting the cat, just kind of looking off into her own little world. Um, I'll pull her picture up so you can see her. So, and then also, she's uh, next to her is a girl who you don't know, uh, but she has red hair, like really bright red hair, and she looks very distinctive. It looks like a lot of people know her and are friends with her. There's Badia. Oh, very cute. Okay, she looks like a Jedi. She's awesome. She's kind of friends with Nate. And here is the other girl. Her name's Tulip, but you don't know that. Okay. Nate's also kind of friends with her. I think one of That's gonna... what you see. Have I clocked that maybe Death Eater from earlier? Is he in the room anymore? Uh, yeah, he's still at the front with all the other professors. I'm, I'm going to walk up, because I don't really intend on, like, eating, because, like I said, probably still kind of, like, airsick. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to him and and ask him like, uh, I was wondering if we are looking to go ahead and move into our dorms. Is that okay now? And like, if so, where are our like bags and familias? Your belongings have already been taken to your dorms. Oh, you beautiful. will need to stay in the great hall until dinner is complete. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, I am Castell, by the way. I am one of the uh, transfer students. Uh, all right. Did we come oh. up with you? Like, since we're your guys? <laughs> or did we just. Uh, did they come up with you? I didn't. Did you, Tiberius? It's up to you. Yeah, I feel like I would. Just Do you say anything to Snape? No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, you guys do your dinner, uh, everything. You guys head out, and Kester, you're gonna get a better view of the school now. You can tell it is very complex. It is huge. I mean, Beaubaton's, like, pretty much only serves France and, like, a couple of surrounding countries. This is all of the UK, uh, like, Wales, Ireland, Northern Ireland. Like, it's the whole, it's all that. Like, it's England, all the countries that are in the UK. And I think, is that it? It's a lot of countries. It's all those countries that are, like, there it's in that region. Leaks. So it's, like, a lot of people. It's a lot of people. It's a big school. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going around, and as you enter, I don't, I don't know what they call it. I think it's called, like, the Grand Staircase. But you get into this area where there's all these stairs moving and twisting and going into different positions. And you're following your two guides. They know exactly what they're doing. Um... As you all go, Charlie's kind of at the at the front of your guys' pack, and Charlie leads up to this painting where there's a woman uh, in the painting. She's kind of sitting on like an apple orchard on like a thing, and she's looking. Um, and she goes, "What is the password?" And Charlie goes, "Uh, oh, does anyone know the password? Did anyone catch the password earlier?" Do, uh, do I know the password? Do you? Do you want to make one up? Uh, oh. Do you feel like your character would know the password? Where do you get the password from? They tell you, like, someone probably told you at some point, but Charlie uh, just doesn't remember. On, do you feel yeah. like you would have caught that? Yeah, I, uh, probably. Yeah, so uh, what do you want to make it? You can make it whatever you want. <laughs> it's normally wanna, something like... I kind of want to do, like, wands, the like, wands or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, if you say that, <laughs> it's not going to work. Nut. <laughs> it's It's... I will say the password is usually something wizarding world related. So you can say something that's not right if you want. <clears throat> um. No, I, I don't know. So, uh, Jay, Jay is from the back. He goes, It's Mandrake Root. They told us on the carriages. They literally told everyone on the carriages. And Charlie goes, Oh, Mandrake Root. And she lets them through. That The painting moves, and you can all kind of go into the Gryffindor common room. And as you get in there, you guys actually can see uh, this beautiful, 
beautiful room filled with these comfy red couches and armchairs and there's paintings all over the walls and little desks to study in and things everywhere. Um, just a really cozy kind of hangout zone. Um, and you can see through the uh, the back of that room, there are two doors and one is labeled boys dormitory and the other one is labeled girls dormitory. Mm. Um, I definitely like uh, go to like the chill zone and like like in front of the fire or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I definitely like move like the couch that's too far away, like right in front of the fire, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, bust out the hookah. Uh, and I'm gonna bust out my uh, take out my broom and bust out my like five foot <laughs> bong. So the Pippa bong. and everybody sees that. All your people this come over and kind of chill the, with you. The broom is new. This is the first time oh. I just figured out how to do the broom shit. I've so been, like, all your friends are amazed. Some, like, transfiguration. I like started my transfiguration like a couple years ago, and I'm like like just figuring out how to do some like cool shit. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know like Dumbledore's on his way, so I'm just kind of chilling there, hanging out. <laughs> yeah, uh, all your friends are amazed. They're like, "This is the coolest thing." Uh, we've ever seen, like, teach us how you did it, like, we want to make it, and Jay's like, this is a very interesting piece of transfiguration. I've never been able to see transfiguration succeed on such a massive scale. Is it permanent? What kind of effects does this have? Does Shelby this affect any of your ass. user experience? <laughs> like, he's literally, he's literally just continually asking the most questions. Uh, if you don't like... shut the fuck up, I swear. <laughs> I he, swear he something tries... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> Um, Jay tries to cast the mouth sealing charm on you and seals his own mouth instead on accident. <laughs> now, didn't I tell you something would happen if you didn't shut the fuck up? He runs it into was the your boys own dormitory. Doing. <laughs> it was your own doing. That, uh, I feel um, for Jay. The poor Jay, dude. <laughs> as you guys are all kind of continually pouring in, it's late, it's after dinner, and dinner's like at like 8pm, so it's like 9.30 to 10 at this point. Everyone's tired, they were just on a freaking thing for 7 hours. Um, and, um... You see, every other student that's coming in is immediately heading to their dorms. Mm. I am gonna sidle over to uh, Tight real quick and be like, to <laughs> Tight, uh, Nate. <laughs> uh, yeah, to Tight. And uh, I'm just gonna be like, This is a very, is this custom spell work? Uh, yeah, it was just like a. <laughs> A uh, charm spell, and I I had to like get some uh, like numerology notes from one of the professors. Oh, numerology! Go in there. This is very uh, impressive. Yeah, I I am something of a a, a, a spell inventor myself. I have uh, been keeping notes. Uh, the only is nothing oh, quite as grand as transmutation. So far, the only thing I have is a thing that uh, makes you permanently lactose intolerant. Uh, but I am. As soon as you oh. say that, Pippa starts dying laughing. <laughs> She's like, "Oh my god, does that really work?" It's not ideal if you. Are, it it does. Yes, there was currently no counter spell as I only made it up Did recently. You, but, is uh, it like only on yourself, or can you like? No, it is a fully combative ready people. spell. I mean, mm. combative Did ready. You do it on yourself first. I, I did not personally, because I do not uh, bother to tempo with that, but I... Uh, I but it works. Uh, but it works. I do have verifications that it works, Who yes. Did you, Who did, did you, you cast it on? on? You know, it, it, it was... Coming to Hogwarts was a bit of uh, a, 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 a spur-of-the-moment decision, as it was that or be expelled from Bobitons. Uh, I was in a bit of a scuffle. Uh, so... Was it a student or a teacher? It was a student. It, it's, That's um, chill as hell. It's a bit of a Did you start teacher. the fight? That's fucking cool. I don't remember. This man... I kind of blacked out a little this bit. This man's gonna be shitting the rest <laughs> of his life. Woman! Now don't answer questions that you don't want to answer. Oh, it was a woman! Oh, it was a woman. Oh, oh, oh no. Hell yeah. Is it... I don't need to ask the details. Uh... <laughs> And Pippa just goes back to, like, talking to, uh, Charlie. Oh, yeah, there's one person here who I forgot to tell you. This is... Thorin. He's a Gryffindor. He's friends with, uh, LB. Oh, look at this man. Look at this whole man. Dude is the homie. This man looks 24. 
<laughs> yeah, he's uh yep, he's interesting for sure. Interesting. We got the Griffin Door squad. That's so this totally, is the squad who's sitting there with you. That's totally designed to look like Sheldon Cooper, right? Like a little bit. No. No. No, he's Asian. Very much. I'm getting the Sheldon from him. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I pretty much invented his entire personality in this session. Well, it's a little Sheldony. I'm not gonna After lie to you. Good theory. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Thorin. Uh, Thorin sitting down. He goes. Girl in the blue? What the f- I love the outfit. Tell me- Okay, who are you? I missed everything. You seem like a vibe. I am Castel uh, Bocodo. I've come from uh, Bobaton. So Castel! Uh, what a name! <laughs> Thank you. My god. I, it's amazing. Uh, he, he's kind of got this whole hip thing going on. He's like, Girl, you have to let me. Use that pa dress to make a pattern. I need something just like that. Well, I will say, uh, currently, these are, these are, this is my closet. Uh, until I get new robes for being here. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. I got you. I'm, I'm here for it. I got you. This don't worry. Good. Like, this is good. don't worry. Like, it's well, yes. anything you want. Like, what do you want? I'll make it right now. I have, I have, I have. To be honest, most of my creativity goes into spellcraft. I am not the, the best fashion designer. I will leave it up to you. What's your favorite color? Blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you just had to pick like your favorite outfit before you left. <laughs> he, uh, he just kind of does like a whole zigzag thing, and in front of you, as if on a mannequin, but there's no mannequin, is just a really like nothing like amazing like it's not as if he read your mind and knew like exactly what you wanted but something very comfortable a set of like like they look like hogwarts robes but like a little more fashionable than that but they're just yeah. sitting in front of you and he's like you're perfect size this is incredible how did you do the clothes yeah. lovely what spell is this you have created an entire oh, fucking oh. <laughs> it's i didn't create it honey honey uh i've learned this over the years it's just kind of a combination of observing different methods of creating out. fabric I'm so many notes you know and he just <laughs> continues to go on and he describes like not on a super technical level but it seems like what you're understanding is a lot of this these people you're meeting that are creating their own spells mm -hmm. are just kind of like feeling a way and mm -hmm. then doing it and then coming up with a way to kind of be really solid about it later. Because, like, if they do a really good job, but they're just kind of thinking it, you can make it happen. But if you want to, like, consistently do that, it's like years of practice kind right. of Right. I feel it. Is that He's like, thing? honey, it's going to be great. How about you head in there and get all your stuff set up and then come on back out here and we're all going to hang out, okay? That would be great. I tell you what, I could really use some peaches. That would be amazing, personally. And I'm going to... Oh, he does the same thing and gives you a set of, like, like matching like plaid uh, blue and white pajamas yeah. you get a hat you get a sleeping cap like a me 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 hat <laughs> he tries <laughs> yeah. he tr tries to make a sleeping cap and it just turns into like a beanie is that as cool as me uh you are the vibe you are the vibe friend and i i'm gonna go ahead and put my stuff in my room uh yeah do you guys do anything i'm, I'm just waiting on dumbledore <laughs> sounds good greeting my boy Thorin. I'm waiting for the Howdy. for the yearly tradition. So you guys are chilling out. Uh, um, Tiberius, are you sitting like by the fire with Pippa and Jay and 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 Nate or I? Thorin and Charlie are kind of off on their own talking. Are you with them? I'm with them. With them. Castor, when you come back, who do you sit with? Hmm. I think I'm gonna do the thing where it's like you kind of just find a spot that seems, like, nondescript and then allow people to congregate around you so you can kind of, like, read the vibes of new people. You know what I mean? So you lean against, like, a high-top table. You know the kind of table they'd put at, at... Well, I don't know if they had them by the time you got... At CN, how they'd have those higher tables with the higher chairs. Mm-hmm, totally. And, like, the lunchroom. It's, like, up to... You know, when you're standing, it's, like, at your, like... Mm -hmm. I don't know, mid-chest level. It's, like, a tall table. You lean your arm on one of those... Um, and you just kind of stand there, and as you're standing there, hold on, as you're standing there, um, you just hear, like, a pop, and Dumbledore apparates into the room, literally yes. right next to you, and it kind of blows you backward. 
Holy shit. <laughs> uh, oh, Castia! How are you? How are you blending in? Did you get your stuff to your room already? Uh, uh yes. Uh, so Fantastic! Was all your stuff there? Uh, yeah. Was all my stuff there? <laughs> was it? I, I would assume. I don't think I would have known. Yes! Like. Incredible! Fantastic! Yes. Oh, good. I'm glad we could get everything worked out. I'm sorry about the little mix-up earlier. Oh, uh, that I, was... I, did I should have had that taken care of. Uh, what uh, was up Was that? If you don't mind me asking. It seems as though... Uh, it seems as though there was a miscommunication between members of the faculty. A lot of them thought we were only getting one transfer student oh. for the school year. I, I think maybe it's because it's not a common occurrence. I'm not exactly sure mm -hmm. why. You um, assaulted Alana was me, and and then I was also there, and it became. A... It was cut. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a little bit of a confusing situation, but we've got it all worked out. I guess that it just wasn't communicated to everyone in the class. Uh, but I have more important matters to attend to. Oh. Dumbledore fully, like, bisexual sits on the, the couch, like, <laughs> over the arm of it, like this. Oh my god, Dumbledore rocks. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, he goes, Alistair. <laughs> I'm like, what's well, groovy, dude? And I pass him the five. What is long. groovy indeed, my child? And he, <laughs> is it the big one? Yeah, I would like pass on the big one. I'm like, check this motherfucker out. <laughs> and and this is the one that like makes like the super cloud. Yeah, he he looks at you and he goes, "My boy, you are so excellent. Your transfiguration has been coming along perfectly." So Dumbledore tries to, to take a hit off this thing, right? So he decides he's just gonna like. I use don't his... warn him at all about like the you don't warn him at all of how like so hard this he uses his wand out. to like light it like way because it's, it's a broom so it's what like right it's wingspan. like five feet yeah, yeah. my my wingspan i'm like five four um so he just uses like incendio to just like light it um and then he, he like immediately you could see his face like his cheeks like almost puff to the point of like like, it looks unnatural to where his face is almost, like, extending, as if somehow the smoke has gone into his, like, internal skin or something. And, and then he just, like, leans back and it's just like this. Like, pulling, pulling out. The entire common room is immediately full of smoke. Like, to where, you, to, to see, you would have to, like, get down to, like, the floor I'm like, oh, to see yeah, anything. He's getting it. And he goes, he goes, oh, that's boy. some good shit, my boy. That's some good <laughs> shit right there. It's like coming out of his ears. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like leaking out of him, like, everywhere. And he's like, that's some good shit, my boy. My boy, yes. Hell yeah, bro. <gasps> and he's just kind of sitting there, he goes, that may be it for me, I am old. <laughs> old man. <laughs> I'm like, that's, I, that's chill, dog. I, I yeah, would have liked to stay is... longer, but... I mean, the couch is warm, as long as you want to sit there. I must go. I'm I gonna... Go. Yeah, the I'm hook gonna... is pretty And as pretty he goes, he, he has a... I guess a charm that he has constantly used in the past in this circumstance that will immediately erase the memories of all the Gryffindors... Uh, in the room that this happened, uh, except for Nate and of course Castier, because you are not a Gryffindor. Uh, ah. So Tiberius, you completely forget that this even happened, oh, and you tricky. completely forget that you've seen it happen every single year um, on the first night since Holy Alistair shit. arrived at the school. So you see him leave, and you see Castier. You see everyone else act like nothing happened. What do you do? Hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna ask. Nate about this, but I'm gonna roll about it first to see if I can just figure it out. Uh, you wanna roll to see if you can figure out that it was the charm? Yeah, to fig cause like, Let me did I see him do, do like a, a hand movement or anything like that? You saw um, like watch me you saw, he goes, oh my boy, well, I'll go and then he goes like and then goes. Okay. Okay. So, um let me see Also, this is just flavor text curiosity. Did he walk out or apparate out? He apparated. Holy shit, dog. Imagine being that dunked on and app 
evaporating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I would just give you like a brains of fourteen. Let's see what we get. He's got That's some thirteen tokens. That's a thirteen without the magic die. Uh, plus I have. You got it. See. I also have plus one to this. I'm, I'm just going to roll anyway. Uh, that explodes. So. 13. My god. 13, 14, 15, 16, So 13 18. plus 4 is 17. Plus yep. 1 is 18. 18. So you not only immediately understand what happened, but you understand the context of that Alistair and Dumbledore have a very strange relationship. Like to the point where it doesn't make any sense. Why Why would the headmaster be so, not like close, because close isn't exactly what I mean, but just have this kind of relationship with right. the Right. Am I catching the vibe? But you immediately like, understood. You catch the vibe immediately. You can like... tell everybody else. Because every Charlie Weasley... Right. Would not just be like, oh, Dumbledore just smoked right. weed in here. Like, that's cool. Am I am I like, catching the vibe of, like, even in a school full of really bad, irresponsible decisions on purpose, that was even further out of the norm? Yeah, you cool. think, you know Dumbledore, and you know his, his penchant for whimsy and, like, doing whatever the fuck he wants. If he feels the need to hide something from students. Right. Right? Fucky. Cool. I'm gonna... Saddle up to, uh, uh, saddle? why is yep. everyone saddling on me? Sometimes today? you gotta saddle. <laughs> I'm gonna saddle on Nate, and I'm gonna like fully like <laughs> do a very similar motion, but like worse as like what Dumbledore did, where he like bisexually like just went over like the side of the couch. Uh, I'm gonna like okay. miss a little bit. I'm gonna like overestimate when the time was to start leaning, and my like hip is gonna hit the arm of the chair. I'll just be leaning like, like on my there, target tiger. Uh, and I'm gonna be like, so There's the couch there. If if you if you don't mind me asking, what is your relationship with Dumbledore? Uh, well, I mean, he's the headmaster of the school <laughs> yes but you are clearly a drug dealer you know what i'm saying and like i'm catching a vibe that like this place whoa, whoa, is like whoa, a little whoa 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 dude whoa no I'm no not not no in a harsh vibes way not in a harsh vibes way at all i got <laughs> shit for me and my homies is it totally respectable here. i just feel like you know <laughs> and what's this about dumbledore <laughs> you know i the man is the most wizardy wizard, but I feel like even he would be, like, you know, hesitant to smoke in front of a room of children. And there was, like, a spell that happened, which implies that he is hesitant to smoke in a room full of children. How, how loudly are you saying this? N not super, but, like... I'm, Jay I'm, and Pippa are sitting, like, right next to... Like, they're on all... Like the, on the right, side of the couch? Yeah. Okay, I'm, like, like... I'm, like... Hushed tones, but not hushed enough for this, because I would not have caught on it. I'm too excited, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, chill, dog. Like you, oh, you, you saw should... that? Well, yes, I is. That is a good point. I imagine there was not a. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, Nathan, go ahead and uh, make a brains roll for me. Of. Of. Of five. <laughs> I imagine that was. An, I'm trying to figure out. No, a reason. four, a four. I guess I'll just roll this twice. That's a three and a two. So five. You immediately realize. Do you feel like you know the intricacies of Dumbledore's thing that he does, or you just know that? I feel don't like remember? me and Dumbledore would have had a, a smoke sesh about like what his spell. So is. you realize immediately, Castor was never sorted into Gryffindor. Whatever kind of things apply to her, mm -hmm. aren't going to apply. So I'm just like, oh, to like Gryffindors. So you, you also realize the sorting hat. <laughs> you also realize with that connotation that teachers will not be able to take or award points to her. For the house cup based on things that she does so if cassier gets in trouble for something it's not going to affect your standing in the house cup because they can't take points away from her for being a gryffindor so many violations i'm about to get into <laughs> <laughs> 
Cam, you don't even yeah, know what the house cup is. No, I don't. <laughs> Unless Nate tells you right now about that, you don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I feel like I wouldn't just to bring that up out of the blue. Right, right. So you don't know. You have no idea. You that's just a, think, like, um, I need to be good at this new school. Yeah, that's a very out-of-character well, uh, moment. Don't worry about that. Generally, uh, I'm kind of the only person that experiences that. Uh, oh, really? I, I'm surprised no one else at least experiences, like, residual side effects. You did. It's not a small cloud. <laughs> Well, you know, Dumbledore's a smart guy. Oh, this is true. This is true. Oh well, no, the 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 weed is is normal. Oh, so that is fine, but for like amongst you know people that are it seems very relaxed here. Um, you know, you f you find your people. Uh, but like specifically that one part, not. Oh, Not I should probably keep so like hush then. So, yes, so, keep it down. Yeah, I, I feel you. No, no worries. Uh, so, so out of curiosity, so they're totally cool with you smoking weed, but you know, uh, Dumbledore is where it becomes. I don't... definitely like like write a little note about it and get like like on like a tiny piece of paper and like hand it to Pico. <laughs> And Pico just like scurries off, like going to find Dumbledore about like how I know about this thing now. <laughs> like the new the new girl knows about the the shit. Yeah, like uh, new girl's not Gryffindor. <laughs> do you want to say like? Do you want to say like? It'll be fine, or do you want to say like I'm worried about it? Um. Or do you just want to say new girl's not Gryffindor? That's it. I'm gonna be. Uh... Uh, I'll just be like, seems chill. Okay. So, Pico so, runs off with your little note. Is, he comes back after like five minutes. Is is this the main weed house? Or is like Slytherin uh, also weed house? Cocaine uh, house, maybe? The, the, the vibe is well, heroin with Slytherin, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, uh, <laughs> nah, dude, I'm... I'm just, uh... They ain't smoking crack in Slytherin. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just, I'm just chilling out, and, you know, I just happen to to enjoy, you know, rolling a fat one, and I got plenty of it. That's so, totally you know, respectable. Anyone, anyone who's chill, but no, not really, like, a, a widespread sort of deal. Mainly, mainly heal. Okay, go to you. Yeah, the, most of the teachers don't like it, um, <laughs> some more than others. Ooh, who was that uh, uh, Death Eater-looking motherfucker at the hall? Kind of weird in the country? Uh, weird in, uh, is, Snape? Is that his name? Is that, uh, is it... Uh, I mean, is, was he, like, dressed in all black, long black hair? Very, yes, uh, very, yeah, um, um, total. Kind Kind of, kind of like, who the fuck is kind of like he, Potter? you know, like uh. <laughs> oh, I know like they would he's, know. He's disappointed in like anything that's mundane or less, and anything that's cool, he's just kind of like, uh, father, you can't, uh, um, uh, get to approve kind of vibes. I see. He seems like even he's... though he can't refuse the fact that it was cool and he's... should be approved. He seems like the anti, uh, Thorin a little bit. You know, you know what I mean, like Z. Z yeah, that's that's Snape. That seems interesting. Friend goes like, "I'm proud of it, honey." Yeah, hey, yeah, it's Thorin. <laughs> uh, I love Thorin. Thorin's great. But if Thorin, is, Thorin that, does. Not. He's over with me. Oh. Yeah, he heard it. Oh, okay. He heard his. It was his own name. He's listening for his own name. He's right. Oh. So, oh, okay. so just to <laughs> double check. Uh, he's a gay man in the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, like, so, uh, so none of the other Gryffindor know about the little uh, uh, situation. Again, it's just about like the specific that specific moment in time. I, yes, I, I I feel you. I would okay. Right. Uh, very cool. I am going to shuffle over to uh, the um Amer uh, fake American and see what he is up to. I'm gonna walk over to him. Oh. That's true. <laughs> yeah, you can go over there. What do you say? Uh, or do you? 
Hello, how is it going over here? Uh, hello, Soren again. Howdy. <laughs> That's all you're going to get out of me, bro. Hey, girl. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. I Did you change into the new robes? Oh, yeah, totally. There, I, actually, I changed into the new There are... 100 percent That marijuana smoker. So good on you. Thank you, thank you. Do do you Unreal. two partake in the revelries? Oh. I don't remember. <laughs> That's probably a sign he does. Honestly. <laughs> uh do you, Tiberius? No, I, I stick to the healthy tobacco. That is totally understandable. There is not a healthy uh, alternative. I feel like that's that's where our like bad relationship started <laughs> yeah. was because I don't like uh, cigarettes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Thorin. Thorin's like Thorin's like sometimes, but you know I gotta focus on my education. You know, this is respectable, of course, of course. I am very much. Like, you just hear me, like, from the couch, like, ain't nothing wrong with letting loose after a hard day's. Every <laughs> once in a while, Alistair, you know, I'm here for you. <laughs> I love Thorin so much. I'm just like, the bong's always lit, brother. So. Thanks, brother. So, Tiberius, what kind of is your whole vibe in a positive sense? <laughs> uh, you seem. Are you also from America? Well, spiritually, yes, I am from America. Interesting. But physically, I am. I'm a dirty Brit. I hate to say it. It's just okay. I am from France. Uh, I totally understand uh, your situation. Americans are not. don't care that much about British, dude. Like, we. the war was like a long time ago. <laughs> now, now, here's the thing. He's speaking of a war. But little does he know, there was two. Have you heard of the War of 1812? Dude. No. <laughs> it's chill. <laughs> it's chill, dude. The best response to, have you heard of the War of 1812, is, dude. <laughs> dude. It's chill. Where we burnt down... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I became a little patriotic. Sorry. Sorry, my cat jumped in my drawer. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, I would like to say that Bones is four feet tall. Bones is oh. big. Oh, yeah. So, where is Bones in this moment? I don't know. He's off doing Bones stuff. He would have been taken to the dormitory. Mm. I didn't know if you had him, like, on or your Or the shoulder. Ellery. <laughs> you can have him wherever you want. Like, you can have him with you if you want. Yeah, he's with me. That's dope. Pico never left my side. Yeah, Pico... Oh, by the way, Pico brought you back a note that just said K. <laughs> cool. uh, like the letter K or like K A Y. <laughs> letter K. <laughs> All caps. Uh, what is your uh, interesting undead bird spirit, friend? All right, you're talking about bones, aren't you? Now, uh, now here, here's here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. They said Tiberius, you're either gonna have a cat, an owl, or a rat. And I said, no, I'm not. And they said you have to. So, I was sitting there thinking to myself, what is an owl, really? So, he just found, like, a dead bald eagle. <laughs> now, the father of the... The father. <laughs> My father was an owl. <laughs> now, now, so I thought, what is better than an owl? Mm -hmm. The damn first owl. So, I, I had, I called up my mom and papa, and I said, look, they're gonna make me have an owl, so I want Ajagoptics. They said, what the fuck is an Ajagoptics? I had to learn them. Interesting. So, what so, he is an extinct owl, the first owl. Is, but so, we couldn't get him skin. We're still working on that. So that seems like is what what I know if like necromancy is legal. Um, you are getting the impression that this is a very spoiled rich kid mm -hmm. who has kind of gotten to do whatever they want their entire life, mm -hmm. and you get the impression that. This is not a reanimated, fossilized 
bird skeleton from 80 million years ago, mm -hmm. you get the impression that this is a series of bones that have been enchanted oh. and animated and That's turned cool. into a giant four-foot owl. You're getting that impression. It's You're like, getting the impression that it was like a very powerful form of magic. It's like a that jury has... rigged object optics. I see. I feel it. Yeah. Is that this very cool? This is, seems like a very interesting uh, form of spellcraft and also uh, difficult. Did you uh, procure or create this creature yourself? Now, I ain't much for wizardry, first and foremost. Really? But I do come from a lot of money, and mm. but magic can't do the dollar can, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> that is uh, entirely understandable. Uh, so you... Uh, I'm sure you'll get this question at the time. Uh, what uh, is your family known? Uh, I cannot remember your last name at the moment. Uh, that's okay. Tanner. Uh, T A N N E R. Tanner. Interesting. Uh, what does your family do? Have you ever heard of uh, them polished oak? I have, Oops. yes. Uh, my uh, grandmother uh, had one back in the day, one of the originals. Oh, so that, that tells me a lot about your family. Oh, mostly my grandmother. Uh, the rest of us are rather ordinary. A military family, so they're, you know, it's not, with, it's not as though we are poor, but, you know, uh, certainly not loaded as it well. Um... But yes, I am familiar with the brand. Your, your family creates the polished broom. A polished oak, rather. Yes. That is very cool. I, do, I can't sugarcoat it, yes. Do, do you, we, do you uh, have a polished oak? No. Can't really? stand those fuckers. Really? <laughs> you seem to have an interesting relationship with your parents. <laughs> now, I don't love my parents, but I love their money. See, <laughs> they want me to be a wizard. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm getting distinctly. As they are. Mm -hmm. I'm taking it to you. I'm not a fan of that idea. I want to be a cowboy. Thorin goes, Tiberius, you've literally been in wizard school for five years at this point. I'm pretty sure you're going to be a wizard. Did I have a choice? Did I, I tried to run away. I tried to run off the train. They started watching me. <laughs> Tiberius would so watch Alex Jones. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, you, As you guys are kind of having this conversation, you're kind of going back and forth about, you know, just get, getting to know each other, you're getting to know about uh, Tiberius', Tiberius family, and you just get this impression that it's like, mm -hmm. I, we would do anything for our little boy so that he feels like he has his little things that he needs, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and all the kids, uh, all the other kids in the house have pretty much gone to bed. Um, but you see Pippa is sitting there, and she's, like, super bored. She's looking around, she's like, It's, like, so early, like, we need to find something to do. Come on, like, let's find something to do. <clears throat> and I'm like, uh, and immediately I just uh, think back to, like, my van. And, uh, and just, like, going on, like, a joyride, like, through the mountains or something. And I'm just like, like, maybe we'll, like, Joy ride around and like go to like the city or whatever, and I'm like, well, uh, I did bring something else here, uh, but it's gonna be a little bit of a hike to get there. Is it not archaeological? Do you know where is it? Where it uh, is? yeah, I'm not, I'm not going on a hike, so we're definitely gonna have to come up with something different for that. Well, we could... uh, I guess we could archaeo it. But it's, uh, it's not small. Could. Well, whatever. How many, how many people in, are in shit. here right now? Uh, four, uh, you, th you three and these four, so seven. Question for the group. I know I am new here and this is weird, but a uh, question regardless. What does your uh, relative skill level also is uh, magic? Uh, how good do I think I would be at Accio and thing? Accio is like the first spell you learn. Yeah, but I would assume like it being like such a big object would make it more difficult. Well, 
I want to like rouse I will say the group. it is going to be very difficult to Akio that. I if want, you try to like well, all Akio my, my, it and yeah, someone fails, going. things are going to go wrong. Mm. Um, so you would have to have everyone succeed for everything to go right. You're going to so, either cause severe damage or you're going to cause it to be very noticed if everyone doesn't roll like super. Uh, okay. Basically, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting idea is like how like do I think like it would be like. I would probably succeed at that role pretty easily. Like, what kind of role would that be? Probably to brawn, Accio right? an entire vehicle from... Would it be, like, Brawn or... Miles Bains away. Charm, it's, like, right? two miles away. I mean, let me just look. I would definitely call it a Brawn, for sure. <laughs> Accio is pretty much always Brawn, because you're using magic to do something you would do physically. Um... Prana's not my best stat. <laughs> I'm like, I Hold mean, on, with a few good hands, oh, I could probably Occhio it. Or I guess I could just go get it myself. It would Possibly literally be it. like, from the way that the game works, it would literally be like an 18. Mm. For like, each of us. Yeah, I'm like, I'll probably, yeah. I could probably just fly over there and grab it. I, I would go with you. I have my well, you guys can do that, but like we're gonna like play a game or something while you're gone. So all right, okay. well uh, I'll go. Y'all like a Yahtzee? I'll go grab it. Um, I'll we're not be, playing uh... fucking Yahtzee, Tiberius. Would, would you like oh, to come yeah. with is us, it, Tiberius? Is it? Can I? Is it? Would it be possible for me to get? Is there like a window out of the dorm? There's windows in the. Uh, it's a tower, so you can go up, and you can okay. be on the top. So I'll, I'm gonna bring it like outside, of, like the tower is like the goal. Like bring it up through there. Is Do it you like want to put it on sunset? top of the ta tower? No. <laughs> like, like I'm gonna drive. Like when I pull up, like. Oh. Okay. Is really quick. Let me delete all these. Um. Um. um yeah, Gryffindor Tower is like one of these towers. Transform my uh my bong. I'm like, let's roll. Hell yeah! Are so you, you three are you, going. Would you like to come with us, uh, Tiberius? Not really, but you are my responsibility as well. So like, I, I apologize for inconveniencing you. To, you. I think, uh, I think I, I it's it. okay. It ain't the first time today, but you don't have to apologize. Come on, Nutty, come on. Uh, I'm gonna grab my broom. Uh, where are we going again? Where, where roughly is it? Um, it's what the like hell? oh, probably like in these woods. Does anyone else see those, right like, here. boxes? Yeah, yeah. I, I think they're, like, range boxes. For what? Just range? I don't I know. I can't edit them. That's fine. You can change okay, the well, color tint. That's, that's of the map. The painting, yeah. <laughs> that's fine, I can ignore them. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, his, his car's right here. Okay, so... Oh, they're, like, containers. Here's your... Oh. When I put the dice in them, they disappear. Hmm. Yeah, they're oh, there's doing... part of your DM screen. <laughs> what? Did they like glitch over there? I don't think so. Can you see them in there? I wonder the if the dice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. They disappear. They also disappear for me. That's like part of your DM screen has like glitched in over there. Odd. Hold on, just let me. Is there a way to just like they are reset totally the map also <laughs> hovering? That big of a deal. Yeah, I could reset the map, but it would reset where all your guys' shit is. No, and that's your tokens fine. And stuff. I mean, it wasn't bothering me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not bothering me either. It doesn't block the map out, so right. That would be totally fine. Uh, so if we're flying, I'm gonna hop on my broom. I'm going to stand on it skateboard just... style and cast. What the hell are you doing? I'm just doing Dude. this because it was. It I was, was trying to raise way. it so that. Here. <laughs> I was trying to raise it so I wouldn't hit the minis. They're good. So we're flying over there then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's just a normal flight, so like, don't. It's not gonna be like hard or anything. I'm gonna try and race. Um, I'm gonna try and race him. <laughs> oh yeah, you can race him. Careful, a bit friendly like, competition. Off? Might as well. Well, I suppose I need to know Let's what we're going. Let's do a contested flight roll. 
I'm like, uh, if you're just trying to win a race, I've never been the fastest guy, but I reckon I'll give it a shot. Now, our one of us fucks up, just so happens to fuck up, won't we get caught? Ain't we supposed to be sneaky, sneaky deaky like? Is it nighttime at this point? Yeah, Probably. it's like 9 30. Okay. Um, When's curfew? I'll be like, there's no curfew. Right. There is no curfew. Oh, thanks. I thought we couldn't uh, run the halls at night. There's a curfew of, I think it's 10. Mm. But it's not like it's not like you have to be in like you can be you have to be in your common room. I think it's after ten. Let me just double check. All right, flight. Just kidding. It's nine, so you are breaking curfew. So but... yeah, I'm trying to think of the the repercussions. Like obviously, whatever Madam Castle does ain't gonna affect the scoreboard. I mean, we're not doing anything. You don't know that yet. I don't I know that. I don't know that. Nathan's the only one that knows that. Uh, I mean, we're not doing anything bad. Yet. We are breaking, breaking curfew. curfew. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Nine? Yeah, it's nine. Oh, uh, we'll just, we're just, being we'll just be fast. We'll just be a little quick. Uh, yeah, all of you. Like, uh, all of you do a flight check. Never, teachers never out looking around anymore. I got a 14. Um, Tyrese, don't forget you had a plus one. I got, I a, got four. a thirteen. <laughs> oh. Nathan got a four. You got a thirteen. You got a fourteen. Yes. Oh Nathan wait, is... am I supposed to do something if I roll a nat twelve out of twelve? Yeah, yes, it explodes you and you roll again and add the second number to the first. Oh. Okay, so I got a twenty-five. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> So, you guys are up on the top of this tower. Cam, you take off and you just, you're there, no problem. You just zip across. It's not complicated. You were there earlier, you know exactly where it is. Um, Nathan, however, is fucking zooted at this point, right? <laughs> uh, and although he can handle himself because he's experienced with this kind of thing, um, he has a little bit of trouble. So, you know, he starts off his broom and it's kind of it's kind of like an old car Gets type on the energy broom backwards. of like, oh, I don't know if we're going to get Yeah, it's like I don't know if we're really going to get here. And as he goes to start flying, it's all chill, right, man? Like it's all chill. And he just kind of starts like going along, like coasting along, you're like looking at the sights. And um Tiberius, you realize, like, listen, at the end of the day, I just want to be a cowboy. I also don't want us to get kicked out of school. So, you not only are being perfectly fine on your own, you come up behind him and you grab onto him and you fly him <laughs> with you down to the woods and you all make it there successfully. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fucking rope a dope. Is this my van still there? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, so, um,. Oh shit, you have like a full van over here. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh this is a mystery machine, man. You ever uh ever seen one of these? No. Oh. No. <laughs> Not at all. My uh, family Yeah, I never asked, uh are you like like uh beer blood or I am, uh, I am mixed, uh, as uh, unfamiliar with the English world for it, but uh, my, my my father was a mogul. <laughs> I gotcha. But you didn't, like, you don't have, like, much experience with the world outside of the magic Not world? Not really. I've mostly went, well, I've lived with my grandpa most of my life, uh, and he is also oh, muggle. Gotcha. Uh, so, I mean, yeah. I have heard things, but I mean, I'm mostly at home or at school. So, um, well, I guess this is a this is a van, and I just like collect the the weed bags out that I <laughs> right try to, to put them in there. Um, so are you just gonna drive out. it over there? Yeah, make sure the like light thing is off. You know, we're going, Con going like dark all mode. all stealth. Yeah, for sure. So are... you go on away. Are you guys both hopping in? Oh yeah, absolutely. No, I am not. Are I'm you on flying? my room. Yeah, okay. I'm flying. That 25 Just, is going to carry you. Can I, this. like, fly ahead and kind of be a yes. lookout? You can do whatever you want. You roll the 25. You can do whatever <laughs> you want. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, um, go ahead. You, 
Caster, you you get like in like the the front seat, and I just like move a bong out of the way. And, Hell yeah! Like, you can like see the whole van, and it's loaded like to the seats with these gigantic like bags of just bud. Hell yeah! Hell just, yeah! Like, all the way, to, like 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 some cheech and chong like, shit. A solid like two hundred pounds of bud. Jesus Christ. Is like, does this van <laughs> like normally hit like 120 and can only hit like 60 right now with the sheer weight of Bud? And yeah, this... <laughs> like this van can normally like top out at like 100, and like right now it's like a cool 65. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's awesome. I'm, it um, reminds so me of my do you just want to follow? Do you just want to follow like the carriage trail until you get uh, out of the woods? Yeah, probably. So, as soon as you get out of the woods, you can see a completely open field. Um, are you just gonna drive along the field? Did you want to try to cast something to disguise the van? Do you just want to drive? How, like, where are you wanting to go? Is so, is like the moon super bright? It's tonight? September, and it's. I would say it's not super. Let me just roll a random roll a random luck check on that. Uh, it's pretty dark. It's pretty dark. Yeah. I'll probably just uh, be like, hey, it'll be alright. Where there, are you wanting to go hide it? Is there bushes around? Where? Just like around where we are. Like around the There's bad. a forest here. You guys are like here because you're coming out. And there's another forest here. And uh, there's the school. There's not like landscaping. I'm... Well, I didn't mean like kept bushes. I mean just like tufts of grass and shit. Uh... There's, like, longish grass. I mean, it's like a prairie, so it's, like, kind of longish grass, but it's not, like... I just want to, like, accio up a bunch of, like, the shrubbery around and, like, pull it tight against the outside of the van while we're moving. Just, like, like a I'm magnet. I'm also worried As about... If it's causing, you know, like, like... ghillie suit the van? Grass. Yeah, I want to ghillie suit while the you're van. Going? I yeah. have the of the van. That's going to be brawn. E. Oh, let's see how many times I explode. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be really hard. Oh, is it? Okay. I imagine it's just how good it looks. <laughs> like, if you get, like, a five, like, yeah, there's grass on the van. <laughs> there's... But it's still a van. <laughs> Ten. Ten? Okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. <sighs> okay. I can't use an adversity we'll token to make something die. explode, right? No. I think. Nah. What did I think you get? Like an ability. Got a three. <laughs> was that with your magic die? Oh, that's a good point. Thank you. Hold on. Actually, no, I don't. Oh, I do get magic it's die magic. anytime. You're, okay. you're using you're a so spell. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that explodes. So four, five, six, seven. Does magic die explode? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh. Eight, nine. So I got nine. What was the difficulty ten again? Ten. ten. There. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it with that adversity token. The as you go along this this grassy plains, mm -hmm. do you want me to delete it or did you? Just... I got it. Okay. Um, as you guys go along these grassy plains, the grass and br brushes and everything come up from beside you to completely mask the van as it travels oh, yeah. on. Um, oh, yeah. Hell yeah, there dude. is no muffling to the noise of the van traveling, but it's not super loud. Um, the The noise does carry, and you can hear the noise of the van kind of going across the lake, but you're like, it's probably fine, like, everyone's mm -hmm. getting ready for their first day, it's not gonna be a big deal. Um, and like where are you driving to? screaming to mask the noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's just like, ah! um, um, Nate, where are you driving um, to? Uh, you can drive wait, anywhere wait. in here and nobody's going to see you. Where is, like, the Gryffindor, like, Gryffindor, tower? I'm going to say it's, like, around here. So I'm going to, like, just, like, pull up, like, right in front of the tower. Okay, so he pulls up right here. Um, if you would like to try to, if somebody would like to try to cast a spell to keep it covered in these leaves and stuff... Um, I will let you do that. Uh, or you can try to just conventionally cover it with shit, like, however you guys want to so, do it. So, 
are the trees or the leaves still like coming with us and then when we get there they're gonna drop is that what it is when we get there they're on but you rolled for applying that like you were holding you you're were holding, them up. holding them up okay so when you get there and you like stop casting your spell they they'll will still fall. be these long pieces of grass but they're gonna fall okay i think i'll tell you what i'll make like a little roll to see if i can make them sticky okay um what what would we roll for that? Maybe a tr Alejandro, you know what to do. <laughs> What'd you say, Kim? Maybe a charm. I was saying. Sure. Okay. Uh, let me. You're gonna make the grass sticky. That's my goal. Like while I'm holding. Like it as up. if it was as if it, as if it was like glued on. You're saying like yeah. physically sticky. Yeah. Sticky enough to hold itself up once I let go. <laughs> Have you ever done this before? I don't think so. I think this is purely vibes based. I'm just like, I need a okay, thing to be on. sticky. <laughs> There's a spell similar, I know, but it's eighteen. Okay. Set. Did you already roll? No, not yet. Sixteen. Okay. Two. Whoop! Almost dropped the magic die. Did you roll a two? Uh, two, four, five, six. Explodes. Seven, eight. Got an eight. Got an eight. So it's half. Um. What is this was too much for you to try to do. Yeah. Um, if you would like, I will allow you to succeed, but I will allow you to take a lower um, duration. So if you would like it to last for one day, you will succeed. I think I'll just fail and take the adversity token instead. Okay. The grass uh, is still leaning up against the side, but it's just like falling. Like, it didn't, <laughs> and now I've made his truck gross. <laughs> yeah, it didn't do anything. Oh, we're just going up and grab everybody anyway. Um, so yeah, I reckon I'll hop out and fly up and be like, it's here. Uh, so you're just going back inside? Yeah. I'll follow him up as well. Like, come check this shit out. Or I guess if they're coming back down, I'll just wait here. So you go inside and you see Pippa, Charlie, Jay, Thorin, all the people you left behind. And they're all sitting in a circle in front of the fire. And you can tell they're like playing some kind of game. Um, like, taking turns, like, doing stuff. Like, what are you losers up to? Or playing Truth or Dare. Truth or dare? How about uh, I dare all of you to come outside and check this out? Check what out? You'll you'll see. Um, are you gonna give them any more than you'll see? It's a it's a mystery. Uh, Jay and Pippa go. <laughs> the other two don't. Can I fly so... up real quick and be like, Thor and you beautiful queen, come with us. And get Thorin You're just gonna fly him. up there and tell him to. Yeah, come just in. fully like you know, like the the like movement a dolphin does when it like breaches the water. Just like me on a broom, just be like, get down here, you bitches, and then roll like a <laughs> roll, a roll a charm. Difficulty five. No magic unless you got it. It's a two. <laughs> it's, a, it's a two. Wait, you have a twenty, right? Or what do you have on charm? No, on that's charm, me with twenty. The 20. I, I have a d six on charm. You yeah. can take half for the three and use an adversity token if you really want to. Nah, know. it's okay. It's okay. Okay, he stays. He doesn't care. Uh, Pippa and Jay follow you guys out to the van. Uh, yeah, so I take him, take him down to the van and start that shit up. You know, start playing my playlist. Not super loud, but you know, just setting the setting the vibes. Is it a cassette? Is I'm it a like, CD? Uh, it, it is to be definitely a, a CD. Oh, is it a CD? Or is it a cassette? I'm not sure what's It would CDs be cassette or radio. Yeah, I probably like radio won't a, work here. Probably a cassette. And uh, yeah, I've got like a box. That's like the one thing that. Are you gonna do a... There's like a shoebox of like cassettes. Are you oh, gonna yeah. do a magic to have your radio work in the Hogwarts? magic zone of where electronics well, don't work not like the regular radio just to pop in a cassette yeah it's electric electronic 
Oh, then I guess I got to figure that out. <laughs> so I like put the cassette in and it's like not activating. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, what would this be? Don't I have a Walkman that is... Just Do you? Cassettes? Yeah, because he mentioned that before. He had like a Walkman that he got his parents to jury rig to work in non magical <laughs> Yeah! Bed. Can you make it like, I'm assuming, just have, say it has a speaker on it? Is there, There's a loudening spell, I know that much. I don't remember yeah, what you guys want to do. I don't, I I don't want to think try and activate have my speaker. Okay, I, I he's going to try to activate and... his radio. Um, what do we think this should be? Probably charm. Charm. Wait, you're bending the rules of reality, or could have a... Um... E How long do you want it to last, just while you're in here? Um... Or do you want to make it work forever? I would like to get it to make it work forever, but, like, I'll take as long as I can If you get want it. it to work forever, it's gonna be 11. If you want it to work not forever, it's gonna be 6. If you want it to work for, like, an hour. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the forever. Okay. Shoot your shot, my guy. So that's 11 plus 1, so that's 12. And I will spend two adversity tokens. Your radio functions perfectly from this point forward on Hell your vehicle. Yeah, dog. Cool. Very nicely done. Uh, so I, I pop in that uh, Sweet Vibes cassette. I'm like, uh, I figure we could, uh, I don't know, go cruising around town or just ride around for Pippa a while. goes, cruising around what town? Isn't this a town down here? Funky town. I mean, it's like a village. It's like a bunch of old people and everything's closed because it's the middle of the night. Oh, uh, okay. I so felt yeah, that Hogsmeade is a little uh, name. Is there any, anything interesting around that I would like on it? Like... There's the Quidditch no. pitch. Maybe a, maybe a vibe spot. There's a quid. There's the Quidditch pitch. There's the old under there's the, the bleachers. There's the Quidditch pitch. <laughs> the old um, van under the bleachers trick. Mm-hmm. Well, in that case, uh, I'm gonna just like tell everyone to like hop in, and uh, I'm gonna just start like uh, playing music probably a little too loudly, and we're just gonna start like mudding through the forest. Which I'm definitely where? Definitely not in. Up by Hagrid's. Uh, the Forbidden Forest? <laughs> uh, probably the regular forest. <laughs> so this one. Yeah. Over here. Uh, yeah, are you still trying to not be seen? Um, like, yeah. But I'm also trying to, like, uh, be a little rowdy about it. Yeah, so you guys are going along and playing your music a little loud. Like, J once, once we going get, like, back... into the forest is when I, like, really, like... Kick it up yeah, going back across the same path that you not <clears> ten <throat> minutes ago snuck across completely silently, you're now going across with no regard <laughs> to <laughs> trying to hide yourself at all, other than having your lights off. Um, so you head kind of back to the forest, and as you're in there, Jay goes, I just I really don't think we should be doing this. This could have severe consequences for our standing in the house cup, and it's only the first night, and I just feel like we're going to be oh, in trouble. Jay it just seems like... Free it just seems like it's not gonna work for me. It just really seems like I, 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 I should probably go. It's like, chill, I should... Jay. I should it's probably chill. get out of here. I, I really don't think I should be here anymore. I, uh, it's I, fine, dog. We're good. And I just like hand him like a joint. I'm like, it's all good, dude. Listen, Jay. He if looks at it and he goes, me, go I, I really don't feel comfortable. I, I really don't feel comfortable and I just, with, uh, with And this. I just like turn up like the radio is like just like this like guitar like part starts playing. And I'm just like vibing out like totally ignoring his bad bad vibes i'm just like it's all chill dude. yeah he just sits there like i really don't want to be here why did i decide I'm to come here for jay. the rest of the drive i'm just gonna hug jay. can i hear he the music from hug. being up in the air on my broom like how cl do i know yeah. freebird is playing you can hear it oh fuck <laughs> not a fan of freebird i don't know tiberius Freebird free bird is universal <laughs> Um, so yeah, you get towards the forest. Uh, what do you do once you get into the forest? Uh, I'm just like, I'm like checking to like see like what the vibes are. I was like, you know, trying to like, you know, do some like drifting and shit like around trees and stuff. Just, Sick like, tricks. Trying to be adventurous. Yeah, go ahead and give me uh, a roll. 
go ahead and give me a flight roll. Um, you're just trying to not hit trees. Yeah, like, I'm not trying to, like, be, like, too stupid, but, like, you know, like, kind of, like, fucking around. Yeah, how, um, how impaired are you at this current moment? Um, I would say I'm not schlumped, but I'm definitely having a good time. Really quick before we continue, has anyone failed any rolls that need tokens for? Oh, I, mean, I did a bunch, I've, I've been, but I've been, I've been keeping been, track. Like, pay, yeah. As I've long as you're keeping track on your own, because I have not been doing it. Yeah, no. Okay. I don't think I have um, rolled. Oh, wait, I've only rolled once. And you, like, killed that shit, dog. <laughs> yeah, you well, fucking, fucking knocked 25. that shit out of the park. Um, so you're, you're fine. Nate. I'm comfortable driving. I, I would give you... Uh, your, Maybe not, like... To not crash in into a tree... So not crash into these trees in the middle of this forest, just give me a five on flight. Would you like to go fast though? Uh so that's a four and I'm gonna spend my last adversity token. <laughs> <laughs> you uh you weave around all the the trees, you don't hit anything. Yeah, just like, drifting around. Do you have a goal or are you just kind of going? I'm just trying to make this as like fun of a joyride. Great as first I can. night. I'm like trying to think of any any good like vibe spots like maybe like a high like spot that like uh like overlooks the lake or something like that i'm going to hold on i assume so nate this van has like uh -huh. the back doors right that are like double doors uh -huh. that open and yeah I'm... there's like a small like tunnel through the weeds you guys have a spot in I... the forest that you think you could probably get to if you while we're on our way there directionally how... How fast are we going right now? Uh, going through the trees, we're probably like, just depending on like how dense it gets, probably anywhere from like 40 to like 50. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make range. sure, I'm gonna make sure there's nothing that's gonna like fall out of the van during this first, but I'm gonna open up the back doors. I'm gonna shout, Tiberius, spot me! And then I'm, I don't know why I was Irish in that moment, but it was, it's what's happening. <laughs> Tiberius, so spot me! I'm gonna climb on I should make somebody the, Irish. I'm gonna climb on top of the roof of the van and colo shoe my shoes to stick them to the top, and then just like ride. I'm gonna surf the van while we're. So you're you're opening the doors while it's going 50. You're climbing up onto the top, and then yes. you're sticking to the top. Okay, so for yes. the climb, it's gonna be a flight. Um... And I did already Have you ever done shit this before. I climb i mean shit <laughs> for the shit. no i was gonna say i did already shout to spot me to Ty to tiberia so he knows he's ready i didn't uh, say i would you just said spot me and that's well, it's in your head now we'll figure we'll, we'll see how it goes uh have i climbed out of a moving car before probably not. and down to the top Probably not. Uh, I don't think rolling with advantage is a thing in Kids on Brooms, but I'm gonna have you do it anyway. Because <laughs> um, I don't care. Um, I'm gonna need for you to get me I'll say, I already an have, 8 on flight. I already have a magic die. I'll say, if like, I, if I, like, see you doing it, I'll probably, like, start driving, like, a little more... Is like, you already have a magic die? Yeah, because Freebird's on, man. Okay, so, so, go ahead and do... The eight with magic die. Don't worry about me saying advantage. Okay. Just give me an eight on flight. That's already a ten. Let's see how good I do though. Uh, that's actually an eleven because I have a plus one. Uh, that explodes. So fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So seventeen. With one hand, you grab onto the top and then, like, swing up onto it. Um, do you? Are you gonna try to close the doors behind you or just no, leave them open? No, they're open. Uh, you're gonna cast your, what was it, glue a shoe or whatever? Yeah. Makes my shoes sticky. Uh, what do you want to use that I think it's with? A charm. Brawn, I guess. Pro a brawn or a charm would be my guess. Uh, either way, you're not I'll take gonna charm, do then. well. Um, <laughs> charm, uh, yeah. Give me... The music's hyping me up. <laughs> uh, give, me... <laughs> give me a five. Uh, and then it's magic, so magic die. Uh, so three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a nine. Yeah, you're glued. 
You're Hell not yeah. moving. So I am fucking oh, surfing okay. your van, homie. <laughs> uh, and I, my PJs. I see you hop up there. Uh, and I just uh, look over at Pico, and he's probably just like sitting in like Pippa's lap. She's probably yeah. just like chilling in the passenger seat. And uh, I just like reach down and grab a, a tiny leash. <laughs> uh, I and I just like like nod at him. Uh, and he hops over, and I'm gonna like hand him like a little joint. Mm-hmm. It's like a regular size joint, uh, and like nod up. And Pico, uh, I'm gonna put the uh, leash on him. And he's gonna hop up there and like glide jump next onto to me. you. Oh. <laughs> he's gonna jump onto you uh, and like hold out the joint. Hell yeah! I'm. I don't know if I've ever smoked before, but I am in this moment, a hundred percent. And then as soon as you take it, uh, Pico just leaps off of you and like spreads his his Hell flaps, yeah, dude. and it's just just gliding <laughs> in the air with the van like keeping him up there. Do familiars have to roll? Are you gonna make that a thing or no? Nah, familiars are fucking awesome. <laughs> okay, I like that better. And I mean, he's on a, like a leash, so he like can't. Right. Like, I mean, you could throw a dog out, out of a moving car and have a leash. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, but he's a sugar glider. He, <laughs> right. He literally glides. Yeah. Yeah, Freebird is allowing you guys here. to do whatever the fuck the you want right now. The power of Freebird. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, it's power. There's a lot of power. Uh, I'm like looking at Pippa to see if she's vibing with Pippa's Freebird. vibing as hell, and Jay's vibing at this point too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's cool. fucking vibing. Everyone's fucking vibing. I'm like, uh, you good up there? Oh hell yes! Woo! Uh, <laughs> and I just we just haul ass off into the woods. Uh, I start doing my crazy shit again. This would not have uh, flew at Bobatons. I reckon we're trying head to <laughs> trying to head to the spot. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, you get to the spot, no problem. And, uh, when you get to the spot, um, are, are, do you have a, what is there something you want to do at the spot, or are you just going uh, to someone I think we're you just going to do, do that thing. <laughs> uh, what he wants to do isn't here. Uh, uh, I think it's just going to be the kind of thing where, uh, I'm going to, like, we're going to, like, pull up. What does the spot, like, look like? Can you, like, describe it? I would just say it's, like, a clearing where you guys have some, like, logs that are tipped over. There's, like, m- oh. makeshift campfire remnants from last year. But, I mean, it's been, like, a whole summer of, like, weathering on this area, so it's kind of overgrown a little bit. But there's clearly an area that you guys hang out. What's the view like? How good's the um, view? It's pretty much just forest kind of stretching okay. out. Um, so I'm going to just, like, pull up next to the logs. Uh... And we'll just, like, get the fire gun, and I feel like we're just gonna be, like, laying on top of the van, looking at, like, the sky. I'll just have, Are you like... all on top of the van? Uh, no, I'm I flew be... back. I, I'm oh, done being you left? The lookout. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Too I'm much gonna weed be smoking. What everyone else wants to do, I'm just, like, chilling. Uh, and I'm just gonna have, like, the music playing, like, quiet. Just kind of, like, vibe music. It occurs to me in the moment, I didn't pick, like, how long my shoes would be stuck, so I'm probably still... You are still stuck. To the van. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you take your shoes off? That's you can find it and can taught it if you want. That's true, but also I just started getting high for the first time, so I probably, I'm probably just living you just that take your on shoes the off. van life. I'm, I'm not even that. I'm probably just on the I van. Like, no, you're just saying. <laughs> I see that like you have like the jointlet, and I'm just like hell yeah, brother. Yeah. So you guys are in there. Pippa and Jay get out and they sit down on one of the um, the logs. They light the little fire and they're just kind of sitting there chatting. Um, they seem like, like they're up against having kind of like a deep talk over there, having a good time. Ooh. Got anything you wanted? No. We're just. I think we're just high in a field. Or... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, you can just sit there. I don't really know what to. Can we hear what a. Uh... Charlie and Pippa are talking about. Uh, Jay Jay. and Pippa are... It seems like from their Truth or Dare game earlier, they had gotten to a little bit of a conversation that it seems like they're continuing. Um, You're hearing Jay talking about, you know, something about, oh, my family, oh, I want to do well in school, and getting, like, kind of upset. Kind of as if, like, a... Like, as if maybe they were talking and someone had asked, like, what's your greatest fear? And he was like, not not being a, the greatest wizard or not being the smartest or something. And, and they're just kind of continuing that kind of conversation. Um. Hmm. 
I feel does you, this, brother. Does he seem? Does he seem? Uh, like he uh, only wants to talk to like Pippa right now. He just seems like he's chatting. You guys are friends. Uh, uh, then I'll probably just like uh, like go like sit down next to him and like put like a arm on and be like, "What's hanging, dude? It's been like a year." He's like, "Hey, man, how you doing? Uh, I'm just kind of." I'm a little nervous. I'm nervous about this year. School's gonna get a lot harder this year. You know, I know, I know new level classes and I'm just, I'm a little nervous. I was just talking to Pippa and, you know, Pippa's in her second year of newts and she, she said it's not that hard and Pippa's like, it's it's really not that hard. Like, it's gonna be fine. He's like, I don't, I don't really know. It's just, it's just got me a little bit anxious. And this is Jay talking, you well, said? This is Jay. Okay. <clears throat> I like I'm everyone. Pull out my picks. Everyone goes up in these classes, man. You'll be alright. You're one of the, it's gonna be one of the smartest fine. dudes I know. I don't know. I'm just a little bit worried. Like I you just feel probably like... know everything that's in those classes anyway. There is nothing really to be so? worried about. We get the pouting out of the way tonight, and then we. No, you, you probably... <laughs> I'm just like that's chill, dog. Uh, I'm like, man, you probably read read the books for these classes like four years ago. I did. I I bought them my first year, actually. I have every book since Dude, first year, but don't worry about me. I am so fully solid, normal man. and and totally fine. Can we just? I just need so to get something to, to to get my mind off this. Does anyone have any? I just uh, pass sweets. him. <laughs> oh, I like go to like pass him the joint. I'm just like uh, Akio sweets. <laughs> so you Akio just from nowhere? Akio sweets. <laughs> um, let me just do some math. <laughs> I'm hot. Your Accio sweets. Your Ac. Your Accio sweets would just work. It um, would. <laughs> fully, it fully would just work. Yeah. Um, Nate's Why got a lot of Accio's? shit in that. Yeah, Nate's got a lot of shit in there. Um, do you feel like you have wizard sweets as well as uh normal sweets? You've been know. at wizard school for a long time. Yeah, but I like. I can only. I assume I can only get them like while I'm at Hogwarts, right? Well, you could have saved some. Yeah, well, that's what I'm gonna roll for to if see you if, say if you I have eat that, all I have them. shit that you can do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so, <laughs> so, so, Cam goes, Accio sweets! She's still, like, glued to the top, just kind of going like this, like, free bird! Like, you're just so, like, kind of, like, still going. The song like, the has ended, like, so five minutes ago. But you're still going, free bird! Um, <laughs> Are you accuing them to you? Or are you like locomotoring them to them? I didn't think about that. So who knows? Okay, you accued it to you. Um, yeah, so you accio. Uh, I super Accio's don't catch sweets. them though. If if, if they're and, coming to me, I didn't realize that, and they just come and then they fall. <laughs> yeah, and this hits you in the face. Oh. I thought it was a person for a second. What is this? Loading one of two, 50%. Uh, do, do I know what this is? Yeah, you do. Oh. It's Bernie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. Hell yeah. Is there something special about them? Yeah. Um, they're every flavor that uh, there could that they could be. Hell yeah. Uh, this, this so did those just like hit his face and fall to the ground? Yeah, they hit your, your face. So do you, you want to try to catch them when they hit your face, or what are you doing? No, they just hit my face. <laughs> They just roll uh, off so of your face, roll off of it just, like, into the ground. I'm gonna like snatch them out of the air, just like real quick with like magic and like bring them over and start like and just like open them up. You wanna and... snatch them? You gonna accio them too? Uh, I guess I'm a I'm accio them. Well, her accio, accio of getting them out of the car was six, so I'll make yours three. What is that charm? It's flight. Flight. Okay. Or yeah. Uh, six and. That's not a D6. D10. I was not expecting to be high for a session. <laughs> but here's where we are, you know. Uh, yeah, you got that's, it. That's a seven. You got it. So you pull oh, it over to you guys. It explodes. Oh, yeah. Pull it, uh, so that's a 11. Okay, you still, no, pull a it. <laughs> you still pull it over. <laughs> yeah, and I, I like uh, hand one to uh, J first. Yeah, so I'm going to have you go ahead and roll a D20. Me? Yeah, just roll a d20. It's getting interesting. It's uh, a nat one. Ooh, no. <laughs> you try to hand him a bean, 
And you drop the entire thing and it spills on the ground. No. Uh, I thought it was going to be a shitty beat. <laughs> <laughs> you can put them all back I, in with magic, though. I'm too inebriated to just hand him a beat. No, you fa you got a nat 1 on a d20. I wasn't... You can put it back in with magic. For? It was going to be, I have a series of which bean you get, but I made you drop them, so... You can try to put it back uh, in with magic. Yeah, I'm gonna try and like uh, quickly just like grab them all and just put them back. You can in. just put them back in. I'm just gonna say you do. Okay. Um, go ahead and do it again. Like a little, little protein. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set it down and then roll it because obviously rolling it while I was holding it was not a thing. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Um. Yeah, you pull out a green bean out of there. And let me just roll for it's like a literal like green bean. J. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a green jelly bean, and I uh, roll for J. J puts the bean in his mouth and he goes, Lime. <sighs> Good. Mm, lime. Nice solid flavor. Hell yeah, lime. Good stuff. Pippa Pippa, do you want Pippa, do you want one? Uh, and she's like, Yeah, sure. So Pippa rolls. Pippa gets up. Pippa pulls out a blue one, um, and she takes a bite of it, and she goes, Ah, blueberry. Ah, so nice. So delightful. Uh, I'm gonna take one out. You're gonna take one? Go ahead and roll a d20. Are you accuing a bean? Uh, 12. Bean. You pull out a red one. Roll a d10. Me? Or him? No, him. Uh, uh it's a uh, five. Yeah, uh, you... You put that bean in your mouth, and you immediately feel the unmistakable taste of just raw meat, just filling, yeah. filling your face. Oh yeah, <laughs> just like just like raw like beef, raw just like beef. Yeah, like as if ground beef, as if you just bitten into a hunk of ground beef. Like oh, it's like a hot dog, but worse. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> uh, Kim, are you accuing a bean? I'm gonna roll over onto my side and be like, "So here is the question, right? What is the? How does accio really work when you think about it? Is it if you're specific with something that you don't even know if it is there or it function? Accio cinnamon bean. And I'm gonna try and accio gonna... specifically a <laughs> cinnamon bean. <laughs> um. And okay. As yeah. As soon as he says that, I immediately just take a fat rip. <laughs> So you Accio the cinnamon bean. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a... We said Accio was flight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or was Accio bra... I don't remember. It was flight. Yeah, I go ahead and that. Accio it. What do you I have, 12? it depends on how big of a thing it is. Yeah, it's just a bean. Um, I don't know. It's just a bean. But you're trying to get a specific bean. I'm trying to get a specific bean. What if there's no, bean. I don't know, like a... So six? then maybe like a brain. Maybe a brain. Maybe a brain. Get, What's your brain? Brain is high. <laughs> brain is twenty. Shit. Well, still give me a seven. Fuck it. On the I brain. Yeah. And this is magic, so. As your magic die. Nineteen. Plus three. So that's twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Um. On. That's a success of over fifteen. Um. You not only accio every cinnamon bean out of that box, you also have accidentally accioed every cinnamon bean out of every other box of these that Nate has in his truck, which is only, like, four other boxes, but that's still, like, six beans per box. So you are cinnamon pelted bean. by cinnamon <laughs> beans, like, just <laughs> across you. This is so fascinating. That's this fucking tight. Everything I know about Ack. About Ack? Oh, you just pass out. <laughs> Yeah, fully. Um, I don't even get to yeah. get a chance to eat the be the fucking bean. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. Like, you remember the I first time when he fucking this? smoked piss? <laughs> yeah, and something about like that. I want to put this somewhere. Well, it's fine. Um, yeah, so you guys are all kind of chilling in the woods. Tiberius, are you still alive? Is he still alive? Yes. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> What are you doing at the common room? Uh, who all's there? It's Charlie and Thorin. It is Charlie and Thorin, yeah. I just sit by them silently, roll up another cigarette. Is this like, 
Is this cool cowboy silence, or is this sad everyone's mad at me on my first day of school silence? I think it's a little bit of both, mm -hmm. and my reasoning of not joining you all is, uh, they're not my friends. Mm -hmm. I'm against marijuana, but for nicotine, for tobacco. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So I figured I would probably be with the people that I consider friends. What kind of stuff are you guys talking about? I don't, weren't they playing Truth or Dare? They what were playing were they, Truth or Dare, but everybody left. What were they doing when I came back? Uh, they were just kind of talking about, like, Quidditch and, like, the year and what they're excited for in their class. It's just, like, kind of normal first day. But everyone's getting kind of tired because it's getting late. It's, like, 10. Yeah, I'm just going to ask... Uh, how was your first day? To both of them. Charlie's like... It was really exciting to see my little brothers get sorted into Gryffindor. I'm, I'm really happy that that they're going to be with us this year. That's that's really exciting. I'm happy you're happy. I was a little um, bit of a mess earlier. Some would say a dick. That someone would be me. And well, I apologize to you, Charlie. But thank you. You're about the only person that's going to get an apology. Thorin, you and I are homies. I, I have not wronged you a day No, I in got my you, life. girl. You know I got I, you, girl. So. Thorin and. Just would like. <laughs> Tiberius is the wildest duo, dude. Holy <laughs> shit. They're besties. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, Tiberius's use of the Q word has nothing to do with sexuality. Right. It's simply. It's it weird. is simply an insult. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I'm ex I'm excited for this year too. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. How are you feeling about uh, Madame Castle? You mean Castair? Well, you know, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Right. Yeah. No. Uh, she's cool. She seems chill. I kind of feel bad that her parents didn't give her any clothes to like bring, <laughs> but yeah, I, we got it. I saw her come in on that carriage and it made me wonder what was going on with that carriage you know and charlie's like yeah what was going on with that it's really weird i, I have a theory that i cannot confirm but it cannot be denied now who comes in on a carriage right either royalty or rich folk i'm thinking there might have been a fall from grace you're thinking what uh -huh. makes you think that well Mostly the carriage. Would Tiberius have any? Yeah, remember it was like shitty. Uh, did Ty would Tiberius have any knowledge carriage, of like though. other schools and their traditions and stuff? Does he care at all? Um. Well, I'm. I've traveled the world, so like, even would if you I know didn't about care, Bobans? maybe not to the extent where. Uh, Cam knows about Hogwarts, but my parents have spoken about it every time we've been in France. Your parents have probably made a mention to you of how Bo Battens uses Pegasus-drawn carriages for all of their transportation of all students. Hmm. You know, now that I have pondered over the great question of royalty or not... They normally wouldn't be that shitty of carriages. But... Well... Do I know about the expulsion? Was I in earshot for that? I th that was after the Dumbledore incident. And right. I think we were talking in a group, in the room. So yeah. Yeah, I think he would have If you heard. were listening, yeah. yeah, I would say you definitely would know. Now, if there... One thing I know about the French is they're a bit dramatic. When you expel a person, you want to shame them. And I think there's some shaming going on. That would make sense, yeah. That would totally make sense. And as for the lack of clothing, I do not have a clue. The, Charlie the French, just goes, they're not Charlie as bad goes, as the Indians. Sometimes I didn't have a lot of clothing growing up, so... I mean, you never know what someone's situation is like. You know. Did they not provide more robes there? Or you think they, they quite literally different. stripped you don't know. her? You don't... <laughs> <laughs> Thorin's trying really hard not to laugh. Uh, Charlie's like, I, I really don't know 
Um, but I think that it's Caster's personal business, and if if she wants to tell us about it, I think she'll tell us. About it. You know that that is mighty sweet of you, but you know that ain't how it works. But I respect <laughs> your diplomacy. I respect your political ass kissing, and I, that that's about that. Both time periods. <laughs> so, uh, Thorne and Charlie both kind of agree with you, and they're like, "Listen, man, like." We're gonna head off to bed. I'm just really tired. And Thorne's like, yeah, I'm really tired. And, like, classes start tomorrow. I have, like, a 9 a.m. Um, so we should probably go. Um, but, I mean, yeah, do your thing. Whatever you want to do. And they both leave and go into the dorm. Dude, I'm going to bed. You head there, too. Um, yeah. Are you guys done chilling in the forest? I think uh, I, I am in bed now. But not necessarily well, in the dorm. Like <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. What's, are you staying uh, out like all night? Well, what's like uh, Charlie and uh, Pippa's vibe? Uh, Jay and Pippa do? are just or chilling, Jay, but they sorry. they want to go back and go to bed. Yeah, that's that's chill with me. We're, we're gonna go put their dice tower in the middle. <laughs> sorry. Okay. We're gonna um, head on back. Yeah, you guys head on back. Are you gonna try to sneak back or? Um, I think yeah. Uh, I think now it's kind of like we're just kind of you know vibing along, and I'm gonna just try and be a little more. Uh, cautious about it. Okay. Um, go too fast or anything. Do you like want to do a magic about it or just do it? Um, it's really I, late at this point. Yeah. So no one's up. I, would, I don't think I would bother. Yeah, I would say you guys just go bed. and you're fine. Uh, yeah, you guys get back to bed, go to bed, and everything. Um, Cam, when you get back into your uh, your room, you see that all your. I guess I'll like carry. You. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I was gonna say, do you like leave my shoes attached to your <laughs> roof, the roof to of your van? Your... Oh, to the roof of your. Uh, I, I mean, have they like worn off at this point? I don't. What uh, do you think they'd unfix when I became unconscious? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I'll probably just like have. There your is shoes. a. Yeah, there's a charm on the <clears throat> door that prevents Nate from entering the girls' dormitory. You can just throw uh, me in. I mean, I guess you can't know that, but like. <laughs> Do I think uh, Pippa would be, like, stout enough to carry? Pippa, yeah, Pippa can totally. She's, like, volleyball player build. Like, okay. she's she's got... I'll be like, uh, I reckon you'll take her from here. <laughs> yeah, I, I got her. I got her for sure. And Pippa kind of guides you with your arm. You can still, like, walk. You wake up. You know, it's like they're guiding you in. Um, and they put you back in your room. You, you see that all of your belongings and your raven have all been arranged at a bed for you everything's already um laid out so are you, you just gonna pass best, out best sleep of your life this was my yeah. scene just, <laughs> the all right everyone goes to bed anything anyone needs to do i'm just i'm all right i'm going straight to bed so everybody heads off to sleep uh you get up in the morning there is a bell signifying that it is time to go to breakfast um Kim, when you wake up, you what? Do, how, how do you feel about yesterday's activities when you wake up? It was definitely a thing where, like, I wake up and immediately I'm like, oh, I've had talks with people about impulsive behavior, and I should not have done that. But that was dope, right. and I enjoyed it, and I don't regret it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you get up and you see, you now with more clarity can see that there is a set of full... They're full dress set of Hogwarts robes oh, that's available great. for you. Um, I'm with putting the on the ones colors. Thorin made, for sure. For sure. The, the ones Thorin made are super cool because they're like a light blue, not mm. the Ravenclaw blue. So they're yeah. like super unique. Um, so yeah, you get up and you also see that that briefcase that Alistair, or that Alistair, that Tiberius gave you is also sitting with all your Oh yeah, belongings. I'm going to check that because there was something fucky with that. Yeah, so you just want to open it? I'm gonna open it and there was like a specifically like a stitch that was weird or something like that yeah so inside the case um there's a side of the leather or like a felt like lining that's mm -hmm. peeled back a little bit but only a little mm. so what do you want to do to it <laughs> so it just looks like loose material right it looks like I don't know how to do this. Like, it's not like I can see past it and into, like, it's the like void. It's like a corner of, like, the felt. So it's like, like this is the bag. bag. Mm -hmm. And then, like, it, it's like the felt is like this. It's, like, mm. folded down, and it's like, it looks like it has 
it's just like it's just like that right i'm gonna pull at it a little bit because i want to like savor the peelies you know what i mean yeah. a little bit so you start to peel it back and while you're peeling you see the teeniest little corner of a slip of paper inside it hmm i'm gonna grab that I'm just gonna yeah um to, you're gonna try to pull it out mm-hmm so what you when you have to pull it, you do have to kind of rip the felt more. But you rip the That's felt fine. off more. Mm-hmm. You pull out, and it's just like a letter. It's just like a folded up parchment. It's uh, it's not sealed, but there was a seal on it, mm-hmm. and it's just been like opened and kind of crumbled as if someone was like, "I need this, but I don't need this to be like in my desk," you know? Right. That's intriguing. Uh, I guess I'll unfold it and read it. Yeah. Um. So you open up the letter. And, um, it's kind of got, not, not ransom note energy, but, like, kind of, it's got, like, serious energy to it. Like, it's like, oh, this is definitely something important. Um, it says, you can see that as it's gone along, at the bottom, there's a bunch of stuff scratched out, and the letter is not signed. So, um, I guess, I don't know if I should make you roll. To like, like figure out. I'll who just say, signed it. I'll just say, you get the impression that this is a first draft of a letter that actually was sent, because oh. this one is unsigned and there are errors crossed out in like ink, like scratched out. Well, like, what does it um, say? So the part that it's the part that you can read. Obviously, a lot of it's been scratched out. Mm-hmm. Um, what you can read says, "We will not be able to fulfill your request at this time, um, but we will." Um, We'll be able to renegotiate uh, a different deal in the spring to maybe hopefully address your needs better. At this time, we don't have the ability to construct something of that magnitude. Um, we're sorry for any inconvenience this may have caused. Construct? They're building the fucking Death Star or some shit? Like, what the hell? Uh, so this came from... So it's morning and everyone's waking up. Uh, can I, like, go and try and find Tiberius? Like, I'll get changed first, get, like, ready, but... Yeah, so you get dressed and you leave Tiberius. Uh, are you just getting up for, for breakfast like everybody else? Yeah. Yeah, so you're just sitting in the common room. Would you be maybe waiting for Cam to come down so you can, like, escort her to breakfast so she can see, like, what to do in the day? Yeah, I probably would. Yeah, so you wait for her, Cass, you come down and you see Tiberius sitting waiting for you. Yes, uh, good morning. A uh, very fun night last night. Uh, question. I found this in the bookcase that you uh, gave me. Does the handwriting look familiar at all? Let me take a gander at that. Do I know? Are you going to make me roll? Let me think really quick. It kind of looks like your dad's handwriting. But not really. Like a little. Now, I-, I would say it resembles my papa's handwriting. Do you want to do a roll? Sure, why not? Go and roll a brains. Uh, what's your brains? I think it's, what, a d6 plus one. Yeah, no, it's just d6. This isn't that complicated. Just give me, like, a four. Un segunda, por favor. Nat one. Mm. You have no fucking clue. You're like, I mean, the A kind of looks like an A my dad might write. Hmm. This is very intriguing. Uh, do, would you have any clue as to, like, what this letter is about or who it would be afforded to? Is there, like, a two on this letter? Who would make concern? Oh, great. But it was going to like the quidditch people now where'd you find this uh, the the briefcase was going to that was told right. they were told to take the briefcase to whoever's running quidditch this year was his, exactly what he said which would be um who tried right? it was rolanda yeah okay. uh i found i it can't in- say her last <laughs> <laughs> i mean madam hooch madam hooch <laughs> madam madam hooch uh, 
I found it in uh, the back of the briefcase under, like, behind is, like, sort of tucked in the, like, lacing, the fabric. Uh, so I found it odd, you know? Uh, you you well, see. Well, color me perplexed, but see. based on the wording, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you no, off. No, no, go ahead. I was just going to say. Uh, would you take offense to me saying that your parents seem a touch shady? Oh, so shady. I thought you said shitty. <laughs> now, oh. <laughs> let me tell you. They're like sitting under a tree. See, I thought you might say that. Uh, I respect it. Uh, weird. Weird. But what I, what I do understand is... Uh, it is most likely referring to the brooms as to, you know, the family business. Could it be referring to something else? I do not know. But I do know that the materials required to make a polished oak product are rare. It is top of the top. It goes through many inspection processes. And, uh, quite frankly... For a reason, though. Well, I wouldn't have old Bones here if it wasn't for it. Thanks, Bones. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tiberius, does the does the qualifications of them saying like the request that you are wanting we can't meet at this time? Like, does that ring a bell to anything of like something that your parents' company would be doing? Like. Well I know it takes months upon months because it's a handmade process. Like, every mm -hmm. broom is handmade. What I'm inspected. mainly getting at is, do you want to inform Castair that your parents make, like, custom brooms that can, like, do whatever? Is that not known? Is like, it known to Cass? Do you I don't, know anything her, about her their company? Brand, her I there's don't a different, love There's a different luxury... Uh, we're making company also in France. Like, there's there's mm -hmm. multiple. And my grandmother had one, but it wasn't like a good one. It was like the bottom of the line in the uh, 40s. So like. So my thinking is like today to buy the cheapest Rolls Royce would be a Rolls Royce Ghost, and that has a base price of two hundred fifty thousand, basically. Mm. Right. So in my mind, like the bottom of the bottom is still. I will also say, yeah. without giving away a lot, I don't know if my grandmother would have paid for one. You know what I mean? She may not have paid for one. Yeah, she might have just had huh. one. I, I don't think I'd know that. Right. Um, you yeah. just told me she had one, so I'm assuming. So she Cam, was do you think bitch. Cam, do you think you would know? I don't that know. That polished oak those. makes like custom shit. I mean, I know all you I would know, know that. is that like. It's a very much a rich people broom. So I think hearing that they do make custom shit would not be surprising. But I don't think that's like a factoid I know. You know what I mean? Tiberius, do you want to tell her that or not? Yeah, I will. Well, y you see, each broom is, is custom to order. To an extent, when you go up the line, uh, the amount of customization also goes up. For example, the top of the... If there were to be a top of the line one, it would take over a year. Mm. Handcraft, perhaps. Who would? So it is. The old. letter is dated 1989 or 1988. So there would. It's would, it's dated like fall. It's like October 1988. So there would be one in production. If there was an order field, there would be one around now. But there evidently was not an order field. Who? So now. We wouldn't send the top of the line here to Hogwarts. Let, let's be honest, it's going to be a bunch of kids. That's this cool. is more of, uh, so of, of a said, goodwill because I'm said, a little shit. It said spring, right? Would we may be able to talk about it with you again next spring. So that would have been spring okay. of this current year. Yes, yeah, so that mm -hmm. would already happened. So... If they were to, if whoever, whatever this is talking about, if they, that situation had occurred next spring, we wouldn't necessarily know because the letter does, is 
seemingly older than that next spring, which was like six months ago. But to gather the resources in that short amount of time, that bit fishy, wouldn't you say? Well, yes, but money talks, like you said. It, what money, what magic cannot do, money does. Right, but you, you can't buy. I mean, you can buy quality. That's what polished oak is. You're, you're purchasing quality. <laughs> well, but you can't buy yeah. quality. I when when you go to find them, right? Exotic materials, and it's the best of the best. We had to send a poor old Esmeralda the elf down to El Salvador. You ever hear of that place? Is that uh, no? Yeah, neither have I until, until Esmeralda. We had to send her down there. She spent, I think the bitch was taking a vacation, don't get me wrong, but she spent time there. Well, I tell you what. I'm curious about this, but Why don't also, we just ask, uh, Madam Hooch? That's what right? I was thinking, like, right? It was and going to Madam Hooch. It's because I'm mostly just curious if there was someone here who has a, a very expensive Polish dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I was sure she would know to work with the Quidditch team, so I would... Maybe after breakfast and classes, we could go and ask her. So, on Monday, you guys actually don't have any classes. Nate's the only one with classes Ooh. today. Where is he? Where you at, Nate? Uh, I was probably, uh, getting dressed. And stuff. You come I down right now, while they're talking? Um, yeah, I'll say I'll be moseying my way down. Yeah, so you come down, Laundry. you see them talking about stuff, um, you just tell them to eat, like, tell them let's go eat, or do you wanna, do you give a like shit about is. what they're doing? Uh, I just kinda like, what's up, and... Like keep heading towards breakfast. Cool. I'll probably like start walking alongside him as well, like heading to breakfast, because I probably am hungry now. Down. You see everybody. Pippa and Jay are like, guys. Last night was so fun. Everybody's just kind of talking. I don't know why well, I yeah, put so a pickle in my mouth right before I did. What did you say, Nick? I uh, said, so yes. I asked him like, how was the surprise? It was so much fun. But like now we have time to focus on classes, guys. This is Thorin. He's like, he's like, we can't be doing that every single night. I know we're gonna want to, but we we have to study. We got work to do. Like this is serious, serious oh. classes. Of Charlie course. is like, like he doesn't know what happened. He just knows you guys left. Thorin so he's also just, he's just kind of like, no, you totally told him. Oh, he's chill. Did I not tell Charlie? No, Charlie would oh. not like that. He's like, you guys, Thorne's like, you guys really need to be studying, like, you you can't be going off and doing that. Do not worry, Thorne. I, I would not come, I, it's such a good opportunity to come to Hogwarts, I will not waste it all at being inebriated. Uh, Just, I'm like, let me know the next time you go, because I'll totally go next time. But, I, I, all the time? Br I breached up, out, up into the tower with on my broom and I shouted, Thorin, come with us, and you did not come. I just met, I didn't want to go last time because I was scared you guys were going to get in trouble. That but clearly you guys know how to do it. That is understandable. I do not, I do not worry about you, Thorin. I put my hand on his shoulder. <laughs> I, I, I gave him like, like friendship shake. He gives you like, <laughs> like I just kind of shake him hug, a little bit. side hug. Yes, absolutely. Um, and don't yes, be touching guys... Thorin, he don't like your kind. Was that this okay? I did not like I his mean... killer and all the Isa. Uh <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Man. I but that is okay. Uh breakfast. Yeah, so you guys go down, you have breakfast, yada yada yada. Do you guys want to do anything during breakfast? Eat. Just eat. eat yeah, so you guys eat. Um Nathan Nathan Goth is gonna chick. Yeah, Nathan's eyeball goth chick. Um so yeah, uh we can either Nate and uh, or not Nate, Cass and Tanner can go talk to Rolanda, or Nate can go to class. Whatever we want to do first is fine. I'm I'm good either way. Do you want to just flip a coin? Because I I'll I'm flip a coin. Go. I'll be heads. The coin Helps. is going to be a d20, and anything above uh, ten is going to be eleven or higher is me. Yeah, eleven or higher is me. It is a four. Oh. Well. So, uh, Rolanda is gonna be, she's off first period, so you guys can talk to her during first period. You can just go right after. Yeah, absolutely. She's gonna, gonna go be that. out in the courtyard. Um, do I have courtyard music? I thought I did. So, is this, you like... You go out in the courtyard and talk to her. I was gonna say, is this, like, happening chronologically at the same time as Nate's classes? They're, these things are gonna be happening at the exact same time. Okay, that's what I was wondering. 
Uh, yeah, Rolanda's is... out in the courtyard prepping the brooms for the first year's first day of flying. That starts the second period. Hello, madame. Kester! I don't remember what accent I gave her. Kester! How are you doing? I am just dandy. Uh, two questions. Uh, one, when is the sign up for the Quidditch? And is it in uh, Anyone? You do not need to sign up. It is on September 22nd, which is next Friday. Okay, I also remember this in Monkit. I'm going to write that down in my shit, uh, my journal. Uh, also, you won't forget. question, uh, do you know if anyone here owns a polished oak broom? Polished oak broom? I, I, I highly doubt it. Uh, if Tiberius here does not have one, I can't imagine anyone at this school has one. I mean, See, Dumbledore may have one as a keepsake or a gift from someone in his office, but it's not like we would use something like that on the team. You know, those things are built more for luxury than for speed, for competition, you know? That is interesting. Uh, I was just curious. Uh, that is all for me. Uh, now, uh, now, Miss Hooch. Miss Hooch. Yes, Tiberius. You were aware that we were sponsoring the team. Two parents have been a very, very loyal sponsor for the last years. years. Right, right. So, I, I need you to take a look at this. Take a gander, and I need your opinion. And I'm not going to leave here without an honest answer. Something's fishy. Hey, can, okay, you hand, can you hand? Can you hand? Oh, is he not? Oh, no. yes. Sorry. Uh, uh, I, uh, I hand her the 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 letter. Yeah, she takes a letter from you, uh, she reads it, and she goes, I... I'm not sure what this is about. Is this... something school-related? I'm not sure. Well, you know, the, the, the briefcase that, uh... That, that Andre that dropped, just... we spoke about that yesterday. Yes, I... Yes, yeah, I understand. Yes, this, this was in that briefcase. And as the head of... I'm not sure. Department, you you teach, you, you handle all the brooms. Yes. Uh, you and I are well aware of the time it takes to produce a polished oak. Yes. Uh, you're well aware that we're sponsoring the team, so you you must have put in the order. I can assure you, my budget for the Quidditch team and the flying classes would not even cover a single polished oak. All right, this ain't about alone budget. An entire team. This hey, ain't about budget. We're Tiberius. We're this given. Is, this is your father's case, no? Could it I be, assume so. It was it, given to me. Could it be that he maybe just put it in there so that he would not uh, have the copy anymore? But then you would think, why not, like, destroy it? But, like, perhaps it is accidental that it was going to be shipped to Hogwarts in the first place. You think it's a magical piece of paper? That is a good question. I'm going to cast Revilio on it. On the paper? Yeah. What is Revilio? Just see, like, invisible ink? I think so. I look. Uh... Oh, it's in here. Isn't it in here? Yeah, I think we put it in there. And tell me your level of familiarity once you find it. Well, that would be charm, I think. Well, it's not in here, but I know it by name. It's not going to be so, hard. Yeah. Uh... I would probably Give say me it. Like, like I've heard of it. I've read about it. Is it a brains or a charm? Like, what is it? Probably charm would be my guess. Give me like a four on charms. Magic die. Exactly a four. Yeah, so you wave your wand in front of the paper. You kind of do this whole revealio thing and the paper floats up above your hands a little bit and... Does not change in any. In any See, I was, I was worried that, that might be the case. I do not know. Maybe this is the mystery we must, we must solve in time. Uh, Rolanda says, if you believe this is something extremely significant, you can bring it to the headmaster or, or Miss McGonagall or something like that. I mean, if it seems urgent to me, it seems like a business transaction. I mean, it, it doesn't seem. That okay, you, you incredibly might incredibly important, but I mean, I could be wrong. Do you know the yeah. amount of money we were sponsoring? You know, every member, able bodied member of the Gryffindor team was going to have a polished oak. You know how much money that costs. I understand. Um, 
these these kind of things are beyond my control. For something like that, I would not be I would not be the person that would be placing an order of that of that. Do you kind. have any idea who if, if you were in my shoe, would if you're in my boots? Is it, Sorry. Uh, yeah. field, would that be Fieldstrom or Dumbledore? That would place an order of that magnitude? It would probably be I mean, to be something that you... I mean, Tiberius, your parents are prolific broom makers. To, to produce something that would be beyond the scope of them and needed to be renegotiated, I can't imagine our school having a use for something of that magnitude. I mean, we use brooms for Quidditch. It's just a sport. It's not like they need to be Jesus. fancy. Just a sport. Just a sport. Madam See, Hooch, you Madam, out of all people. I, I am the coach. You out of uh, that's He's exactly what I mean. Just a sport. I mean, I'm Just saying it's not like we need. Food. It's not like <laughs> we need your your crazy like heated brooms or your disguising. Bro we don't need any of those kind of things. We just need brooms that fly. That's why your parents have created a model for the students that is less expensive. Tiberius, I have an idea about this that I might be able to uh, execute in my next uh, divinity class. So perhaps that might be uh, a thing to do if we do not find a sooner option. Uh, also, of course, we would talk to Dumbledore see if he would know anything. Dumbledore seems like the type to just know things. You know, you, you know what I mean? Um, it's so, just like goes like, hmm, yeah. So that might be also an option. I, I apologize for intruding so uh, thusly, Madame Huge. No, oh, you're fine, you're fine. I'm just preparing for class. That is on, uh, yes, Hooch, I do not apologize for my intrusions, but I, I am thankful for everything I have expected that from do. you for the last five years. It's not, not a problem. Are you surprised? God bless. I am surprised you are not a Slytherin. No, no offense. It's just the vibe I get. I'm gonna get back to my class. And she just kind of walks away. Cool. Speaking, who are you speaking to? You, Tiberius. Well, I'm a bit shook at that myself, I would say. My father was... Papa was Slytherin. I myself expected to be one, but the cookie didn't crumble that way. The Sultan Hat works in mysterious ways now. Well, uh, even money can't figure that some bitch out. <laughs> it's not easy, it's only a beach. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna <laughs> just walk back into. Yeah, into yeah you guys world. don't have any classes today, so um, there is one thing that's gonna be going on. Um, Later. So if you guys wanted to go talk to Dumbledore, you can try so to question. find him. Uh, kind of out of game question. How late are we wanting to go? I don't care. Cool. Does anyone need to go to bed? Not really. I don't. Cool. I'm good. Nate's in the bathroom. So I have a little. Yeah, I have more. Cool. I'm not totally good. Nope. Do we, while he's in the bathroom, do you want to do that? I I didn't know he was gone. I was going to say we should probably switch it over to him. Yeah, let's but... do that real quick. Uh, yeah, you guys can go to Dumbledore while you're gone. Yeah, while let's, let's just truck down uh, Dumbledore. Where would you like to look for him? Oh, Dumbledore! <laughs> Accio Dumbledore. Hmm. You ever think of that? You ever think about Accio, the great... Dumbledore. Uh, let's see if I can get either a cool spell or an adversity token out of this. Uh, well, wait a sec. Let me light up a cigarette and see if he magically. Hell yeah. Uh, shit. You light up a cigarette, he does not appear. Damn it. I'm going to try to, like... I'm going to take a piece of paper out, write Dumbledore on it, fold it into a paper airplane, and, like try and cast like a homing spell or something on the airplane and then just chuck it. Okay. And then I'm just going to try to follow the airplane. <laughs> That's going to be a brains, I guess. Have you ever done it before? Nope. This is on the spot. 14. This is your first homing spell? Probably. When are, when are you going to use cool. a homing spell? I don't know. At home. <laughs> Well, <laughs> how much you say? Fourteen. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna take another adversity token then, because I got a okay. eight. Um, uh, yeah, you make it, you? and it literally sails straight up into the air, and you never see it again. Well, 
He's perished. <laughs> uh, you can give diversity tokens, but you'd have to get to 14, so that would be a lot. Yeah, it's not oh. worth it. I'd rather... Plus, I... Kind of just collecting adversity tokens right now for when we need them. How many do you so, have? Seven. Do you want them physically on the board? I've just been keeping track of them in my uh, doc, like my Google doc. So either way is fine. I think the best place to look, like if we were going to search without doing anything, would be his tower. That is probably accurate, yeah. Because it's like midday. He got so zooted last night as well. So where is I don't know about that. that Madam Castle, I think your own zootness done zooted your brain. Now Dumbledore never gets zooted not once in his life. You know, is that this correct? Uh also, let's say hypothetically. Doesn't he seem an easy type? You know, a little bit. He's very, really, you know, gung-ho. I, I wouldn't say he would get zooted on campus, necessarily. But he is very really gung-ho, very fly by the CC to be so impetaled. You, you, you wearing a wire there? Uh, is, is this a trap? Is this entrapment? You can cast Vidite no. and Cantatum on her if you want. I no, to myself. that's too much work. <laughs> uh, no, uh, that, that's okay. I, I'll take it at your word. I'm just saying he seems like the type. I don't. I'm not saying he got high or anything, but he just seems like the type that maybe we would get high. Let's go to his tower. Uh, I'm gonna start walking. <laughs> yeah, you guys can go to the tower. Um, would I have to lead the way? <laughs> Are you like? I start walking. Exactly. I start walking. I don't know the way necessarily. <laughs> I actually, you want to make your a uh, one eighty. You are so correct, and I go turn the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fully at your mercy directionally. I don't know. I'm just gonna make my way there. I so you guys head up to the tower. Uh, you see a giant bronze, bronze, a giant uh, like marble statue of a phoenix. Uh, that's the door. There's a different password every day. So I'm back. Hello. Uh, just gonna knock on the door. Just gonna knock on the on the like on the pigeon. Mm -hmm. Or the pigeon, the phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> just Sorry. A painting of bones. Um, <laughs> you hey, knock hey, on bones. it, and the the phoenix's eyes just glow. So it's like waiting for a password. Zoot it. Nothing happens. Doombledore. <laughs> Nothing happens. Well, shit, I tried my best. Cam, do you try anything? Give me a moment. Uh, we set the phoenix on fire. It's, That's... it's marble. I mean, uh, you can try. What, I probably wouldn't know that, like, this thing rotates when it, like, opens, right? Not uh, unless you knew something. I mean, I don't think so. I don't think I would know that either, unfortunately. Um... Just try something. I'm just gonna try like a like. I'm gonna try. <laughs> you can just say a password. I'm gonna try and cast like oh. a truth spell on the. Well, I guess it can't talk, so that wouldn't even work. I, I'm just gonna try like an. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Alohomora the statue. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know, Alohomora Dumbledore's statue. Yeah. It's gonna be a brawn because you're gonna turn the entire staircase and it's gonna be a. A what? what? A nine. A nine. Three, and then magic die, which is the same die. It explodes, so four, five, six, seven. Eight. I will give you one adversity token oh. if I'm able to do that. You're a champ. Yeah, so you, you cast a Lohomora on this statue. Um... And it start it slowly just starts to open. Um, and as you as it spins, you see that it's like a spiral staircase being revealed from behind this like wall. Um, and as you spin it open, you see Dumbledore standing at the bottom of the stairs, holding his wand, uh, opening it. Ah, <laughs> that's that tracks. Howdy, uh, Dumbledore. Hello, uh, Monsieur bon uh, Dumbledore. Students, how are you? Uh, no classes today. Uh, no, not the first day. Uh, one of our oh, friends. exciting! A first day off, exciting. Very much so. The, uh, we had grand time last night. Uh, we were exciting. Good, I'm glad. 
Do you know of anyone with a polystock broom here? In Hogwarts, I mean. My goodness, I mean, other than the, the student versions that the, that uh, Tiberius, your family, has kindly uh, loaned to us every year for, for the other uh, Quidditch teams, uh, an actual official polished oak, I, I can't imagine so. I can't imagine anyone has it, unless a student has somehow brought one this year. That is understandable. I, I wondered. Uh, we just found a mysterious letter, and I have a nat I'm a naturally a curious. Mysterious letter? May see, I read it? See, right? This is why I'm very curious. Uh, here, I hand the letter to him. Uh, he reads the entire thing. As he's reading, he goes like this. He's like... See, my thought was maybe I could take it to a uh, divination class and see if I could, like, divine about it, but I do not know what the best option would be letter i have no idea what it means but it is very very interesting indeed it, it gives me a hint of mystery see it's I, do suggest taking it, I do suggest taking it to you to sybil trelawney i do not recognize this handwriting i do not i do suggest you take it to miss trelawney i believe you do have her class later this week i do i would suggest bringing it to her seeing if she can <laughs> divine anything from it. Ha, ha, I see what you did there, Dumbledore. It's like divination. It's like you should understand. I love that this Dumbledore I have a personal like... question. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, Cam. I was going to say, yeah, you this Dumbledore curious. is like at the corner of uh, Egg Fort. You know what I mean? <laughs> like... Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, what were you going to say, Albie? Now, I understand we use wands here. Mm -hmm. Well, I may have come into possession of an authentic cowboy revolver, so I was wondering if we could somehow take the wood from my wand and put it in the handle, and I, I could use that, because I'm obviously not going to bring no bullets here. That would be of course, a of mistake. Course. So I was wondering, can, can I somehow make this here my wand? I think, I think it is, I think it is possible. Well, would you allow this, first and foremost, Mr. Dumbledore? I would have to consult, consult with McGonagall. She is mainly the head of all the rules. I don't really do the rules in this place. Uh, I will consult with her and get back to you. Can you put in a good word? I will put in a good, good word. word for you, Tiberius. Yeah, you, will, you might see a polished oak your way. I'm I will not, have an I'm answer. Not gonna I, I don't need a bribe. I, I, I... <laughs> I will have an answer for you by the end of the week. That's I love you, Dumbledore. He goes. Uh, Tiberius, do you mind if I speak with uh, the headmaster alone for a moment? Hey, okay, knock yourself out. Uh, I'm gonna go up to. Uh, I'm gonna wait for him to be out of your shot. Uh, hello. <laughs> oh yeah, do you move stuff? Okay. Well. I knew that hello was a different hello. Thanks, Mom. There's uh, a strange woman entering the ca <laughs> camera. Um, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna lean like closer in a very like trying to be cool about it and is not cool about it way and be like, so uh, Dumbledore, I uh, I was there in the room the other, uh, last night and I was you know, it was yeah, cast out. I understand that my previous work of magic has not affected you because of a issue with the sorting hat the and the method in which we have done this. I trust you will not tell us all. Dumbledore, I would never <laughs> snitch on you. <laughs> Dumbledore looks extremely scared. <laughs> I would never snitch oh, on you. Okay, <laughs> I understand. Yes, is that is that all you had for me? Just kind of generally wondering about the vibes of this place because it seems very relaxed, which is not I'm used to. Uh, We're quite chill here. We're quite chill. Very the People opposite kind of, of get away with a lot of shit you wouldn't get away with. So, like, if time. I were to say, just hypothetically, we like dodged curfew and like went out in the middle of the night and got very high on stone, so that would hypothetically not be an issue. <laughs> He, um, he goes, hypothetically, that would be an expellable offense. Well, that is good, because we did not do that. 
<laughs> I I trust I trust you to not. I do. Uh, he just leaves. He straight up walks away from you. <laughs> I, he I'm doesn't gonna, care if you were done. I'm gonna. You gotta love Big D Castle, Madam Castle. Are you guys uh Come done on, doing stuff? Or, yeah. Or do you? Have a <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> Yeah, um, so you guys are kind of heading off on your day. Uh, we're going to flash back earlier in the day to 9 a.m., uh, first period. Nate, uh, how are you feeling about getting to class? You getting right in there? Are you going to show up a little late? Is it is potions, 9 a.m. Potions? Mm-hmm. I'm not taking potions. I think Albie's taking potions. I believe I am, I so I can make I almost hooch. certain that was you. I think Albie takes potions. And then Nate I was is taking... numerology. Albie has 9 a.m. potions. I am so uh, sorry. Albie has 9 a.m. potions during the section of which you guys just did that. Uh, so, so you, you oh, fully wait. did it's potions. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I can just, we can just say, that's just on my part. We can literally just say that, that you guys did that dur like during the second period. Cool. Just shift and, we to the can, and I can down. just take Albie to potions. Cool. What class does Nate okay, have? That's, what that's fun with me. Nate doesn't have any classes on the first oh, day. Nice. I thought it was you and Albie that didn't have any classes on the first day, but it's actually you and Nate. I see. Yeah. Uh, so, back to let me get my. Is there anything you now. wanted to do in that time slot, then, Nate? Yeah. No. It, no. Okay. Um. Yeah. So Albie. Not gonna mosey up to the golf stick. <laughs> I had not checked goth chicks in, in this potions here. class. <laughs> um, this is hilarious because I, I I wasn't thinking that this was going to be for Albie, but I guess it is for Albie. So, um, Albie, are you uh, getting right into class? Are you... Dude, I'm there early. You're there early? I'm there early. So you get to class early, um, and you are seated. Uh, you see a few seats, um... That are, have already had people sitting at them. Do you want to sit uh, by yourself? Do you want to sit with someone who's already there? Um, do I recognize any of the belongings? Victor is there, and Blair is there. Victor uh, is the guy who was. Uh, Victor's the, the vampire. vampire yeah, shit. he's the weird guy. Blair's the goth. Blair's thing, the right? goth girl. Mm -hmm. Well, shit. And if you want there to be somebody else, I can put somebody else in here if you want. It's really not a big deal. No. Um. Where where is Victor sitting and where's Blair sitting? Because whoever's closest to the front, I am going to sit with them. Victor's more in the middle. Blair is like one row ahead of him. Neither of them are in the front, really, or the back. Okay, then I'm I'm probably gonna go with Blair just because yeah. she's a little bit closer to the front. For sure. So, Blair. Ooh. Yeah. So um, you sit down next to Blair and uh, do you know her? Like, at all? Yeah, we're friends, Yeah, you guys we? are friends. Okay, cool. I, I just can't- there's so many people, I can't keep track of it. Um, so she sits down, and she's like, Tiberius, how you doing? Like, what's- what's going on? You know, I, I'm mighty stressed. I'm mighty stressed. Do you but, why? You know, just- just figuring out if- if life as a cowboy is really what I want to do. Don't you tell no one this. Don't you speak of, of this with a soul. Of course, of but, course. I figured I could give a heart to heart because I see the transformation you made. Of course. Thank you. And I was just, what what caused such a drastic change? Was it just a change of heart? Was it a thinking? Was it I just decided, a hey? I decided it was time to reinvent myself. That's okay. Sometimes you know, a wagon can get a new wheel. Sometimes it's needed. Well, we should probably get to making potions. Of course, of course, of course, yes. Uh, by this time, uh, a whole bunch of other people have flooded in, um, and um, Snape is, is at the front of the class. I, we all know him, but I'm going to put him out here anyway. Uh, yes. Yeah, he's he's up at the front of the class. Um, he says, Good morning, students. Um, many of your other classes will start off with a syllabus, but... Um, obviously, as you can see, due to the cauldrons in front of you that are already cooking, we will be brewing on our first day. 
you will be working uh, with your seating partner today, as this recipe does provide enough for two potions if it is done correctly. And he kind of like taps his wand on a kid's desk at the front who's like not paying attention, and the kid's like, he like shoots up, he's like, oh. Um, and he goes, I take care. Um, all right, please take care to do this correctly. It is can have catastrophic consequences if done wrong. I will be teaching you today to brew a memory potion. This potion will improve your ability to recall information. Be aware that using these potions during any exams is strictly prohibited and could be a reason for expulsion from the school. I have already taken the liberty to begin the preparations, as you can see from the stew on your tables. It is a mandrake stew that has been brewing for an hour. It will take till the end of the class to finish this potion. I trust you are all skilled, considering you have made it this far. Uh, please go get a book from the back of the class. And all I want to walk up. up to Snape, though. Yeah, you walk up to Snape. Uh, Professor Snape, I, I really do hate to be doing this, but... A man like you is a man that I need. Mean. Now. I'm sorry, what? Uh, no, don't, don't get your mind out of the gutter, Professor. I do not mean it in that way, shape, or form. Yes. See, I, I, I was talking to uh, uh, Big D earlier. You know, Dumbledore. I've never heard him called that, but I suppose that it could apply. Well, see, <laughs> I... <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> 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 I, I was thinking I myself want to be a better student. It definitely but applies. I, I want to be a cowboy. You, you see the problem. A cowboy. Yes, yeah, you know what a cowboy is. Uh, you're a smart man. So I suppose I was you hoping... may be talking about the ancient American construction of the cow herding man on horseback. Oh, you read comic books too? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's okay. Bless your heart. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> well, see, I want to be a better student, but I. Tiberius, I do not all have the a books wand. are going to be listen, gone. Listen, you need to Blair, proceed Blair to the back is on it. Blair is on it. I need Blair has only gotten word. her book. Next she has not gotten you one. You must go. Wand. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? <laughs> I pull out my revolver. Uh, he immediately just grabs it out of your hand. See, now, there ain't no what bullets is this? in this. Take, this is a revolver. He pops it open, he looks, he says, I'm not sure about this, but I suppose if you got it through here, it is fine. I will listen, be speaking uh, to your head of house about this. Listen, you can speak to any head you want. I spoke to Big D about it, and he was okay. Please, <laughs> please, uh, please <laughs> proceed to the back of the class to pick up your text. Anyway, I just want to make that hand on my wand, so if you could put in a good word for me, I'll go get my uh, book. Yeah, you Thank can you. do, uh, you can, you can, uh, deal with that later. Okay, so you head <laughs> to the back of the class. Uh, Blair has not gotten you a book, because she didn't think about it, because she thought you were gonna get one. Um, and there are only two copies of the book left, so, uh, there, yeah, there's two. Okay, I'm gonna sprint and grab a book. You wanna <laughs> check them out? You wanna, you can have whichever one you want. Oh. I thought it was, like, the same textbook, but... No. You can have whichever one you want. It's the same textbook. You're Is there one in, like, more pristine condition? I don't know. Take a look at them. You can flip them with F. Did Oh, did you spawn the textbooks? What? Oh, did they not come in yet? I don't think they came no. in yet. No. Oh. Well, there's one that's not as good. I can send you guys pictures to the Discord. Try to load them again, too. Here, I'll just load them again. Ah, oh, there it goes. There we go. There's one. Is there only one? Yeah, clearly. Yeah. Shit! Although That's that upsetting. One, that one was that was progress though, because that one wasn't even there before. <laughs> Let me try this one again. There's advanced right. potion making. Ooh. Oh. Oh wait, it said something. Oh, don't put it 
Don't put the corner in the, the DM box. Yeah, that, that might be the <laughs> issue. I think you're putting them in the the box of doom. Okay, well, what well, do you see now? Uh, one is, this book is the property of the Half-Blood Prince. On the back, so I'm gonna take that one. So you take the book? Um, I don't know how small I can make it. I wanted to be able to make it small enough for you to have it on your little thing. Yeah. yeah. There's your book. Okay, cool. So you head up to the to the front of the class again. You sit down in your seat with Glare. Um, he says the recipe is on page seventeen. Uh, you may begin your potion. Blair has already gotten all the ingredients for you guys, so you guys already have everything ready um, on on your table. Um, and it gives you some directions on how to do the the potion. You are in this class of potions, so like you're good with potions. Do you feel like? you're good enough that you just are gonna kind of breeze through this, or what are you kind of thinking? Um, I think Tiberius believes he's the best at everything, but that that's only on the, the outwards, it's his outward appearance, but deep down he knows he needs to pay attention. Yeah. So you open up the book to the page 17, you see the instructions, it's like, it's like melt the peppermint in a beaker and then pour it in while it's liquid and then stir six times and like it's like it's just like a potion it's like uh, mm -hmm. put in four petals until they dissolve and stir before adding them. it's just like a normal potion spell uh or recipe so blair just starts like putting these peppermint candy like they're a little like bat like wrapped up peppermint candy she starts putting them in a little beaker putting it over the fire to melt them down so you guys can pour them in um and yeah and you open up the book and the first line of the potion, um, the melt of melt the peppermint is crossed out, and it says smash and crush into powder instead, written above it in ink. Oh. Hey, hey, Blair, I do believe my book is better than yours. I'm sorry? Why? <laughs> uh Oh, well, as you can see, somebody took the time to handwrite this little note. When do you face the, the, the book? We should probably tell the, the, the professor about this. Uh, listen, listen, I, I agree, but maybe. All right, I think you should do it your way. I'm going to try it this way, but do you think... Do you think we could get extra ingredients in case this is a fuck up? You just want her to, like, get double ingredients? Yeah. Yeah. She's like, like sure. So she goes back and gets more. Brings it back up. Because I'm going to do it the way that my book says. But yeah. if it's... You only have one cauldron. That's shared okay. between the two of you. Oh. Oh, so I have to convince her to do it my way. Okay. Or, I mean, you could, since you have all the double ingredients, you could try to make it later. No. If you want to, for some reason. Blair, I th I think we have to do. Take a look at what it says on the back. This book uh, is the prop. Who is that? I don't know, but it sure sounds important. Sounds important to me. I I really do think we should be telling the professor about this. I think we need to get you a new copy. No, no. All right, all right. I um, mean, I don't. I, know. I, tr I, I trust will keep you. this. I will. I will keep this copy. Can we report? A missing book. Right. Right. Okay. Yes, I understand. She takes the peppermints out of the beaker and starts crushing them the way the book says. Ooh. Blair, I knew I knew you were a hot dog. She gives you a smile. She's like, uh. Oh. Awesome. That's a compliment? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A builder called me a hot dog one day and slapped his knee and then gave me a pat on the back and he meant it as a compliment so how yeah, dude yeah um so do you follow dog. the half-blood prince's instructions like to the t i do yeah um you finish this the the potion right at the end of the class um and blair's like down with it because it's like working super well you see everybody else is having a little bit of trouble it's like not too hard of a potion though um mm -hmm. So, I mean, it has you doing a couple different things, but it's nothing crazy. Um, and you complete the potion by the end of the class, and it is flawless, like, spot on. Um, and Snape comes over. Do you do anything with the book when Snape comes over? Um, no, I feel like if I try to do something, it's gonna Maybe look more suspicious. You can see him, you can see him. He is two tables behind you. He's about to get to your table. Okay, so I think... 
Uh, we're just gonna have Blair's book open, kind of like in between both of us, and okay. Uh, so you should put the other one is... in your bag. Or yeah, something. yeah. Uh, so he walks up and he says, "I see, not following instructions, you didn't even get your own copy, but I looks like you have completed a pretty spectacular potion. Uh, this will be ten points to both Slytherin and Gryffindor, and you guys." kind of see everybody else in the class is like well ours didn't get any points like they're kind of pissed <laughs> um you can see penny haywood at the front of the class who's like super good at everything um and she's like kind of mad like <laughs> she's like i, just, I thought like was pretty good like whatever um, you ain't no hot dog like blair is penny. yeah exactly and uh you get this file of memory potion and you can add that to your inventory Hell yeah. Sick. so i'm just gonna put it on your little side right there that is falling over um, yeah, so after that, I believe you do have a class later. There's something I would like up, to Dan? do in that time yeah, slot. Yeah, so Nathan, you were, uh, I thought you were going to have that book, but now Albie has it, so sorry. Uh, I do want to hunt Nathan down, actually. Uh, not in a Yeah, let me just look name. at my schedule really quick. Yeah, the only thing that's going on today is after all the classes are complete, that would be at 4 p.m., um, there's a little career fair in the courtyard. There's going to be some people there you can go talk to, but until then, nothing yeah. else. And I'll be, you, don't, you have a class at, after lunch, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, I okay. just want to find Nate. Yeah, so, just go I'm find just him. with you. Oh, you're just with me? Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, because you guys were just doing your thing. Okay, you are just quiet, I guess, during those two interactions. Uh... So, you created a transmutation spell, uh, which is, like, not without skill, that is, uh, useful, and I was wondering, one inventor to another, perhaps we could, uh, trade notes? Um, mm -mm. I'm trying to think of whether, of how good my note-keeping would be if I'd really keep... Even if I'd it's just, like, like uh... sorry, God. I mean, what kind of notes you got? Oh, uh, I will show you. And I'm Kester pulls out a little like journal that's like fucking full of notes. But she has like a little bookmark to like spells that she is actively working on creating from scratch to like function reliably. Uh, and I could like send those, or I can say them either way. But it's like there's one that like. The top one is the one that makes people lactose intolerant, which is like has like a little check mark by it that is like it works. Oh, I definitely want that. Uh, the there's three others, kind of scaled in like familiarity and like ability to pull it off. Uh, there is one that is just like a lightning bolt, and there's variations on it that like shows like you know it's like, do you want it to be a taser or like? the thunder of zeus you know what i mean um right. i'd be like uh yeah we can uh because i have not uh, aside from the notes, lactose uh, intolerance one i have not uh you know really managed to reliably pull these off yet uh so i wanted to see um, if perhaps you advance ideas uh yeah we can we can try some shit and i just pull out like this little like small like tattered journal and there's like no organization to the notes <laughs> at all. It's all just like off of my like memory and knowing where shit is. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just kind of like, what do you want to? You want to like try something? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so your transmutation does it only turn things into bongs? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the one I perfected. Um. I mean, I can try other things. So, um, tell the you bong what's... was tricky because it's tempered glass, mm. and like getting like the the ratios on that's why I had to get like uh, some numerology uh, notes mm. from uh, one of the professors. But uh, if if you teach me, surprisingly hard to make if tempered you, glass. If you teach me your uh, it's, uh, bong spell. I will teach you uh, Contemporary Lack, <laughs> which is the lactose intolerance spell. Uh, and we can start there. Hell yeah. And be like spell buddies. Spell buddies. Uh, that sounds chill as hell, dude. Oh, yeah. So, I'm gonna like. I'm gonna take something 
that should not really transfer to Bong well. Like, something like, um... Let's say... Like, there's gotta be, like, water bottles, right? Or, like, even, like, a plant? Let's try a plant. Transfers to Bong pretty, pretty well, actually. Yeah, water bottles. Um, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna try... <laughs> Well, my thought was, like, plastic to glass, but, like, I'm gonna try and, like, I'm just gonna rip, like, a, like, normal decorative plant out of, like, a pot that's nearby or something, uh, just roots yeah. and all, and I'm gonna try and turn it into a She's gonna try to do it right now. Using his spell, and, like, using his Using guidance. his spell? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. What is transfiguration? It is, is it brains? Either brains or charm would be my guess. Because I'm trying to learn it, would it be brains? I would say it would be brains because you're trying to learn it. So you've never done it, but he's helping you. I would say... Because, like, Nathan, Nathan's kind of transfiguration for this. Because it is normally your broom. Mm -hmm. But you're changing it. So, like, transfigured objects... I've never done it on anything other than my Yeah, broom. transfigured objects don't last. And my wand forever they only last for a certain amount of time and they go back to being what they were so it's not like it needs to be permanent or anything i would just say it's like a, a 12 or something like a 10 i don't know 11 there split okay. the difference Ooh, that's a 19 baby without even the magic die yeah you do it immediately like it's perfect so what does it come out looking like considering a plant is like small is it like a baby bong <laughs> Yeah, it'll be the same size as the plant. Okay, so it is okay. That's what I was wondering. Then yeah, I'm gonna... you succeeded so well, you tell me what happens. I don't have to... I mean, I... I mean, I imagine, considering now that I think about it, a plant would probably also be wood. It's probably not that big of a jump from a broom. Uh, so I just get this little bong Too out bad. of it. And then before it changes back, because you said it's not permanent, I'm going to cast Fenestra It's not going to last super it. long. I'm going to cast Fenestra Fen on it. What's that? It shatters glass with no sound. Yeah. Um, Which would, what, be like a fight roll, you think? Sure. Cool. And that doesn't sound that hard to like a four or five. Oh, wait, a magic guy. Yeah, five. That's uh, six without even the magic die. So actually, a seven because uh, I have plus one to What are you wanting to, to? What are you wanting to do? Like you just want it to shatter? I just want it to shatter. And yeah, then it shatters. I'm gonna wait for the transfiguration to wear off and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, uh, when the transfiguration wears off, it is um, basically it looks like a diced up plant, like cool. as if someone took it and just. That is useful. That is very useful to. That is good, because no sound, right? You know, easy. Uh, I'm gonna try and teach this. You can get a sense that on I a like bigger scale and on I'm something like... that would be harder to shatter on actual like if, if it was like a titanium ball that you turned into a bong and you try to shatter, it would be much more difficult. Okay. Gotcha. Because it's actually a ball of titanium. Right. That See, sense. that's what the tempered glass is for. You don't want that to be happening. Right, exactly. That makes sense. Uh let me teach you contemporac. Uh I have much more distinct notes. God, let me think. I'm gonna. Uh, ravens probably don't His notes drink are so milk, organized, right? You can't find them. <laughs> but I'm thinking, what's the test subject here, right? Um. Um. Is there like a sh maybe not? It's bullying. Isn't one of my classes summoning? One of his is, yeah. Yeah. Could I like summon like a rat? Okay. Can you summon um, milk too? <laughs> uh, I could yeah, probably you can summon make both. milk. <laughs> oh, well, or summon them. So summon those um, up. What what kind of roll do you want to do for that? A charm? Um. Well, yeah, I guess if I'm like, because rather than like make a rat, I'm sure there's one around. I can just be like, come over You're here. You're summoning a rat. Yeah. So yeah, I guess that's like a. I'm just gonna have you do like a char- well... I was gonna give you a charm of six, but you automatically get that. 
So I'm, char I'm charm of seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's plus plus one, so well, automatically. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, yeah. So a rat, a rat is here now. I'm gonna um, pet uh, the rat and, and apologize for what's milk? about to happen. You gonna <laughs> you're gonna make the milk? I guess I'm gonna try and like transfigure. Uh, you just like. I'm gonna try and uh, fill the pot, the empty pot. I'm gonna try and turn the dirt into milk. Oh wow, that's a big transfiguration. Um... I'll help with that. No, fuck off. No, okay. Okay. Um, I mean, I feel like turning. I don't know what that would be a charm dirt again. To milk. I guess. Dirt to milk seems hard. Like an eleven. Ten. You might just get like a brown sludge. Ah <laughs> uh, shit. You did not conjure any milk. You got like the dirt got wetter. <laughs> the dirt a little, a little thicker. Oh, this is super uh, cool. Now I think about it, that'll be fine. While you're doing that, you got, I'm gonna you got some milk? I'm gonna Akio cheese. Uh, yeah, you just have cheese now. Cool. I grab the cheese. Uh, I'm gonna like explain like from my notes like exactly like the thought process behind contempt rack and also how to pronounce it uh and then let him go for it <laughs> you gonna cast it on the the i'm gonna cast it on that rat contempt rack, and i just like wave my hand at it <laughs> i feel like that is probably like that's technically harming so like probably fight right would, would be my give guess. it a fight um, it or brains because seem... he's trying to learn it. Shit, I don't know. I can't ask Nathan because he's going to want to do fight. <laughs> <laughs> Albie, what do you think makes more sense? Brains or fight? For making a making a rat lactose intolerant. Um, You're ruining this rat's say, life. I would yeah. say in this case it should be brains just because it is the first time it is he's attempting it and there is a teacher there to teach but if okay. this was something that a brains of seven know, add your magic die that makes sense well i get this i just roll my magic die tall. i know it makes sense because i'm a genius it's a one plus a three it's a four do you have three adversity tokens no well how many how many do you need Three. You got it, bud. Okay. Uh, the rat is not physically changed. I, I don't know what you want from me. Well, I have it's cheese. Now uh, lactose I just... So I put cheese down in front of it. Um. Does a rat have sentience? If, if I'm, like, summoning it, is it, like, under my influence? No. I think it'd be like calling the your dog. The only way to, to make something under I mean, your influence is like, to use the Imperius Curse. I feel like rats would want to just eat cheese. I don't know. I'm just, like, if I was lactose intolerant... Well, does, does the rat know This is what I'm saying. Right. It's a magical I world. I don't think you would know until you eat like, the cheese. Yeah. He eats... Ooh, I think rat was a bad example because they're used as familiars. It's like, people aren't born and are like, oh, I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah, where did like, you, you summon kind of the rat out. from? Like, where did you summon the rat from? Oh, it was just hanging around Hogwarts. Walls, maybe. Probably. Was it someone's familiar? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that'd be fucked up. That would be fucked up. We just killed someone's familiar. Um, <laughs> do you like? Would you like to roll to see if it's someone's familiar or if it's sure. a random rat? I guess just roll a straight up luck check. Eleven or higher, it's not someone's familiar. Eleven. That's eleven. Yeah, so it's just a random rat from the I'm kitchen. happy. You um, he, well. he eats a tiny bit of the cheese and eats a little more, and then just kind of looks upset. <laughs> like it's a rat. Like I don't know. What, like, I don't know what you want. Shit. It doesn't immediately shit. No, well, it's, it's just, just lactose like, oh, intolerance. It's not like super lactose intolerance. It's just yeah, normal it's lactose like... intolerance. So if I cast it again, like, will it become super lactose intolerant? No. I think it just is already. I think it's just the state of this being now. Uh, yeah. Is it the same level of lactose intolerance for everyone you cast it on, or could it be like I could take those pills? That's a great question. I, that's not been tested how, how yet. How good you do, yeah. Yeah. This is the second time it's been casted. Ever. That is true. Except for like maybe other mice I've tested it on, <laughs> but I don't know. Sad. 
<laughs> um. That's two new spells yeah, so in our inventory. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Alpi goes to Transfiguration. It's pretty uneventful. McGonagall just has you guys go over the syllabus. Like, it's it's nothing crazy. She has you guys do, like, a little bowling ball to balloon Transfiguration just to check to see if you guys are still kind of knowing what you're doing. Um, but, yeah, um, afterward, um, there, yeah, there's a career fair in the courtyard. You, you guys want to all meet up? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. definitely going there. Yeah, do you, uh, you want to collect everybody on your way? Uh, would I know where they are? Or do I have to go searching for you them? You guys could have agreed that you were all going to meet in the courtyard. Yeah, okay, or, yeah, I meet up. Yeah, so you guys all meet in the courtyard. Um, you see four booths um, kind of equally spread out on the four corners of the courtyard. Um, and um, you see a few empty ones. You kind of get the impression that this has been going for a while, but some of them have already left. Um, so there's only four people left. But, um, Albie, do you want to show them what you got in potions class, or are you keeping it to yourself? I'm keeping it to myself for now. You want to show them your potion? Thing, can't maybe? believe I just had to yeah. write Transfigure's object into Bong in my goddamn <laughs> spell notes. Yeah, so he shows you guys this potion that he made. Oh, yeah. Now, this ain't Hooch, but it's almost as good. Hooch is a nice lady. Oh, oh bless cool. your heart. Uh, what does it do? Well, sometimes you can't remember things. You want to remember better, so this is the best remember better. Oh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's tight. It is tight. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you see these, you see these four <laughs> booths. You see these four booths. Um, and at the first booth, I only have a visual aid for one of them. But at the first booth, you see uh, Mr. Nigel Merriweather, the Defense Against Dark Arts teacher that you guys all met uh, or saw earlier. Um, the second booth has a goblin sitting in like a suit. Uh, he's got like a chair, so he's like kind of almost normal height. Um, and then the second, the third one, you see a woman with kind of curly blonde hair and a weird green colored, like curly dress on, and she's writing super fast. Um, and then the last one, you see a guy, middle aged man, got this long blonde hair that runs down his shoulders, and he's wearing this like orangey yellow weird robes, and he's just kind of looking around. He's got some papers laid out Did in front of him. Um, Do have like signs? No. They're just, there's just people standing at them. It's You kind of get the vibe that it's something you go to all of them at. Like you just kind of work your way around. I think I'm gonna go check out the dark arts See, teacher. I was, I was just about to say, I would also like to do these. Yeah, so He's got a funny um, name. Wait, can you guys see it now? Yes. I can see yeah. uh your boy. Yeah, I can see him. Yes. Still see him. Still Putting see in the it. boxes. Yeah. I but if you put like the book in the box. box. Oh god. Oh I I can't move it. Oh no, it's okay. No. I got it. Okay. So uh, yeah, Nigel, if you remember his name, he's uh, Nigel Merriweather. Um, he is sitting at the booth, and he has some pamphlets laid out that say, um, so you want to be an auror. Um, and yeah, he's just kind of sitting there. I would definitely take a pamphlet. I say, hello, Mr. Merriweather. Uh, how are you today? Hello. It is uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I take I it. Good. I take it you are an auror? As soon as he I... says or I walk away. I walk to the next one. I was an or for many years and had a very wonderful time while I was an or. It uh it is a hard job and merit many academic requirements are needed to get into it. But yes. it uh, can be very rewarding. My uh, grandmother was a, an aura. I intend to follow in her footsteps. Uh in the British Ministry. The French. Uh, only... What was hey, you don't name? have to answer that. You don't have to answer that. Uh, her name was Elizabeth. As soon as... He goes... I see. It was a long time ago. Uh, are you familiar? I... I am familiar with your grandmother, yes. I am very sorry. Oh, did you know her? I did not know her. Oh, but... okay. Oh, aware of the I'm, story. I just understand a bit. I'm very sorry. He kind of looks around, mm -hmm. like, 
Like, this is a story that everyone kind of is aware of. Oh, okay. I wasn't aware that she was kind that... Of thing. I, I wasn't aware that she was that well-known, even in Hogwarts. That's cool. It, um, that's the look. His his look is like, as an auror, I'm aware of the circumstance. Okay. It's place. like an auror known thing. Got it. Um, I was going to ask, and for part of me of this is rude, uh, I am particularly fond of a dueling and things of that nature. Uh, you strike me as the only person so far outside of Dumbledore, who I would not be able to take in a fight for sure, uh, that may take an interest in perhaps a duel. Uh, and I wondered if you would perhaps be interested in such a thing? It is irresponsible to duel students. Um, it is Hogwarts. Are you in my, <laughs> are you in my class? Yes. We will be seeing you tomorrow at 10.30 for your class. I trust you will enjoy our learnings. This is good. I like that. Uh, have a good day, and I'm gonna move on. Do you say anything, Albie? I don't even know what he is, so I'm just like... He's an horror, so he's like a wizard cop. Wizard cop. Basically. Oh, I want to show him my revolver. I'm just gonna show everyone. <laughs> yeah, he goes... And this very interesting piece of muggle technology wasn't aware that anyone had such an artifact here at the school. Do right. you use this to practice magic or is this simply a souvenir? See, that is exactly why I am speaking to you. You are just the man who can help me. I I'm not so sure how. You know exactly how, but we'll get to that. I'm we not will get sure I that. do. See, I... I'm new here, I literally just met you. Uh, well... I, I don't even know your name, you literally uh, haven't said it. Tiberius Hill wants to be a cowboy? And I'm gonna keep uh, walking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was trying to get to that, but... <laughs> now, hey, anyway... cowboy. Uh, yes, 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 but the, the detail... The devil's in the details. See, the thing Are is... Are you aware they don't really do that? Okay, anymore. okay. Well, I use a wand, right? Don't we? I want to take the wood out of this muggle device, as you call it, and transfer the properties of this wand into the handle. So, so I could continue to grow academically and also fulfill my dreams of being a cowboy. That, is the that most seems like I'm a question a... for a wand maker. No, no I, I understand. I, I'm very rich. That, that's not the problem. The problem is... I need, I need you to put in the good word. Smoked a big D, big S earlier. <laughs> uh, if you are talking Every about professor. Dumbledore and Severus, I believe that they are the highest uh, faculty at this school. Highest faculty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're definitely the well, highest. Well, and I know you're the here. most influential faculty. If right, you I, recall, I, this is my first year. You yeah, know I, that you were here last year. You know I wasn't here last year. I you know are, you know this. You are almost like a, a sheriff of the I magic. think that you should pursue a wand maker for that specific goal okay, of yours. Yeah, Thank yes, you. Yes, I have yes, other yes, students yes, that are needing my profession. Hello, what's your shit. name? Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> Haywood, nice to meet you. Yes, it's in incredible. Uh, for for Aura, you will need about five new with uh, high marks, I would prefer. And he just starts going on to his... His little order speech that he didn't get to with you guys because you guys decided uh, no. So you guys have moved on. Uh, Nathan, <laughs> Nathan, you moved on to the goblin who's next. Um, and there were some students there. So uh, by the time you get to him, the other guys have caught up with you. Um, and Barnock is his name, the goblin. Uh, he's like, my name's Barnock. I'm here on behalf of Gringotts uh, Bank. Gringotts Bank in Diagon Alley. Uh, have any of you been to the bank? Uh, sir, what type of uh, no. broom do you drive? I I am here to let you all know that we are searching for new curse breakers in the next two years for Gringotts Bank in Diagon Alley. Have any of you heard of curse breakers in the past? Uh, no. yeah, I've heard of them. I don't know much about them. Well, curse breakers are Gringotts 
highest, highest position you can have. They are known as treasure hunters. They cross the country and look for magical artifacts, even sometimes going on international missions. They also work within Gringotts to prepare the curses and hexes that are applied to those who try to steal from our wonderful bank. You will need newts in high marks in defense against the dark arts, potions, charms, things like this, in order to be considered for approval. See, the job is cool, but I don't really want to work for a bank, you know what I'm saying? I'm whispering that. Why? To I know, no. no oh. <laughs> so if yeah, any no. of you are interested, we will keep these application flyers at the front of the school, so that after your seventh year, you may apply. Uh, Steel, what good. type of vehicle do you drive? What, what I am a goblin. Wand. We apparate. I have no use for a wand or broom. Oh, that, see, I'm a little bit slow. I'm in a broom. I have no use for a wand or broom. I apparate. I'm Moving just trying on. to educate myself. <laughs> <laughs> You guys head on to the next table, uh, and it's the woman who is kind of wearing the bright green dress, and she's got this blonde curly hair. She goes, and y'all read the prophet. Is it newspaper? I don't know what that You do is. read it. Are you an avid reader? Not of the newspaper, I will say. You should be reading The Prophet every week. It comes out on Sunday. You should be reading. I would love to have any new journalists working for us. There will be ads in it every single week looking for new journalists. I need advice columnists. I need sports correspondents. I need investigators to find the deepest, dirtiest stories that all the famous people of the wizarding world have to offer sound good. How do you do the gifts? What? The, the gifts in the newspaper, they move? How do, what is that enchantment? The, the what? The, the gifts? The gifts? Like, like a present you give to a friend? No, the... Uh, a gift? Graphic... Image... Fucky? Uh, the sounds so <laughs> <laughs> sounds like something that I'm not exactly sure about. Uh, if you're referring to the moving pictures, that is just how every picture is. Uh, that is just how they are. I'm not exactly sure uh, what you you mean by that. But you... if any of you okay. are looking for, yes. Did uh, Did you know that some pictures do not move? Uh, they mostly do. So uh, my name is Rita. I forgot to introduce myself to you, <laughs> but I trust all of you will be applying to be columnists at the paper. Absolutely. I'm gonna keep. Thank walking. you. Here you go. She gives you guys a bunch of pamphlets. She gives you guys a bunch of pamphlets um, that are like you know copies of how to become a journalist for the Daily Prophet. Um, yeah, you guys get to the last table and you see a man who. I'm very excited about. Uh, you see a man who is standing again. He's got this long, like blonde, white hair that's kind of draping down his shoulders. It's curly, wavy, um, and he goes, "It's a beautiful hey, day up? out here. It's a beautiful day to be at Hogwarts School." Hello, what is up with you? My name is Xenophilis. I am here on behalf of my magazine, The Quibbler. We are looking for a new magical photo investigative type job. We are looking for someone to join and search for unknown magical creatures with us. Sounds we Azura, at The Quibbler, sounds... we, I'm speaking, we at The Quibbler <laughs> are printing the stories that they won't print in The Prophet. We are getting the real news. Not that uh, fake stuff over at the Prophet. Do you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, shit. We take, I do see. We take the real stories yeah, no, and bring them. Would you like a copy of the Quibbler? Does anyone want a copy? I will I take, take two. Do you guys would like some copies? Here. Yeah. Have a oh couple copies. Have as many yeah, as you want. Copies. In fact, please share them. Please share them with your friends. I need to take my birth control. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, um, yeah, uh, Xenophilius, uh, you guys know of this guy because you guys um, have heard of the Quibbler. It's just kind of known as like the hokey kind of news thing that the people try not to talk about because it's weird. Um, you know, his wife died like last year, um, and you know, he kind of lost his mind a little more than he already had um, after that. Um, and he's he's standing there with you guys, and he, he looks up out through the open courtyard up at the sky, and he goes, Strange, I 
could have sworn those clouds up there haven't moved an inch since I arrived. It's it's a strange it's a strange school. Mister, uh, sorry, I did not catch your name again. Xenophilius. Xenophilius Lovegood and shakes your uh, head. Mister Lovegood, I have a question, and I do not wish for yes. you to take this the wrong way. Uh, yes. Did the clouds do they not move because magic or because you are crazy? I'm choosing to not be offended by that because I love all people. Um, I simply was remarking at the fact that those three clouds up there have seemingly not moved an inch since my arrival on the campus today. I'm not sure if that's how it normally is around here or not. I just, I sometimes be nervous about those who dwell in the clouds. I, feel I, like... I worry sometimes about these things. You know, uh, it is concerning. Do I feel like that's not normal? I feel like. Do you feel like what's not, not normal? normal? Like the, the, the clouds, clouds not moving? Not moving? Yeah. I. Have you ever looked up at the clouds for like a long time and tried to see if they were moving or not? I mean, I've I want to pop up out the, the spectacles. For a long time before. You would say, "Are you watching it right now, trying to see if they're moving or not?" It's not yeah. a super windy day, so they're not. Nothing's moving that quickly. I was just like, eh. There's a there's a three clouds that are like little puffies that you, you're like those might not be moving, but like he also it's also like not that windy. Like how long has he been here? Like to be able to tell, you know. Mm. I'm interested. Anyway, in this. I just uh, so say yes. I can sign up to be a sort of junior investigative journalist type of deal. If you are wanting to simply try out the program, I have uh, a little bit of a task that needs that needs doing, and I would be able to compensate the three of you for helping me fulfill the task. I'm interested in this. Um, I would be able to pay you as a group 75 galleons, that would be 25 apiece. Uh, by the end of the month, I need a photograph of a rare and exciting magical creature to put on the cover of next month's Quibbler. And as he's looking, Sounds he's good to me. staring uh, at the clouds again. Would you like to meet one? Of bones? <laughs> would you like to meet one? <laughs> he looks at... Is of Bones here? Uh, I just give him, like, a hog rider. <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, he, lo he looks at bones, bones, and he goes, like, uh, a reanimated Augie picture. object skeleton. <gasps> we had yeah. one of those last week. I'm... Ah! Not... <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm not <laughs> seeing so far. <laughs> I'm not particularly interested in Argyoptic skeletons that have been reanimated by people. Um. I, I have a uh, question. If you, if any of you have a camera and you're interested, I will be back at the end of the month. And you will be able to give me a photo, and I will compensate you fairly. I can return sooner if needed. A, a Polaroid will do. Away. I'm sorry. A Polaroid would do. I have a Polaroid camera. A Polaroid camera. is beautiful. That's it's good. fantastic. And as he says that, he's, he's like looking around. Polaroids at this point. <laughs> he starts looking around. He's like, it's getting darker out there. Is I he wearing these spectacles be, on the be, magazine? Be well. Oh, he is not. Uh, um, he looks up at the sky, he goes, Just keep an eye on those for me, and let me know how it goes. I would hate for the storm to continue to brew. You are a suspicious man, but I, I, I enjoy you. You are cool. Goodbye. And I'm going <laughs> to start Thank walking. Thank you very much. Thank you I'm very much. I'm also going to walk away. Yeah, you guys leave. Um, Nate, have you been there getting no, like, quieter? Students quieter? Around? Yeah, uh, Pippa and Jay and mind? Thorin are just like in the courtyard. You're a little quiet, Nate. Just so you know. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll just go up to Pippa and Jay and be like, "Is there anything catching your guys' eyes?" Jay's like, well, as you guys know, I have been interested in something like a curse breaker position since I began working at this school, or I mean not working, I mean going to this school. I'm sorry, I don't know why I made that mistake. I'm sorry, I will try not to do it again. Um, I have been interested in something like that for a while. Cool. 
So Pippin's like, like Pippin's like, I don't know. Yeah, they all, none of them really catch my my interest. The, what about you, Castor? Pippa asks. The love good man has weird vibes. You know? Phileas, he he lost his wife last year in a, oh. in a she was trying to create a spell and it all went wrong. Did you not hear about I guess you're from France. I'm not familiar, but I do gone, know about how it was a spell gone wrong situation. It was bad. It was, it's really bad. It was understandable. Yeah, he also it was, uh... has... Go ahead. Yeah, that was a bit of a weird week. Yeah, odd, odd one. Uh, he also has a vibe of mystery about him that I find intriguing. Xenophilius uh, and his family have been in the quest of magical creatures for a long time. It seems as though they are on a quest for things that will not be found. Sorry, is just... the most charitable way to put it. The, more, the for... least charitable way to put it is that they're lying to people who are are you know prone to conspiracy in order for their own personal gain. I do. I didn't say that. That is understandable. Sorry, I've become very perplexed at the fact that uh, if uh, did you notice that if you put the back <laughs> of the magazine with the front of the magazine, it makes a full face. That is cool. Yes, you you can cut out the spectre specs and wear them. No way, Defendo. Oh, yeah, uh, you see. <laughs> You see? You defendo it, and I'm you gonna... pull them out, and you put them on. Dude. These stay on. <laughs> you look like a crazy person. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I wanted to make cutout ones, but it wasn't working. Do they do oh, anything? You would have had them. They're specter specs. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they're supposed to let you see nifflers, I think. Mm. Whoa, Aren't whoa, they whoa. visible nifflers? <laughs> Aren't they fully No, rack experts. Oh, rack experts. Got it. That makes more sense. Yeah. Um, Aren't they fully visible? <laughs> yeah, I was just wrong. Uh, this is very cool. I also don't know why the back cover is lighter than the front cover. That's just how it happened. That's okay. Uh, I feel like we're about to get into more adventure territory. Is everyone wanting to keep going, or what's the vibe? I, I feel will like... say... Mm. You go ahead. I was just going to say, like, this is the... It seems like the point of no return where if we don't stop now, we're going another two hours. You know what I mean? My, so, like, so my outline says, side quest, photograph a unique magical creature for the cover of next month's Quiver for 75 galleons. You have one month to complete. Uh, and then it has some magical creatures that I have prepared that you might be able to find. And that's literally all I have. Okay. So we can end it now. And you get, we can start with finding magical creatures next time. However you guys want to do it. Because there's also like stuff set up for like <laughs> dueling the teacher now that I'm interested in. So that might be... That might be the vibe. But it's up to you. I mean... Cool for whatever. I'm cool with whatever. I'm, I'm down for whatever. I would like to be done by 12. I... We should oh, probably... Let's, whatever you guys want to do. I would say let's cut it now, and then we're going to have, like, a That's verbose... Yeah, because yeah. it's 11.14. Like, what else are we going to yeah. do in 45 minutes? You know what I'm saying? Is there anything anyone wants to do quickly? Uh, I will track down... What was his name again? The duelist. Nigel? Duelist. Yeah, the Nigel. What's his last name? Merriweather? Yeah, Miss uh, Merriweather. I'm going to track him down and be like, uh, Mr. Merriweather... Uh, I realize it is irresponsible and all of this. Maybe I will. He's talk like packing up his stuff. Uh, proposition. Maybe I bring friends along for the maybe duel and maybe talk to the headmaster about it. We. So clear. Yes, I cannot. I cannot be dueling a student. I let, feel like I made that clear in the conversation. Well, this is not the way this works. Let's say hypothetically. Just, just hear me out. If I can clear it with the headmaster, you would not get in trouble. I I suppose if Dumbledore was wanting to pursue a different teaching strategy than he had previously informed me about, I could have a conversation with him about it. Because I mean, it would not be to the death, but it's like, when do you get to see a fully Magic is hard to control sometimes. I just, I, I worry about these things. Is that, and that is understandable as it if is If you would job, like to set up a but... meeting between us so that we can discuss something like that, I would recommend until... Waiting until you know what we're doing in class. I would, I would love this. Uh, just because, like, you know, when it would be so educational to see a full experienced aura 
in a motive versus one situation. Because when I else understand. would you be able to understand? You know, you you know. Have a good day, <laughs> and I'll I'll leave him with that. He just kind of like nods, and he's just like, I, I, I don't understand why this person that literally hasn't even been to class is so yeah, test seemingly, seemingly excited about something that they have no idea whether or not because, will happen. It's because internally, I think I can take him. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I've read he, this man for filth. <laughs> he picks up on your your little vibe there that you. <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> help me drop a dice off the side. Um, he 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 can tell that you think you can beat him in a duel, and he just goes, "I've been in an aura for twenty five years." In my head, he's like, "Who the fuck does this kid think she is?" Like, I I've literally been doing this my entire life. Like, I and he just is like battling with himself in his head as he's packing up his belongings. Good, I, I've psyched him out. Uh... <laughs> The uh, end of session one, everyone! Uh, Unlike Cam, I can end a session when I'm done preparing. With what I've pre prepared. I'm just kidding. Um, dunking on me. My how, god. How, how are we feeling, guys? I know you're hot as hell in that thing. It's not that bad, honestly, because this shirt That's is. That's why I had to take fuck. the hat off. Yeah. Oh, dude. I'm naked. <laughs> That's, why the, That's why the camera's gone. Camera was off. That's why the camera's nah. gone. <laughs> The hoodie and sweatpants had to come off. And was, sweatpants? It was it was cold in here earlier. I don't know. I guess maybe the temperature outside is going up. Um, now I gotta but start I, I just again. I got hot and I needed to get relief. Oh, that did not work. Let's just uh. That was good. That was good. It's a good good session. Oh my god. Ah, oh, yeah, one for the road. <laughs> that was... So what did everyone think? I really enjoy playing a character that is... Shalak is now playing Far Cry 5! <laughs> 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 you gotta turn off your computer at some point, dude. Like, something. He said he's never I gonna, dude. My I'm God. at 174.8 hours now. You're gonna have the record. <laughs> I can't- I tried to play something for your library the other day, and it was like, unavailable, this player is playing Far Cry 5. <laughs> <laughs> what were you trying to play? Insurgency. Uh... Okay, so I would love to do, like, a breakdown really quick before anyone goes to bed. Um, mm -hmm. how's everyone feeling? I feel great. I, I enjoyed it. I really am enjoying playing a character that's like so like I'm so kind of like bitch made about like adventure you know what I mean like in real life it's like fuck you if you think you're gonna get me on a fucking roller coaster dog but like Castair surfs vans you know what I mean <laughs> like yeah and that that's really that's fun yeah uh I'm just doing my thing Getting high with my buddies. It this new crazy ass chick <laughs> that likes